Look, look, look. I represent the game in a way that can't, can't be challenged And delegate the comments of hate that can't be managed I was told once from my shoulder like blunts And don't get touched, my skin tough and thicker than this biz butt So guess what, I'ma talk my shit and just win once Throw uppercuts and bone breakers A needle and haystack with hate makers I'll throw Y'all know what day it is. Y'all know what day it is. Hmm? Hmm? Yeah. Hmm? It's fight night, baby, baby. What's up, my people? <clears throat> this is your biz, uh, don't. All right, man, look. Look. Look at who we have here. Don Ricardo. What up? Uh, Adrian Wells. What's going on with you? Uh, oops. All right, man. Look. First, first I want to say this. Flex on him. See? 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 Pow. Let me see what you got to say, Adrian Wells. Let me see already uh, with the $20 flex on him. Ninth round, KO by Canelo, lethal body shot. That's right. Everybody, give it up for my man. Where we at right now? Uh, Here it is. Bring on this with a laugh. And do the cabinet patch. Choose a pretty lady. And then sign some autographs. The Brian L. Manton. Shepard Boring. It's a tight bell. Y'all know what day it is. Look, y'all know. I put five hundred dollars on Canelo Alvarez to knock out. Y'all know that's right. I put a five hundred dollars on. Uh, let me see. what We have to say. Um, let me see. Not too shocked, but damn, that's uh, Espino a uh, TKO uh, in the fourth. That's how you feeling? I put the bag on it. You guys, you know to go over to Relevant to see when I put a bag on it, okay? And if you haven't done it already, please, please, everybody, please do me a favor. Hit the, hit the, hit the like, oh, get those. Get the thumbs up, hit the, hit the like, get those, get the thumbs up, hit the, hit the like, get those, get the thumbs up, hit the, hit the like, get those, get the thumbs up, hit the, hit the like, get those. That's right, my man said it's good money. Well, I'm gonna tell you this, Sully, it better be because what I get $1,100 because I spent $1,400 on the giveaway. Here it is. It came in, you see it, autograph by Saul Canelo Alvarez. That's right, the autograph boxing glove by Saul Canelo Alvarez. Worth $1,600, I got it for $1,400 because I got the hookup. Holla if you hear me. Let me put this back. I'm going to be showing this all night. Also coming with that, the certificate of authenticity. You see a sign right there. You see the stamp right there. You see the code right there. You know what time it is. It's a Tyson Bell. To let you guys know that it's real, okay? Uh, everybody, if you want an opportunity, if you want to win the glove, you have to be a subscriber on this channel. Everybody, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, you know what to do. Subscribe, Sub motherfucker. Hey! You have to be a subscriber on this channel, and you have to hit the link to go over to Relevant. Become a member of my vibes on Relevant. We got 230 people uh, in there right now. We got the panel right now. Everybody's talking right now. They're doing their thing on Relevant right now. Um, so make sure you're a member of Relevant and already a subscriber. You get an opportunity to win the authentic Canelo Alvarez autograph boxing glove. Let me see what you have to say. Uh, Canelo KO's Bibble in the 10th. Showbiz, are you an unlockable character in the new boxing game, ESBC? No, not yet. Here's a Tyson Bell. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking to be. I'm also trying to get my song in the game. You guys know the song. You guys know the song. Thank you, ESBC. Uh, let me see. That's right. Thank you so much, BK. There go the link to Relevant. Catch your Relevant Vibes, which is my vibe, Showbiz, the adult. Uh, let me see what else we got. And my man, Sully, I just got to give it to you without you asking. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Me. Let me see what you have to say. Daryl Adams, got Bivol, uh, 40, uh, 255 back. Love, love you, boy. Smart move. Smart move. 
victory after all yes i wonder why were you shooting on before i throw it over the burn bears the goal thank you so much i need to come up with the goal thing uh what up bears here let me tell you something about canelo alvarez think about his last couple fights he knocked out Caleb Plant. He knocked out Billy Joe Saunders. He knocked out Yildrum. He didn't knock out Colum Smith. Who did he fight before that? Was it Kovalev? Canelo Alvarez been knocking those boys out. You got that, Canelo Alvarez knocking those boys out. And you also, you also have this. Have you seen this? Canelo Alvarez sparring against Frank Sanchez? He missed him by a long mile. Canelo came on Bivol in 60 to 80 seconds. <laughs> Love you, Biz. Love you, boy. But it, <laughs> my man, hilarious. He said different fighters. We didn't know that. Let me see. I thought Caleb Plant was the same exact person as Yildrum. I thought Yildrum was the same exact person as Bivol. Bivol isn't Kovalev? That's a new one on me. You don't have to put that on all caps. I think we all know the difference between human beings. But what we're saying is likelihood. When you go off likelihood, you go off data. You go off what's being seen. So you look at Canelo Alvarez, he's been knocking people out. Also, Canelo Alvarez said he's going to start earlier against Bibble, and he's going for the knockout. Also, you heard Bibble say, I never got so many boos in my life. You heard when Bibble said that? I've had so many boos in my life. Also, you look at Bibble's last two fights. He didn't look that good, did he? So you have to go off of data. Go off data. Here, sometimes data doesn't work. My data worked, but a lot of people didn't. When it, when it came to Errol the True Spence, did he knock out Showtime Sean Porter? Ha! No. Did he knock out Danny Garcia? Ha! No. Did he knock out Mikey Garcia? Ha! No. Hit the Tyson bit. But I knew he was going to knock out Ugas. Why? Because of the data that I had. Not being focused until after the car accident. First fight back against Danny Swift Garcia. I explained all those things to you. My data was different. You saw a different Elder Chu Spence, the Elder Chu Spence that broke up uh, uh, <clears throat> Kell Brook. And then that Elder Spence is back. How do you know? Look at the face of who got hit the Tyson Bell. So you got to know what data you're looking at. Let me see. Showbiz is the best. Thank you so much. Oh, Canelo said that? Yeah. Canelo said he's been starting late. He said, Bivol, I got to start early. Smart man. Smart man. Another thing, though, when I showed you guys um, the sparring session of Canelo Alvarez uh, versus Frank Sanchez. When I showed you guys that, I wasn't showing you just based on the fact that Canelo Alvarez made Frank, Frank Sanchez look like Caleb Plant <laughs> at the press conference, missing that left hook. That's not why. But the fact that he's sparring against Frank Sanchez, one of the better heavyweights in the world today with the Tyson Bell. Okay. So there's a lot of reasons why I put money on Canelo Alvarez by knockout. Let me see. Jackie, we love you, Mr. Biz. Love you, girl. Hit the Tyson Bell. <laughs> Kale Brook officially retired. I didn't know about that. Um, I'm not sure if you're telling the truth. But here's what I want to say here, though. Let's look at Bivol and his offense, though.
huh? You see Canelo Alvarez, I mean, you see Bivol, one, two, one, two, sometimes the left hook. Let's look at Canelo Alvarez's defense. Let me see. What do you think about Madri Master Muff, I mean Madri Muff, uh being uh Bibble's sparring partner? Great work. Uh, also, Bibble is nice from the shoulder. Still got Canelo by KO. I hear you, Eminem. You're pretty much saying good work. Yeah. Uh, Ole Volsic being Canelo Alvarez sparring partner. Good work, right? Uh, I got that text from Volsic. Oh, it's on my phone. I got the text from Volsic when I asked Volsic, what do you think about Canelo Alvarez versus Bibble? He said it's going to be interesting. So, like I said, I think Volstig was probably getting some of his punches off on Canelo Alvarez. He said it's going to be interesting. He thought it was going to be an interesting fight. But what he did say was Canelo Alvarez is very strong. He said Canelo Alvarez is very strong. It's going to be interesting. Maybe he's saying Canelo Alvarez is very strong. He's going to knock him out. I'm not sure how to decode what he meant when he said that. But, but, let's look at Canelo Alvarez's offense. So you see that they are slow and flat-footed foes. And then you see Billy Joe Saunders, you think of Kayla Plant. So eh, that was wrong, right? Uh, let me see. Fire show, biz. Much love to you. Thank you so much. Hit the Tyson bell. Like I said, you see what's behind me. You see what's behind me. That Canelo Alvarez autograph glove. We're going to talk about that in a minute, too. Uh, let me see. Um, let me see. Nothing like Bivol. Absolutely nothing. Uh, let's look at Bivol one more time. <laughs> ah, no, this is what I'm saying. When you say nothing like uh Bivol, absolutely nothing. A new member, boy, boy, boy. When you say there's nothing like Bivol, absolutely nothing. Uh, let me put that up right here. I'm going to help you out, okay? When people ask me, and I and I answer it this way all the time. When people ask me, I'm looking at relevant right now. They're really doing their thing over there. When people ask me, who will win, Muhammad Ali or Mike Tyson? I say, 
when you put all the opponents together from Muhammad Ali, you can put together things where you can look at Mike Tyson and say, there's nothing Mike Tyson's going to really show him that he hasn't seen. Bully, George Foreman, Sonny Liston. Um, custom motto, technique, right? The peekaboo, Floyd Patterson. Speed, Floyd Patterson. Punching power, Ernie Shavers. Foreman, Sonny Liston. Shorter, squattier, Floyd Patterson, uh, uh, Joe Frazier. When you look at Muhammad Ali and who he's fought, there's more people that you can say, okay, that is Tyson-esque. And you can think Ali has fought great fighters, great, all-time great fighters, who has those type of attributes. Not exactly Mike Tyson, but you can say Ali won't be a complete fish out of water against Tyson. But Tyson has never fought a great fighter like Ali. So let's do this again for my man who don't really know how to analyze, right? When you look at Canelo Alvarez, has he fought a tall fighter that's bigger than him? Yeah, Callum Smith, Kovalev, right? Caleb Plant. Has he fought uh, uh, a 175-pounder? Well, yeah. He fought Kovalev. Caleb Plant is 175 right now. Has he fought somebody with a good jab, busy hands, good footwork? Yeah. He fought Kovalev, one of the best jabs in the business. But he also fought Billy Joe Saunders, good footwork, good hand speed. Caleb Plant, great hand speed, good IQ, great footwork. So when you look at Billy Joe Saunders and say, has he fought anybody like Canelo Alvarez? No. Canelo Alvarez also fought Triple G, better jab than Bivol, probably the best jab in the world. So when you think of who Canelo fought and you think of who Bivol fought, when he says absolutely nothing like Bivol, who has Bivol fought that is like, just like Canelo, right? Uh, let me see. On Cinco de Mayo, showbiz, the next level of boxing entertainment, right? Uh, let me see. We have to say, stop capping, biz. Uh, yeah, I'm just talking to you. Um, what else we got? Big facts, biz. That's what I'm saying. You can look at Bivol and what he gives you. And he gives you a one-two. He's six feet. The one, he probably the, the smallest light heavyweight champion. So it's fair play there. He gives you the one-two, maybe a three. And he got good footwork. But what has he shown you that is so bizarre? Hand speed? Yeah, he can't get too much faster than Amir Khan. Floyd Mayweather. Laura. Right? Is he faster than Caleb Plant? Footwork. Is his footwork better than Billy Joe Saunders? And Caleb Plant, no. Is his jab better than Kovalev and Triple G? No. So there's nothing that Bivol is actually showing Canelo that he hasn't seen. Got to really think. Uh, Biz is wearing a cap, so uh-huh, Sully. Uh, only thing Bivol has shown me is cardio, good cardio. And that's why Canelo Alvarez has to start early. Here's the thing. Caleb, I mean, uh, Bivol has fought who? Who? His last two fights went the distance. So you got to start thinking, right? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Kovalev, we're over the hill. Okay, I said his jab. I didn't, I didn't say Kovalev was in his prime. He was 36, though. Well over, I don't know. I did say his jab, though. So you got to hear Darren Hall, right? A lot of people have a hard time really listening. They just want to comment. I said his jab. Kovalev just knocked out Yard with a jab the fight before. Huh? Kovalev was beating Canelo by two rounds that fight. How? By the jab. So you got to think, why was Kovalev ahead? What was his major punch? The jab. One of the best punches in the world. He still has a great jab, no matter what. Always listen and think. Don't just try to comment. What else we got? Uh, break it down for, for me, the keys of victory for each man. Keys of victory is this, for Bivol. Flurries, get away. Flurry, get away. Canelo Alvarez, he plots. If you think of Canelo Alvarez, he's something like Lomachenko now. He's different now. He's not just a boxer and mover now. He's more aggressive now, right? Ah, here come, here comes my, uh-oh, perfect for a single DeMaio. It, don't tell me. Is, is that a burrito? Mm -hmm. Oh, my messy, nice, big, chunky. Y'all going to, I got two. Nice. I hope they didn't cut it in half. Either. Oh, you hope they didn't cut it in half. <laughs> Thank you. Love you. Love you, girl. Keys to victory. Canelo Alvarez. 
he he plots for now. He's aggressive with his feet nowadays, right? Step forward with that lead foot, trying to inch forward and hit you with a big shot. Well, can, don't let Canelo inch forward. Throw your punches, swim without getting wet. Get out of here. Pity padding, pity padding to death. Pity padding to death. Go to decision and get robbed. <laughs> oh, let me see. I like boxing. Much love to you. Canelo Alvarez, all he has to do is what he's been doing. Nothing different. Bivol fits in the line of everybody he's been fighting lately. Bivol is another one of the guys that he's been fighting lately. Tall, good jab, one, two. Good feet. That's who he's been wanting to escape more so than exchange. That's who he's been fighting lately. Colin Smith. Billy Joe Saunders. Caleb Plant. Bibble. Really look at him. Canelo Alvarez is home. The only difference is that Bibble is 175. Caleb Plant might walk around the size of Bibble. Who knows? Caleb Plant probably walks around 190 as damn self. 168, 175. This will be an easy dub for Nello. I haven't seen Bibble take many body shots, and Nello's liver shot uh, that sets up the uppercut hook is top tier. His defense is amazing, too. So I don't see Bibble hitting Canelo with any real hard shots. Canelo's going to be countering. The problem is, is Bibble too big for Canelo to knock out? That's the question. If it goes to the decision, Canelo is too great to get whitewashed. So if he doesn't get whitewashed, I'm sorry if you're a Canelo fan. If he doesn't get whitewashed tonight on Cinco de Mayo on a big night with Canelo, pay-per-view the zone, he's, he's getting the decision. It is what it is. He's getting the decision unless he gets whitewashed. I, I got a mukbang. I got a mukbang on y'all. I got a mukbang on y'all. They didn't cut in the half. Oh my goodness. This, this, this is, this is, this is way too much. The wifey could have cut this in half now. The wifey, oh Lord. Mm -mm. Oh Lord, this is a big greasy. Woo. If I don't have to go to the bathroom, I'll be shocked. Let me see. Fair judges, Triple G beat Canelo first fight. Uh-huh. Draw the second. I think Canelo won the second fight. So, um, I'm a Canelo fan also. Triple G jab breaks people's faces. It does. Bibble has a chance. Canelo with decision. Great fights. Great fight. We win. Tyson Bell. Uh-huh. I think the second fight, Canelo won. I think he won the second fight. And how he's been fighting, he's been fighting the Triple G style since. Thank you so much, Tyson Bell. Hold on, brother. Hold on, bro. We got to put a rehydration clause on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to I'm going to sleep early tonight. Mm. All right, hold on. Oh Lord, I almost died. <laughs> um, mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. wow. Okay, showbiz. You think boxing is getting better because of Jurassic promoting the fight? I have no. I. 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 I can't. I can't. I can't call. Uh, let me see. Uh, LOL. She got you looking like uh, bruh man. I'm looking like bruh man from Fifth Floor, dog. Hit the Tyson Bell. Back in them little heavy, bro. Hold on, man. Mm. Oh, the drop. 
I feel I feel like I feel like the dad from Friday. Number one or number two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Uh oh. Oh Lord. Mm, mm, mm. Woo! She makes me see. This is a problem. This is why I can't never lose weight, man. The wifey. Uh, no, Biz. Bibble feet and defense is more like Shakur Stevenson style. It ain't close to Shakur. Uh, he is always out of range, but stays in range. Oh, you're talking about the approach. Okay. To hit, hit his opponent. It's going to be hard for Canelo to close that gap. It's going to be hard for Canelo to close that gap. I don't know about that. I thought it would be hard for Caleb, for Canelo to close the gap with Caleb, Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant is slightly taller than Bibble, longer reach than Bibble, with better feet than Bibble, and slicker than Bibble. Okay? If you look at Bibble, though, who has Bibble fought for you to feel that he's going to be able to keep Canelo Alvarez off of it? I don't know. I don't know. Pascal? Maybe Pascal? Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, you said uh, some of uh, that food my way real quick, player. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, let me see. Uh, a bon appetit. Thank you so much. And the Tyson Bell. I'm going to say this, too. You guys must have your money on Bevel. Good, because that's a great bet. That's what Ruiz ate uh, before the second AJ fight. I'm I'm sure of it. I got into just I need a Tums. Oh, uh, let me see. Bring me my glove up off the happy fight night. I feel you. I feel you. Do you guys know how to win the glove? How does the foil taste? I'm not eating the foil, brother. I'm not eating the foil whatsoever. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Roll that down. Mm-mm. Lord. Mm. Mm. Hold on. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Lord have mercy. That's fire. Let me see what else we got. Mm. Flex on him. Seat. Seat. Pow. Here's a Tyson Bear. You look cute tonight, Biz. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you so much. What else we got? Uh, I'm the three-time giveaway champ. Uh, about to be four times salute. Oh, Young King did? Yeah, Young King be winning. You got that right. You on relevant? Uh, what's up, Biz? Remember this? Canelo by TKO knockout got a bag on it. I got 500 on it. So, I, 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 me, I'm not, I don't need to remember. I, I got that so scarred in my $500 worth. Uh, this is where Biz yells, stop the fight. Yeah, I swear it. If, if Canelo hits him once, I'm screaming, stop the fight. Check. Uh, no, those gloves belong to me. Hit the Tyson Bell. Yeah, chick. He playing no games. Lord have mercy. Hold on, y'all. I'm 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 getting I'm getting to y'all. I'm getting to y'all. Just Lord have mercy. I'm trying to get to you. <clears throat> that ain't healthy, Biz. Who said I'm trying to be healthy? I'm trying to eat, brother. Mm, mm, mm. 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 Ah, I want to tell you guys this. I know I'm starting a little bit early. Rip Kevin Samuels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was on that. I mean, the burrito, that means Canelo going to win. Viva <laughs> Mexico. Look, my whole house got money on him. <laughs> Dude, I got people calling me, <laughs> right? <laughs> My whole house got money on Canelo. Let me see. A new member, baby, baby, boy. Thank you so much, brother. <laughs> boy, that that is a that burrito is going down heavy. Uh, let me see. Oh, I saw Doctor Strange this morning. 
uh, fantastic movie. I liked it a lot. I want to say this, though. I want to say this. I'm not, forget how Disney started off, but where they are now. Much love to Disney. Marvel 2 with Stan Lee. This is what I'm going to say. Representing the human race. Stan Lee was, is to me one of the greatest humanitarians to ever live. We love you, boy. Ha representing Native Americans in comics, Native American superheroes, Indian superheroes, um, Asian uh, superheroes, Black, African superheroes, white women, gay. Stan Lee, animal, mutant, it didn't matter. Stan Lee was he he was a great humanitarian and when i saw dr strange when you guys go watch that movie no spoilers but i just want to let you guys know this if you guys go to see dr strange you're going to see the human race represented that's what it, it just i noticed it i just looked and was like it was extremely noticeable white heroes and villains african asian everything bro Everything, Mexican, you know, uh, Hispanic, everything. Hit the Tyson bear. It was beautiful. And that's what we're doing in the war room. With this community, we represent everything. Okay? And I think that is the proper way to go about um, any product or service. That's the proper way. These people bleed red. Right? You got a Russian against a Mexican fighter. And I'm looking at, looking at it as Canelo versus Bill. And that's beautiful. All right, hit the Tyson Bell. Uh, our community, best community in the world. Uh, what do you think uh, makes a great fighter? Well, what, ma what makes, here, what makes a great fighter is obviously things that makes you a good fighter right? Potential. Let's start there. Having the skill set to be good. You have to be good first. After that, determination and will. All right? Intestinal fortitude and endurance. I'm talking about mental endurance. To be able to, just like what makes any human great, if you want to be a great student, if you want to be a great anything, Having the burning desire to not yield, unyielding, and having the burning desire to yearn to gain as much knowledge and skills as possible in what you're trying to be great at. That's where it starts. If you have that intestinal fortitude and will to aggressively and tirelessly look to improve. When you look at Canelo Alvarez, when Canelo Alvarez, you got the, you guys got that sound bite? Maybe I got the sound bite. Oh, it's on my phone. Canelo Alvarez, when he said, when they said, would you fight Usyk? He said, I know he's a great fighter. That's why I would want to fight him. He said, why not? He wants to fight Usyk because he's a great fighter. That's different. That's different than someone saying, I'm the A-side. Fight me, or I'm the A-side. No, I want to fight Usyk because he's great and because he's difficult. That's what makes a great fighter. That idea. I want to put myself up against the biggest challenges I can think of. Go up to 175, fight a champion. Better BF become undisputed. I want to go up against that wall, so I can know my limitation, know my ceiling, learn what that ceiling is, so I can find out how to break through it. That's great. And there's, there's, there are fighters who display that. So, to me, I think that's the definition of great. Damn, Biz, you're tearing that up. Brother, you ain't lying. You ain't lying. The Miz Biz got this from me, for me, from the bottom of, of her heart. Let me see. This came from her heart. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. 
Usyk, a lighter heavyweight, but he's the unified heavyweight champion, right? So you want to be smart, too. Canelo Alvarez isn't right now trying to jump to fight Tyson Fury. Let me see if I can beat Usyk. This is, this is a rational thinker, right? Let me see if I can beat the unified heavyweight champion. He beat AJ. Great. Fantastic. Let me see if I can beat him. If he could beat him, Canelo would say, well, let me see if I can beat Tyson Fury. You try to find that wall. If that's not the wall, if that's not the ceiling, you go to the next one. You see what Juan is doing? Let me see how I can take away from him pursuing that greatness. That's not great. Recognizing how difficult that is, what he's trying to do. Understanding greatness, and that works for you too. If you know how to identify greatness, you will know how to pursue it. Let me see. Too much hype. Too much hype on this fight. Bivol doesn't stand a chance. Bivol doesn't look hungry like Alvarez. Here's the problem with that statement. He does look hungry. Bivol looked extremely hungry. People thought Canelo looked scared. So now you got your perception saying that Bivol doesn't look hungry. You got people saying Canelo looks scared. So who do, who do you believe? Two, Canelo Alvarez fighting the WBA undefeated light heavyweight champion. Better BF got to fight with Joe Smith. Perfect. If he beats Bivol, he gained that title. Then he has to fight the winner between Joe Smith and Better BF. They will be unified. That fight makes undisputed. Right? So what I'm saying is there's too much hype for this fight. No. If you know boxing is the proper uh, hype for the fight. When Canelo went up to 175 to fight Kovalev, Kovalev out his prime, not enough time between fights and all those things. Okay. But now he's fighting a prime fighter who's undefeated with the WBA title. Proper hype. Also, trying to be two-time undisputed. This is the first step. Proper hype. If you don't know boxing, you won't be able to identify that. If you know boxing, you know how great this is. Let me see. What else we got? Uh, showbiz uh, beyond a boxing show. Hit the Tyson Bell. Beyond a box. You got to be able to identify greatness so you can know how to pursue it. Uh, I'm rooting for Bivol. Good. Uh, but do you see a chance that Bibble wins by knockout? By knockout. I don't think he can possibly win by decision. That's the problem. Um, flex on him. See? See? Pow. Let me see. Uh, keep my wife's name. Bit new to boxing, however. Always wanting to watch and learn more. I know you are the man to learn from. Thank you so much, brother. Are Errol Spence, Josh Taylor, and, or Jamel Charlo all-time greats? By the way, you are making me hungry. <laughs> I feel you. Um, all-time greats. Jamel Charlo has an opportunity. So does Errol the True Spence. If you want to talk about rare, rare out of that group, Errol the True Spence is the most. He is rare. He's rare. I'm telling you, that guy is different. Okay? If you want to say rare, who separates? Errol Spence is rare, rare. Josh Taylor, he's going to be an all-time great. Not that rare, rare upper, upper. Errol True Spence has an opportunity to be one of the greatest watchways of all time, okay? I can't really say the same thing about Josh Taylor. Jamel Charlo, he can work on it. But I, but I don't think he has the potential that Errol Spence has. Thank you so much for the Super Chat. Oh, let me see. Showbiz, you're a Canelo fanboy. Give Bill credit. Um, I just said how great this fight was because Bill was an undefeated WBA champion in his prime. So I think, Malik, you hate so much that you can't hear a good thing, right? Bivol credit is to this point. If Canelo beats him, that's huge because Bivol is a fantastic fighter. Okay. Do I think Bivol beats Canelo? No. But do you want me to say that just to give him credit? Okay, I'll do that for you, Malik Johnson. Bivol will knock out Canelo in two rounds. I hope that works for you. But if you want me to tell the truth, which my analysis should be based on truth, I got Canelo Alvarez knocking out Bivol. But if you just want me to jack on his balls just to make you happy, I'll just say that. But I've said some very good things about Bivol, but it's hard for you to hear it, right? Because you hate Canelo so much, right? Uh, let me see. 
Uh, what are your opinions on Benavidez versus Canelo? I think that fight is building. I think Benavidez versus Canelo is a big time fight. Benavidez got to knock down some more challenges. Okay, I like what he's doing with David Lemieux. I think he needs to go up to 175, make a make some bones there or something like that, and go hunt Canelo. Absolutely. Right now, he doesn't really have the fighters. Hey, did you guys hear uh, Eddie Hearn say, yeah, I've been mismanaging Bubu Andre in so many words and said this next fight is going to be his last. Bubu Andre, didn't he ha doesn't he have like an arm injury, shoulder injury, something like that? He had to pull out the Zach Parker fight. That's the thing about Bubu Andre. He hasn't been able to build up the resume either for people to really like the casuals and everybody to really be, you know, uh, wanting um, to see Bubu Andre in the ring. Let me see. People uh, forgetting Russians can take punches. Um, I don't think uh, taking punches is a race thing. Uh, good. I got Canelo between a ninth and 11th round hook or a body shot. I'm not sure if, uh, if that's a race thing. Let me see. Canelo a cheat. Uh, you keep supporting him. Uh, he pop. Now you're on something else. Now you're on something else, Malik, right? Here's the conversation now. The conversation is, you're saying, I don't like Canelo. And I don't like that you have no problem with Canelo. That's a totally different conversation that the rest of the war room don't need you and I bickering about back and forth. I'm not going to make you love Canelo. You're not going to make me hate Canelo. You're not going to make me hate Oscar Valdez. You're not going to make me hate Jamel Charlo, just like people who wanted me to hate Wilder. People wanted me to hate Tyson Fury, wanted me to hate Lomachenko. It's not going to happen. I love boxing. And I look at these fighters and I respect these gladiators. It's not going to happen. So I'm not a part of that wave that you are on. You got to leave this channel, Malik. This channel is not going to do the things that you want. Just blindly hating somebody or loving or fanboying or going against and going... It's not going to work. We analyze the fights. We bet on the fights. But we don't, we're not on a wave to hate Canelo or on a wave to love Canelo. We hate and love concepts. But this is a totally different conversation, Malik. And it's it's a waste of time. All right? Don't worry about it. Just leave the, leave the, leave the war room. Uh, what else we got? Uh, do you think Brian Castillo got robbed in the Charlo fight? I thought it was a draw. But I don't think I saw it as, when I watched it again, I don't think I saw it as a Jamel Charlo victory. I really saw it as a draw. Um, so getting robbed, robbery means when one person definitely won. When I look at that fight, it all depends on what you're looking at. Uh, for me, Castaño, he won. Some middle rounds, he was taking over. Jamel Charlo won the late ones. Jamel Charlo won some early ones. Who got hurt the most? Brian Castaño got rocked maybe three times that fight. Let me, and it, it leads to me thinking Jamel Charlo is going to knock him out the second fight. But Brian Castaño definitely put in one hell of a fight. He rocked Jamel Charlo once. Is that, I mean, you can look at that when he rocked Jamel. Because I remember screaming and saying, that's a knockdown. The ropes kept him up. I thought, Brian, I thought. You could have called that a knockdown. When you look at it again, uh, okay, I can see why the why the ref didn't. I thought it was a draw. I thought it deserves a rematch. Um, I'm not crying about it either way, right? I thought it was a very close fight. I thought it, I I really thought it was really a draw. Sometimes it's really a draw. Let me see. Yeah, you're right, Sully. You're right. I think I think Jamel Charlo is going to be throwing punches everywhere. We're almost at a thousand. When we reach a thousand, um, I'm definitely going to uh, bring up how to win that Canelo Alvarez glove. Um, and everybody, give it up for the Varnett Hill. Bring on this with a laugh and do the cabbage patch. She's a pretty lady and then signs them autographs. The Varnell Man Ten. Boing boing. <laughs> oh, my bad. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Hit the like. Let me see what you got. I think this fight, low key, a 50 50 fight. I can see that. 
Hank, I'm going to estimate Bivol. No. But I got Canelo winning, though. Perry, I think that's what's being said. You know, here's the thing. I think people are going too far in response to what I what I'm saying. So let me let me let me say it a little bit differently, okay? I thought Bivol would beat Canelo. Two years ago, I said if there's a guy to beat Canelo, it's Bivol. But as I saw Canelo deal with Caleb Plant, Billy Joe Saunders, don't forget, I thought Billy Joe Saunders would be a problem for Canelo. So as he's grown and developed this new kind of boxing style approach, I'm like, okay, he'll beat Bivol. We're talking about giving Bivol his his love. I think Bivol is a harder fight for Canelo than better be him. I think getting past Bivol is the problem for Canelo Alvarez. So I've said those things. So I got to make sure I say those things before people panic, okay? So give Bivol his love. What I've only been communicating is why I got $500 on Canelo. That's all. Like my man said, hey, look, you can't underestimate Bivol, but I got Canelo though. Okay, so then why do you have Canelo? And that's what I've been doing, explaining why I have Canelo. I can't say I have Canelo but Bivol is going to can knock him out. I got Canelo. But Bivol, then you're you're now you're wavering back and forth. So I'm saying why I got Canelo strongly. But can Bivol fight? Hell yeah, Bivol can fight. Bivol's a bad boy, right? Um, I I don't know how to keep communicating that. I think you have to do that though to make people not panic, right? Hey, Bivol can really fight. I got Canelo. Bivol's very good. I got Canelo. So I guess I'm going to go back and forth and say that for you know. For everybody else, but I, I am communicating why I got Canelo. Spence or Crawford, who wins? I, 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 man, I don't know. I don't know. A new member, baby, baby, baby. What we can do, um, have you guys, oh, man, did you guys see on Twitter the back and forth between Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence? They've been going at it, bro. They've been going at it. So uh, I don't know. Showbiz speaks facts while making us laugh. Salute. I, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know exactly what to do. Right? It touches a lot of people's feelings. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh-huh. Uh, Bivol, I mean, hoping uh, for a great fight no matter the winner. 100%. 100%. And it'll be actually huge if Bivol were to win. You got the Russian invasion over Ukraine. You got it being Cinco de Mayo. And then Bivol beats Canelo. That's huge. You got Crawford? That would be huge. The Twitter fingers were real, weren't they? The Twitter fingers were real. I really needed that burrito, bro. I think I'm done. Maybe not. Let me get my room temperature. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, here we go. Um, What funny is mm, that Errol Spence and Bud are laid back, but that press conference would be entertaining. Brother, that press conference, we saw a little bit of that when they were in the uh, hallway with each other. They're definitely going to be going at it. It's a real thing. And they both, they both passionately, emotionally want to be undisputed, and they passionately, emotionally want to beat each other because they both at the top, and they both genuinely respect each other. That's the thing. They genuinely respect each other. Um, on top of that, Crawford is coming at the whole camp. Crawford is like, I'm going to dribble Errol Spence off the canvas. Then I'm going to go to 154 and whoop Jamel Charlo's at. Now that, you know, now you're going too far. <laughs> he coming at the whole squad. Uh, let me see. Do you put PED users on your all-time list? Uh, 
even uh, Roy Jones, um, if it's questionable. So Roy Jones, it was never for sure fact. All you need to do is Google it. If it's questionable. So how I feel about PEDs, Evander Holyfield is on my all-time list. Roy Jones on my all-time list. Also, how I feel about PEDs is this. Uh, Floyd Mayweather, you saw that he popped with the uh, IV cheating against Manny Pacquiao. But then you also have Manny Pacquiao, who never popped, but people think he did. So you have a situation with PEDs where are you saying, do you put PED users on your all-time list or people who got busted? Because there's a lot of PED users that never got busted. What do you know? How much do you know, Malik? You don't know shit, right? So when it comes to like Canelo Alvarez, you got the computer raw thing. So then you look into it. Now that's the difference between you and I. When I looked into it and I found out everything that I found out, right? The hair sample, he didn't pop, right? He went further to take him to court. If somebody is guilty, why did he go so hard to take him to court and to get retested? So that was good effort from Canelo. But after that, also, the amount of clenbuterol was very, very small, and it was consistent with that that's found in tainted meat in Mexico. Okay, but has that happened before? Eric Morales popped dirty, eating tainted meat in Mexico. Okay, whole football teams popped dirty. Okay, so it has happened. So, okay, whatever. Now, for you, you're like, he's totally a cheater. Then that's you. I think it's a personal thing. And regardless, Malik, of what I do personally, it doesn't matter. Leave. Right? You don't like how I feel about Canelo Alvarez. You passionately hate him. You cannot be here. It's not going to help you to be here because you're going to keep trying to convince the war room, convince me. I, I, this is old. This is three years ago. You think I'm going to, you're going to come with, with something new that I haven't thought about after three years of doing my job here? It's over. So you're not going to convince me. I'm not going to convince you. Just bounce. You don't like what I do here. Get out of here. What else we got? Uh, what up, Biz? I got Canelo KO in the seventh round. Go ahead, Gordon family. I Man, I don't know. I don't know, man. I got him by KO. I just don't. I think it'd be TKO. You know, that ref will mess around wave it. That ref will mess around and wave it. Y'all may start booing. That ref will mess around and wave it. Uh, even if Bill wins, uh, they're either going to make it a draw or give it to Canelo. That's the thing. That's the thing. On Cinco de Mayo, Russian invasion. Hey, look, if he can overcome all of that and beat Canelo by decision, more power to him. That's the thing. That's the perception. Sometimes the perception is reality. And when you look at little fights, like with Floyd Mayweather, that was a majority decision. How? In what world? We look at Canelo Alvarez versus Triple G, the first fight. Triple G tapped that ass. I, I re-watched it. I re-scored it in front of all you guys in the war room. When I re-scored it, Triple G won. The second fight, Canelo won. But the first fight, Triple G won that fight. So I cannot say that how you guys are thinking is crazy. No way in the world. No way in the world. That's the perception. We'll see what happens tonight. That's why, that's why I say, not only is there extra stress. Hold on, hold on. Let me help, let me help everybody. Um, let me help everybody over here on relevant. Let me help everybody on relevant. Not only is there extra stress for Bivol to beat the hell out of Canelo in order to get a decision. There's extra stress, stress on Canelo because he wants to be great to have to get real recognition when he wins, right? You got people thinking no matter what, he's on steroids. He hasn't popped since. He hasn't popped dirty before. He hasn't popped dirty after. He's always on steroids, right? So you got those people. You can't do anything about those people. Then you have the fact that, hey, if he wins by decision, it's always a robbery. Of course he wins by decision. So Canelo has extra stress to knock him out to say, hey, I'm a great fighter. I deserve the win. I don't think Canelo like that whole idea that fights are given to him. He's fighting more than everybody else, seven times in two years. He's fighting more than everybody else. So he's trying to say, look here, I'm great. So there's extra pressure on both. When you start doing it, start, you know, giving fights or giving rounds to somebody, it doesn't help that fighter in the long run, especially when that fighter's trying to be great. It taints his legacy, right? You saw my man talking about Canelo Alvarez is on steroids permanently. Right. His brain is just so it it taints 
it taints those people. No matter what, if they go to the decision, you know, Canelo Alvarez is going to win, it taints his legacy. Whatever judge is trying to help is ruining Canelo Alvarez. That does not make boxing great, and it does not lend to Canelo Alvarez's legacy. But Jam McKing, uh, Nello between 7 and 12. Uh, oops, what up, Biz? What's going on? I don't know what Pajama King is. Oh, that outfit he had. On, I don't know what that was about. I can't see Bibble getting uh, knocked out. He's probably going to get TKO. Oh, you don't see him getting knocked unconscious. Uh, I, I I feel you. So three fights in set uh, and paid for. The only reason I put your money down for that is because you know he got three stiffs. How is that legendary European tour shake my head? Okay. Um, that's why when you say European tour, so you're talking about from after Danny Jacobs. So that means that there's no way Bubu Andre should have a fight with Canelo Alvarez. Sean M, look at Bubu Andre's last six opponents. They're all European. Oops. Look at, look at Charlo. Has he fought? How many black fighters has Charlo fought? Jamal Charlo, how many black fighters has he fought his last five fights? Brandon Adams? Who? So the question is, is it a black thing? Is it a race thing? Or the champions? Who were the champions at super middleweight? Here, let me do it like this. Who are the undisputed champions right now? You want to do the, the race thing? Who got four titles? So who got four titles? Usyk, um, Tyson Fury, lineal heavyweight, uh, Cambosis got four titles. Josh Taylor, undisputed. Canelo Alvarez. Is it a black thing? Where the blacks at? Oh, I know where they're at. Jessica McCaskill, Cruz, uh, Clarissa Shields, but even still, Katie Taylor. What you need to do is look at the belts. Look at the belts. And then when you say, okay, Bubba Andre has a belt. Who has he been fighting? Look at this last six fights. They're all European. Just don't just focus on one person to hate. Look at boxing as a whole. It's going to help you. It's going to help you understand. So don't make this a race thing. Like I said, the war room isn't about a race thing. Uh, Biz, quick question. Is there a limit you can bet on BUSR? There's a $500 uh, dollar max uh, for this fight. Last pay-per-view, I put 500 BUSR account. And I and could only bet certain amount. Yeah, so you have to you have to ask them but usually the the max is, is on there uh, let me see malik caught up uh in the politics over the sport every time traverse that's why he got to leave here uh you see bud going at arrow camp uh got i saw that javante shakur going at it but javante took you see that javante Tavis, uh tank davis retracted his statement against shakur stevenson he took his away uh with spence tank is uh close now people are saying Keyshawn and frank but Javante took his statement away when Shakur Stevenson said he wanted that smoke. YouTube, YouTube, thank you so much. Um, hold on. Let me see if I can move this to. Yeah, Dr. Strange was insane. Absolutely. I think the pay-per-view started with Barstool. Fight night with Barstool. I don't know what the hell. What, what the hell is that? Hold on, let me let me see. Is there a difference? Huh. I don't know what that is. Okay. Um, so there's a thousand people in here. Hold on. Uh, be a boxing fan, create your own list. You feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? Um, what else we got? When Canelo get that KO, no more duck BS, respect him. It's not gonna happen. It doesn't happen. Canelo Alvarez got the Floyd Mayweather disease now. Floyd May Mayweather, he, guess what he absorbed? The Oscar De La Hoya disease. The Oscar De La Hoya disease. Guess we have the Roy Jones Jr. disease. When you're great, people hate. When you're great, people hate. Floyd fans are now hating Canelo for the same reason that people who are Canelo fans now hated Floyd. People don't learn their lesson. Not people, haters. They don't learn their lesson. You're just going to hate what's great. People hated Floyd Mayweather for the same reason. Every fight Floyd Mayweather had, they put an asterisk next, next to it because they just could not give him that love, that he was that great. Floyd was just that damn great. So is Canelo. 
So is Roy Jones Jr., Oscar De La Hoya, Manny Pac-Man, Pacquiao. Those boys are great if you like it or not. Hit the Tyson Bell. You try to focus on, hey, let me diminish his great. He's great. I'm sorry. There's nothing you can do. Everybody in the war room who tried to say that Floyd Mayweather isn't great, too bad. You lost. Everybody who's trying to say Canelo Alvarez isn't great, too bad. Fall on deaf ears. You can scream as much as you want. You just a hater. You lost. Period. That, how is that not real? How, as a matter of fact, give it up for the Barney Hill. Bring on this with a laugh. And do the cabbage patch. She's a pretty lady. And then sign some autographs. The Barney Hill man can. Boing, boing. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, Biz, how you think Shakur matches up with 135 division? Great. That dude's huge, man. That dude's huge. He'll be just fine. He'll be just fine. Let me see. Ronald Big. Uh, Biz, did you ever rewatch Taylor uh, Serrano? No, I didn't. But I know Katie Taylor. It's not crazy to say that Katie, Katie Taylor was giving Serrano a boxing lesson. I told you guys that, that Katie Taylor was better. She was a better boxer. Uh, Manu Serrano was a better fighter. Um, it all depends on what you give credit to. Right? I think Amanda Serrano was winning the fight. Katie Taylor was winning the boxing match. Amanda Serrano beat the hell out of Katie Taylor. Right? Busted her up, right? Um, but Katie Taylor was outboxing her. So let me see. I found myself scoring one, two, and four for Taylor in the early rounds. I personally think fair decision. Fine. It, I, it's fair. It's fair. It's not a robbery. I had it for Amanda Serrano for what I give rounds to, right? It depends on how you saw it. But it was a fantastic fight. Rematches are coming. Uh, I'm more interested in Benavidez versus Charlo than either Canelo. Thank you. Me too. I want these guys to fight each other. I'm more interested in Andre versus Charlo. Andre been calling out Charlo longer than Canelo. I've been, I'm looking forward to Benavidez versus Andre, Benavidez versus Charlo. I'm looking forward to those guys fighting each other. I am sick and tired of the idea that Canelo got to fight everybody. That's what happened with Floyd Mayweather and Pacquiao. That's why casuals are so big. They cannot get into the sport of boxing because they don't watch anybody else but the one guy they're hating or loving. That's why Benavidez got a fighter. Charlo, they gotta, you got to uplift the sport, not just a fighter. Canelo is not boxing. He's Canelo. You got to uplift the sport. These guys got to fight each other. Back in the day that I, when I was coming up, they were all fighting each other. It wasn't Mike Tyson just versus everybody. They were fighting each other. Here's the Tyson Bell. And we were watching it. I say this all the time. The Four Kings, people bring up the Four Kings. But Hagler fought the Beast Mugabe. Absolutely. Here's the thing. Duran fought Wilfred Benitez. Wilfred Benitez fought Pepino Quay. Pepino Quay fought Duran. Hearns fought Duran. Uh, uh, Hearns fought Sugar Ray Leonard. Sugar Ray Leonard. Hearns fought Pepino Quay. They were all fighting each other. They were all fighting each other, too. It wasn't just Sugar Ray Leonard fighting everybody and everybody waiting for Sugar Ray Leonard. Fight me. It wasn't like that. So we got to make boxing great again. Uh, let me see. Canelo then either versus uh, Canelo or Charlo then either versus Canelo. But sadly, I don't think they'll fight each other. Also, I really don't want to see the Triple G3. I don't want to see that anymore either. Uh, fight, it feels like a waste. Now it feels like a waste of time. Yeah, I hear you. After Murata. Yeah, absolutely. Um, why do people say Canelo is small? He is. He's, he's a little guy. He's a little guy, but he's big. He's small, but he's a giant, right? It's just like, hey, Floyd Mayweather, why didn't he stay at 154? That guy was small. He shouldn't even been 147, but he's a giant, right? That's what's going on with Canelo. When Canelo was fighting at 154, he would step in a ring at 165, 170. Uh, he's short, not small. He's stocky. With huge legs. He's small. He's small in comparison to Bibble. He's small in comparison to Better BF and those boys. He's small in comparison to them. He is. He's a small guy going up. I mean, it is what it is. All right. Uh, but he's big. He seems to be the big puncher in this fight. Right? It's Canelo Day. Bibble is the champion at 175. Canelo is going to be uh, coming into the ring last. See, stuff like that. He's the big man. How is he the giant but small at the same time? Um, but yeah, he's stocky, but he's not, he's not big. Team Bibble, much love to you. What else we got? Uh 2K22 can be the year of undisputed for black fighters. Love all cultures, though. Okay. 
much love to you. That's what I'm saying. I don't even. I don't, I don't even care. I don't even care. But but let's talk about this giveaway. We got everybody showing up. Boom! A Canelo Alvarez autographed glove, signed by Saul Canelo Alvarez. I'm giving this away today. All you have to do is be a subscriber. Subscribe to this channel right now for your opportunity to win this Canelo Alvarez autograph glove. You got to be a subscriber. If you're already a subscriber, you're in there. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. But this is what you have to do. I'm giving this glove to a subscriber who is also a Relevant member. Go over to Relevant. Click the link in the description box. Go over to Relevant and join my vibe on Relevant. The link to Relevant is right in the description box below. I'm going to go through Relevant, and that's how I'm going to choose my winner from Relevant. But you got to be a subscriber here first. So hit the subscribe button and go over to Relevant and join my vibe on Relevant. The link is in the description box. You can have the opportunity to win this $1,400. Well, I'll pay $1,400. It's worth $1,600. Autographed Canelo Alvarez glove. And here's the certificate of authenticity to let you know that it's authentic. I got it with me. It's going to be shipped to you with the glove. All right. Me, me, absolutely. Let me see. All right. What else we got? What else we got? Did I miss anything? <laughs> Everybody on relevant, like, give me my glove. Absolutely. Uh, let me see. Absolutely sure Canelo for the knockout in the seventh. I put 500 on it. You missed the, the bronze bomber giveaway? You've been here that long, man. Hit the, hit the Tyson bell. Much love to you. Glove of greats. Bivol wins tonight. Okay. Um, What's going to be more entertaining? Justin Gaethje versus Charles Oliveira or Canelo versus Bivol? I don't know. I don't know. But you guys know about that, that safety, right, on Relevant. Uh, let me see. Love you, bro. Hit the like. If you guys haven't hit the like, let me tell you something. Close out the chat and hit the like button to show support to this channel. Thank you so much. Hit type in there. If you haven't hit the like, please, please hit the like. Ooh. Hit the like. Your fingers over here be like. There's nothing to hit the like. You know what you like. Ooh. Man. I got indigestion. I got Oliveira and Canelo. Olivero came in overweight. I don't know how good of a uh, uh, of a camp he had. Um, I'm hoping Justin Gaethje wins. Uh, let me see. Uh, really, oh yeah, thank you so much, BK. You got a lot of people in relevant right now joining relevant. Thank you so much, everybody who came over to join. We almost got a thousand uh, members on relevant. We got 1,300 people in here tonight. We're working. Let me see. At the end of the year, Big Charlo got to fight a big fight. Yeah, right now he's fighting Selechi. I don't know exactly what's going on with his career. Next week, we got Jamel Charlo versus um, Brian Castaño, huh? Boxing his back, man. Uh, hey, yo, Biz, play the MJ for me real quick. Man, let me tell you something, brother. What am I waiting for? Baleen beats Wilder. I'll put money on it. Well, they got to fight first. So putting money on it. <laughs> they got to fight first, brother. So hold, hold on to your money. Uh, Call the fight. Uh, what fight? Nobody's fighting. Let me see. Uh, Order six tacos. You got me hungry, biz. There you go. Get busy. I know my stomach. Whew. Stomach. Don't roll over stomach. That burrito was serious. Let me see. James West ain't nothing but a gangster party. Hey, I want to say this. Um, um, I was on my way to the city. Oh, first, shout out to Drake, a guy named Drake. His real name's Drake. Uh, he saw me at the store. He recognized me. He said, What's up to me? If you're on, if you're live right now, shout out to you. Much love to you. I was on my way to the city and I usually don't have money on me. I have my card, but I don't, who carries money? I don't carry cash. So 
I happen to have a five spot on me. I forgot. I, I don't even know why I had a five spot. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I went to the barbershop, got changed. I don't know. But I had a five spot on me. I'm going to the city. And a uh, a homeless man got the sign. I said, oh, shit. I finally, I got a five spot on me. He comes up to the window. I haven't given a homeless man money in about 10, 10 years. I haven't carried cash, bro. I don't carry cash. Came up to the window. I waved him up. Gave him a five spot. He took it. Didn't even say thank you. Put it in his pocket. And he walked back the other way with the sign. That's the, that's, that's the last time, bro. <laughs> He just ruined it. He just ruined it for every homeless man I see from here on out. He just, that one guy, he just ruined it. He just ruined it. Oh, let me see. Super sticker. Thank you so much. Hit the tight bell. Jackie. Jackie, you feel me? Jackie gives me $4.99 very often. Jackie, that $4, I'm happy you gave. You give me $4.99. That guy just ruined it. Zang about to fight right now. We're about to call the fights. This guy, Alexander versus Zang. We're about to call the fights right now. You feel me? Never again. Never again. Never give up on humanity, biz. Well, I'm giving up on him. Oh, never again. <laughs> That's not fair, bro. Not happening. Because I barely have, I, I haven't had cash on me in 10 years. I finally got a five spot on me. That guy took it right out of my, he almost took my fingers with it. And walked the hell off. I said, okay. That was the that was the quickest five spot I've ever spent in my life. Let me see. <laughs> uh he was he was pissed it wasn't enough. I know for an eight ball. He was pissed that it wasn't enough. He looked at my five and said, get that shit out. That, that's what happened. He had an attitude. Okay. Okay, Dave. Ain't nothing but a gangster. Thank you so much, brother. You gave you gave me my five back with cheese. Here comes Zang. Zang is a badass, man. I'm about to call this fight. Zang. Oh, I want to say this, too. I want to say this, too. I got so much food in my teeth. I want to say this, too. I was, uh, I was in uh, the movies to see Doctor Strange. And I stepped out the movies. Leaning on the wall was a guy who was about four years under me that I used to rock with in the hood, right? He, he was one of those little guys that kind of hung out with the bigger guys. He said, yo, show. I said, what up, boy? I ain't seen him in a minute. Gray hair, beard. He had his daughter with him. Beautiful. He looked in great shape. I gave him a hug. What's up, boy? He said, yeah, man. Used to, used to, uh, you know, you taught me about comic books. He's sitting right outside of the Doctor Strange movie. I remember, I recall teaching him about comic books. Let me tell you something about this kid. This kid, you want to talk about the trajectory, being in a questionable, <laughs> a questionable direction. Quick story. I remember being all-time quarterback while the kids were playing. And he, he, he did like a five and out. I looked at him. I pumped it to him. I looked deep, and I threw it deep. That kid was like nine years old. I was about 12. That kid said to me, hey, show, I was open so long I could have rolled a blunt. That's him at nine years old. Hey, show, I was open so long I could have rolled a blunt. Now, I taught that kid about comic books a little bit after that. I didn't know where that kid was going to end up in life. I come out of Doctor Strange. He leaned on the wall. Yo, show. Looking good. Clean and good. With a daughter. Raising a beautiful daughter. Shout out to you, boy. I said, you go ahead, dog. He said, yeah, you taught me comic books. Who knows? Because I remember he used to constantly come back and be like, hey, so do you think Wolverine would beat? Who do you think? He was constantly asking me about comics. 
Thank God. Going, we love you, boy. Hit the Tyson bell. Because the direction he was going, that boy told me, and that's just one example. He said, Showbiz, I was open so long, I could have rolled a blunt. That he was nine. Now look at him. Took his daughter to see Dr. Strange. 32 years later. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> or 28 years later. I don't know how long it's been. 20 some years later. Beautiful. Beautiful. Here comes the Zang fight right here. <laughs> here comes <laughs> just like we asked about boxing. <laughs> uh, all you need is positive influence. Good stuff, biz. You know what I'm saying? All he needed was somebody to give a damn. <laughs> and now look at him. Beautiful. Now I'm not saying I did it alone. Here comes Zang. That's South Paul. Look at Alex. Alex, <laughs> uh, two minutes, 50 seconds. Alexander is, is standing right in front of Zang. This isn't a good look. Alex, you got to move on Zang. Left from Zang, left uppercut from Zang. Zang punches way too heavy and too hard for Alex to be. Oh, good left from Zang. That was good timing. I'm, I'm surprised uh, uh, Alex didn't swallow his mouthpiece. Alex moving. Get good left hook to the chest from Zang. Brother, with Zane, you got to move, Alex. You can't stand right there. Good jabs from Alex. Alex back is against. Get off the ropes. Get off the ropes. Alex is going right in the direction. There you go. Alex was going right into the left hand of Zane. Good jab from Zane. Good jab from Alex. I like, I like how, bam, good straight left from, from Zane. I like the way Zane is pacing himself. Alex, get off the ropes. Alex. Alex, Alexander, get off the ropes. Bam! Good left. Good hooks to the body. Zang let his hands go on Alex. He's pushing his head out. You can't do that. Good wrestling. Good wrestling. Zang is on top of Alex right now. One minute, 50 seconds in the first round. Good straight left from Zang. Good jab from Alex. Bam! Right hand to the body from Alex. There you go. I, don't, I do not like the way Alex is, Alexander is sitting right there. He got the high guard, though, because Zang is so tall. Good straight left from Zang. He's splitting that guard. So that guard isn't that tight from Alex. Alex, your head movement, you got to move your head, Alex. You can't just sit there, man. Oh, right hand to the body from, from Alexander. Alexander still leaning on the ropes. He got to get off the ropes. Oh, good combination from Zane. Big heavy shots. It was a straight left right hook from Zane. Oh, Zane knocked him out with a straight left hand. Alex sleep. Gone. 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 Alexander knocked out. Straight left hand. Right on the button. You can't stand right there in front of Zang. Zang is eight feet tall. He punches like a battering ram. You can't stand right there without moving your head. You're begging to go to sleep. 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 You can't do that, man. You can't do that, man. Alexander went. And Alexander never been knocked out. Look, now his mustache just got longer. Look how long his mustache is. After he got hit with that left, bam! The much. At first, he didn't have a mustache at first. Then his nose hair grew into a mustache and was hanging right over his top lip. He hit him so hard in the forehead. It, it, his dress went through his nose, came out of his nose, and landed on his front lip. <laughs> you can't do that. You can't do that. That guy got pubics. Right off the front lip. Pubics. Some of his hair is on my face. <laughs> now, let me see. Good night, Irene. Good night. Uh, he punched him into having a mustache. He didn't have a mustache at first. That boy matured quick. Bam. Uh, homeless dude going to get the bag uh, with that five dollars on me. Yeah, homeless dude. Like, look here, I'm about to get to the bag. Put five, put five on Canelo Alvarez. I'm about to get to the bag. Uh, Zang's a bruiser. You don't sit in front of Zang like that. You must have lost your mind. You must have lost your mind. He was begging to get. What is going on? I'm telling you, that boy's hair. Zang done punched me into. Let me see. Alex thinking what just happened. He ain't move his head. 
He ain't move his head. He hit him with the mink. Yeah, yeah, he, he uh, Sully. Sully. Sully, you said it last night. No need to say wow, Sully. You, I mean, that, was that last night? Yeah, that was yesterday. Sully said Alexander going. <laughs> Remember that, Sully? You said that the way in. Sully was like Alexander going right to sleep. <laughs> Cause he he's a replacement fighter. Sully was like, that boy's going right to sleep. Hit him so hard he grew hair. Yeah, he did. I'm looking like an aborigine. How you say it? Yeah, he moved his hair for him. Uh huh. Let me get my room temperature. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Bibble looking sharp still. Bibble looks good. Bibble looks good. Bibble looks good. Bibble looks good. I see everybody on, on relevant right now. Bibble looks good, man. Dude. Bam. Oh, God. Look at his eyes. Look. Did you see it in slow motion? You see when my man said he took a dive? Look at his eyes. The people, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man. People don't know what a knockout look like anymore. That's how far removed from fighting people are. Dog, look at this. Oh, God. And that's the mustache form. Dog, that dude got so much snot and boogers hanging out his nose. L brother, he dropped quick. He dropped quick. He almost broke his leg. Brother, that left came. Bam! That is timing. That is perfect timing and accuracy. Right on the chin. Right on the chin. Facts. Yeah, Sully, I remember. Showbiz, I think even if Bivol lose this fight, he is the best at light heavyweight. <laughs> that comment was dumb. <laughs> Wait, maybe I need to know what you're thinking. Uh, what, what, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you, what do you mean? Uh, Bibble might need some uh egg shape uh just to go to the uh, yeah yeah he made he made <laughs> what do you mean if Bibble loses if Bibble loses to a super middleweight coming up to one seventy five and gets beat out of his title he's better than. If better BF beats Joe Smith, he like I don't know about that statement. I think Canelo would be a better light heavyweight than him. I think Canelo would be a better light heavyweight than him, and I think it would boil down to who wins between the winner of better BF and Joe Smith and Canelo Alvarez. <laughs> Do you think there's a chance of robbery? A huge chance. Yes, yes, a huge chance. Canelo's winning tonight. I'm, all right, all right, all right. Look here, look here, bro. Look here, bro. Bibble got to knock out Canelo, and that's tough to do. Have you ever seen Canelo knocked out? That's tough to do. Uh, showbiz, uh, Bibble got more spring off the bounce. Yeah, that's the problem. See, that's the one thing I'm not adding in there. Bibble got more spring off the bounce. So, <laughs> uh, Canelo's winning tonight. It's just how is it going to be by robbery? Is it going to be by clear decision? Um, or is it going to be by knockout? Because let me tell you this truth be told, if the fight is close, but you're give it to Canelo, people are going to say Bibble was robbed. If Canelo wins by under, if Canelo wins by three or less rounds, it's a robbery. No. If if genuine if Canelo genuinely wins by three rounds, it's a robbery. That's the way people are. If Bibble if Bibble goes to decision and Canelo wins by three rounds, it's a robbery. That is facts, bro. This channel is pure gold. Comedy is unreal. <laughs> Thank you so much, Entitlement. That's facts. 
that's facts. That's why I said there there is pressure on Canelo to knock out every fighter. If Bivol makes a fight out of it, it's a robbery. It's a robbery. Not true. Okay. Now, now listen. My man said, my man said, not true. Let Bivol win by let Canelo win by three rounds or less. And then go to the internet Sunday. Go to the internet tomorrow. Let Canelo win by three rounds or less. And then go on the internet tomorrow. See what people are saying. You'll see. I'll run this by you. If Canelo knocks out Bivol, Bivol took a dive. If Bivol goes decision with Canelo, Canelo's exposed. No. No. If Bilbo survives, Canelo got exposed. If Canelo knocked him out, knocks him out, it's a fake knockout. Just go. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. It's either Bilbo's a cherry pick or it was a fake knockout. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. All the above. It can be, it could be all of the above. Canelo was exposed and Bivol was a cherry pick and it was a fake knockout. Because that's what happens to great fighters. That's what happens to great anything. Flex on them. Keep my wife's name. Seep. Seep. Pow. Let me see. Biz, I'm worried. Bivol hasn't been stopped multiple times like Kovalev, so I doubt Canelo can knock him out, and that Kovalev fight was rough for Canelo until the KO. Huge Canelo fan with a bad feeling in my gut. How many times was Caleb Plant knocked out? How many times uh, was Billy Joe Saunders knocked out? We'll see. We don't just look at Kovalev. We'll see, though. We'll see. I understand. I was saying for me and my opinion. Oh, no, no, no. That, I'm not talking about me and your opinion. I'm not talking about my I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about perception. I'm talking about perception. I think the rest of the world room understood what I was saying. I'm talking about perception. If Canelo Alvarez knocks out Bivol, it was immediately. Let's see how we could take it from him. It's either going to be a cherry pick or it's either or a dive. If Bivol goes to the decision, Canelo was exposed. And if Canelo wins by three rounds or less, Bivol was robbed. Because I've seen that happen with Floyd Mayweather. I saw it happen with Floyd Mayweather. Maidana put up a tough fight against Floyd. He ain't beat Floyd. Pacquiao didn't beat Floyd either. But you got people putting the fights in super slow motion, Pacquiao versus Floyd. People actually said that Maidana beat Floyd. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. People said that Floyd Mayweather was dirty against Virgil Ortiz when Virgil Ortiz headbutted Floyd. That's what people do when it comes to great fighters. That's just what people do. It's not a Canelo only thing. It's a great fighter thing. It's not a race thing either. It's a, it's a hate thing. Let me see. James West, thank you so much for the super sticker. Ain't nothing but against the party. Yeah, Castillo, I think he beat Mayweather. But I said Maidana. Oh, uh, let me see. Pretty Boy was better than money, in my opinion. I don't know. I don't know that for sure, uh, Daryl Adams. Because I don't know if Pretty Boy would beat money. Money was smart. See, Pretty Boy was smart, very high IQ. But he can he can lean on his offense way more. Money Mayweather defense got so damn good. I don't know if Pretty Boy can beat Money. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if Young Foreman can beat Old Foreman. I don't know if Young Foreman can beat Burger George. Young Foreman couldn't get past five rounds. Burger George should go twelve, knock you out in eleven, without sitting down, standing up the whole fight. 
Young George couldn't go past five, six rounds, man, without burning out and being bone tired. I don't know if Pretty Boy would beat money. Flex on him. Seek, seek, pow. Uh, Triple G versus Charlo. Uh, who you got? Uh, I think Canelo beats Bivol. Triple G versus Charlo. That's a good fight. Right now, I got Charlo. Um, in their primes, Triple G. Uh, I think uh, Canelo beats Bivol similarly to uh, a Column Smith fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dominating decision. I can see that. Uh, I'm on the fence. Uh, pay for this Canelo fight or watch uh, the Wino uh, knock out a 24-pack. <laughs> uh, 100% agree. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Great point. Hey, hey, everybody, hold up. Hold up real quick. Hold on real quick. <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness they didn't know how to bet on uh they didn't know how to place the bets so i got it i got it together uh let me see uh yo i'm a fan uh that saw you today drake day that's what i was i just brought you up drake shout out to you uh at the home depot send the love brother much love to you my man uh let me see 100 percent agree i just brought you up drake Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me see. Uh, that OG mindset is completely different from the rest of us. Imagine you face someone in a game that you 100% knew were going to win. No matter if you were down a few or warming up, victory is in sight. That OG mindset is completely different from the rest of us. Ah, uh, imagine you face someone in a game that you 100% knew were going to win. Ah, uh, no matter if you were down or if you warm, uh -huh, victory is like, that's right. Hits the ice bell. Beautiful, beautiful comment. Beautiful comment. 
So you gotta get love for for to Bibble. Let me see. Uh, what I think about Zerto, busy fighter. Uh, let me see. Uh, great job, Show Biz, your podcast coming from VA. Thank you so much, my brother. Uh, for the community, much love, Biz. Shout out to you. If you haven't done it already, I'm not sure what you're waiting for, but if you can, do us all a favor and the like. Hit the like, your fingers over here be like, it's up and hit the like, you know what you like. Mm. Check this kid, Mark Castro. Check this kid, Mark Castro. This kid got a big old face. Check out, <laughs> check out Mark Castro. Is this the kid that I saw? Be check out Mark Castro. Check this kid out. I feel like Charlo beat Triple G, Andre, and Munguia. Uh, now, yeah, uh, yeah, I can see that. Because, see, that's the thing. Booboo, Booboo Andre, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Charlo, look, Triple G is old. Booboo Andre does not have a very good resume. Booboo Andre has a piss poor resume. He hasn't even fought. He hasn't even beaten a champion. I, Booboo Andre, I love you like a play cousin, but he's never beaten a champion. Munguia got huge flaws. Yeah, I agree with you. That's the thing about Bubu Andre and a lot of these people, right? A lot of these people who they think should be fighting Canelo, all right? They got to fight each other. Bubu Andre hasn't even fought a champion yet. He's a champion. He fought for vacant titles, but he hasn't fought a champion yet. Uh, let me see. Benavidez versus Colin Smith. What do you think, Biz? That's a good fight, man. That's a good fight. I think Benavidez may be special. We got to see. He may be special. Benavidez is nice. I want to see more from him. I, and, and I don't want to see Benavidez versus Canelo now. I want to see Benavidez once he gets in his prime. Once he's fighting great other good fighters and beating and beating other champ, um, uh, well, uh, champions or other very good fighters. I want to see Benavidez get some experience in this in this game and then fight Canelo. That's what I want to see because Canelo mess around to beat him now because Benavidez isn't ready yet. I want to see Benavidez ready. People are different than I am. They want Benavidez now. No, because if Canelo beats him now, he don't have to fight him later when Benavidez is the truth. I want to see Benavidez be the truth first and then fight Canelo. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. I want to see ben keep Benavidez do what you're doing. Beat Lemieux. Have another fight. Be ready for another tough fight. Go up in 175. I don't know. Beat Bivol. Beat guys that Canelo beat. Beat Caleb Plant. Then beat Bivol. Then fight Canelo. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking And do it soon. Do it by next year. Canelo's having four fights in one year. Do it, by do it soon. So I can see. So I can see a good Benavidez versus Canelo. That's what I want. That's what I want. See, Canelo wasn't quite ready for Floyd, but Floyd made Canelo ready for others. But he wasn't quite ready for Floyd. Floyd took his ass to school. But a Canelo ready would have been a better fight. All right, here we go. Look at this kid, Mark Castro. Look, check this kid out. Check this kid out. This kid's a nice prospect, man. Good jab from what's his name, Vincent? Oh, Vincente, man, good overhand right by Castro. Castro letting his hands go. This kid is good, man. Vincente threw a nice little jab. Vincente got a little jab. Oh, God, good up jab from Castro. Knock Vincente head back. Snap that head. Good right hand to the body from Castro. Look at Castro. Got Vincente against the ropes. This can be another early knockout. This can be an early, another early knockout, man. Bam, good right hand from Castro. Almost on the button. Vincente got a lot of defensive flaws. This, this is a showcase for Castro. This is a showcase. Good jab. Vincente, he, he has nothing for Castro. Castro is walking him down with no, no issues whatsoever. Good timing. No good, no defense whatsoever from Vincente. Watch, this knockout about to be brutal. Bam, bam, good right hand. Look at Vincente's left hand, how he drops it. And, and Castro knows it. He's looking at his forehead, and he hit him with a right hook to the body. Look at, look at Vincente's left hand. Good, good right hand from Castro. If one, oh, good left hook to the body from Castro. Now you got Vincente. Oh, good right hand. Good hook to the body. Castro nice, and he swam without getting wet. 
Good jab from Castro. Good lead left hook from Castro. Watch this. Watch this. Keep looking at that left hand from Vincente. Good jab from Vincente. Good jab again. Good jab again. from. Vincente. That's one thing. He got a knife. Go overhand right. You see when Castro throw that right hand? I'm telling you, look at the jab from, I mean, look at the left hand. After uh, Vincente throws his jab, look how he drops it. It's dropped right now. Good left from uh from Castro. One minute, 15 seconds, the first round. Good jab from Castro. Castro was big too, man. He's a big kid. Good footwork from Castro, bouncing back and forth. Castro went for a faint. Good jab from Castro. Oh, Vincente just missed a jab. Jabbed upstairs, jabbed upstairs again from Vincente. Overhand right from Vincente. Good move. Good work. 40, 48 seconds in the first round. Oh, good right hand. Right there. That just hurt Vincente. Good right hand from Castro. Good right hand again from Castro. Good head movement from Castro. Work, bam, bam. One, two from Castro. Miss. Good right hands to the body from Castro. Walking him down. 30 seconds. Oh, good right hand again from Castro. 30 seconds left in the first. Head movement from Castro. Uh, Vincente missing those combi that combination. Oh, good combination from Castro. Lefts and rights. Castro taking a step back. Oh, one, one, two from Vincente. His, his, his punch is coming out very slow right now with no snap. And this is only the first round with 10 seconds left. Good hooks from Vincente. Left hooks. Is that, is that his name, Vincente? Good right hand. Good right hand again from Vincente. Beautiful work. Let's go, Vic. Let's go, Vic. Let me see. Uh, Bilbo needs at least a knockdown or two plus eight round, uh -huh, to have a chance on the cards. Yeah, that, that's and, – and, and I don't blame you guys for thinking like that. David S., thank you so much, my brother. Everybody, don't forget. Don't forget your opportunity, your, your chance. To win this Canelo Alvarez autograph boxing glove, I will be including the certificate of authenticity, showing you guys that this is authentically uh, Canelo Alvarez's autograph. This uh, is valued at sixteen hundred dollars. I got it for fourteen hundred. Letting you know how much I pay for it. So to win this autograph boxing glove, all you need to do, all you need to do is be a subscriber to this channel, and then go over to Relevant. And join my vibe on Relevant. Hit the link in the description box. Go over to Relevant and join my vibe there. That's Showbiz the Adult. You got people on Relevant right now. They're all talking uh, on the panel right now, talking with each other. Uh, Relevant is a new social media platform. Make sure you guys go over there. Join my vibe over there. We're trying to grow over a 1,000 uh, members on Relevant. All right, here we go. Second round. I don't mind the jab of Vincent, though. I don't mind it whatsoever. Good jab again from Vincent. Oh, good left hook from Castro. Good left hook again from Castro. Castro's walking him down, man, eating up all that real estate. Eating up all that real estate. Good right hand. Good right hand again from Castro. Good right hand to the body from Castro. Left hook to the body from Castro. The heights. Uh, salute you, sir. Thank you so much. Always unknown. Much love to you. Thank you so much, my brother. Oh, good right hand from Castro. Left hook, straight right, missed. Right hand just missed from Castro. That was a good, yeah, I mean, I think I think the jab to the body from Vincente, Vincente uh, discouraged the right hand from Castro. Sec, second round out of six. One minute, 50 seconds left in the second. Good double jab from Vincente. Good right hand from Castro. Good left from Castro. These these fights are going by pretty fast. I'm, I'm looking for... Oh, good uppercut from Castro. Golly. Yeah, that hurt. That hurt. Jab to the body. Jab upstairs. Left hook just missed from Castro. Oh, good double jab from Castro. One minute, 25 seconds left in the, first, in the second round. Left hook from Vincente blocked by Castro. Castro and Vincente both in the middle of the ring. Good combination from Castro. Castro walking him down. Good combination from Vincente knocking Castro's head back. Double jab. They're still in center, center on the ring working. The color right now in the broadcast throwing me off because they look reddish. Good jab from uh, Vincente. Good jab to the body. Hook to the body from Castro. Castro is working. Oh, good right hand from Castro. He's, he's working. He's letting it cook. He's not rushing this knockout. Good combination from Castro again. A one-two. 
That too is landing because of the left hand being so low for Vincente. Oh, God. Good combination from Castro on as a counter. Jump back, countering the right hand of Vincente. Good jab again. Oh, that's just my TV. Okay, I see how that works. Because it just cleared up the color, the saturation. I'm not sure if that was me or, or the broadcast, but it cleared up. 25 seconds. Oh, good right hand, Vincente. Now Castro want to step up. He didn't like it. Good combination from Castro. Vincente is, is he's sneaking in some good little shots, man. Good combination from Castro that started with the left jab. Bam. Good hook from Vincente. Is, it missed. I just like the opportunity. I mean, not the opportunity, but the attempt uh, that he took that big loop in right hand. He had, he had to do something different. I like that he dug in and he threw something to give uh, Castro something to worry about. I really like that. Let me see. Relevant is nice. Was on yesterday for the first time. Only thing I couldn't see the chat while the panel was on. Uh oh. Yeah, I think they're they're talking a lot right now. Uh, reddish. Uh, that's what happens uh, to us pale skin folks. See. <laughs> yeah, there's 225 people right now on Relevant. Uh, let's get more people on Relevant. Need that glove. There you go. Everybody who's coming over to Relevant saying they need the glove. Shout out to you. If you are a Relevant member, that's how you win the glove. You gotta be a member on Relevant to win the glove. Your eyes popping, G. Yeah, that's what they do. Thank you so much, though, for reminding me. The Fireplace, Green Flames, LOL. Awesome channel. Canelo by KO, round eight for me. Oh, okay. Let's go. Let's go. A lot of people saying Canelo by KO. That's going to work because I got $500 on the fight. We were crashing this app at one point, so they stopped how many people can get on the panel. We we used to have, man, I mean, just a ton of people on the panel. Uh, baby arm, showbiz, got better head movement than Dillian White. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Good double jab from Vincente. Oh, good right hand from Castro. Uh, with two minutes, 45 seconds. Oh, good right hand from Castro. Vincente, he's let his hands go. That's what Castro wants. Open it up the opportunity. What I All I need for Vincente to do if he's going to get busy is to bring that opposing, that opposite hand back to guard his face. That's all I need. I need more defense from Vincente. He can get busy if he wants to, but a little bit more head movement and better defense. And, oh, God, good jab from Castro. Oh, good jab, flicking jab. The uh, first jab, when I say good jab, was actually a counter jab over the top of the right hand of Vicente. Oh, good left hook, Vicente, right on Castro's chin. I see some big flaws from Castro. If you're picking your shots, if you're not just throwing flurries, I see Vicente. He's been, he's been halfway successful on certain things here. Good punches, throwing them from the shoulders, because Castro is. But Vicente, he, when he's picking his shots, when he's picking them, um, and he's not being greedy. He does land pretty good on Castro. Good hook to the body from Castro. <clears throat> Vincente shouldn't have a chance this fight. Castro is just a better prospect, way better fighter. Um, he's landing good shots on Vicente. Vicente is, is hanging in there. Castro, Castro is also a big puncher. One minute, 30 seconds left in a, in a third round. Good left hook from Castro. Castro is getting hit with things that he shouldn't get. Oh, good combination from Castro. Castro is not sitting down on any of his, of his punches. He's just throwing them from the shoulders, and he's just touching them. I wonder why. It looks like he's just work. Oh, good right hand again from Castro. Is he just trying to get some work, some rounds in? I'm not sure what he's trying to do. One minute, five seconds left. Uh, Canelo is ducking Jake Paul and Errol Spence. Right, right. <laughs> One minute left for the third round. Good jab from Castro. Good uppercut. From Vincente, just missed. Oh, God, good combination. Castro is showing great. Vincente said, come on. Castro is showing great feet when he bounced back out of danger, and then he bounced back in, and he throws the combinations. He shows great feet, man, to escape and, and, and come back. His upper body movement leaves a lot to be desired, though. Um, Waist up, but I like his feet. Jabbing, hooking. Doing it from shoulder. Bivol is entering the ring right now. Good. I mean, entering the arena right now. Good right hand from Castro. 20 seconds left in the, in the third round. Good combination. Starting with the body from Vicente. Oh, one, two, just missed from Castro. Right hand to the body from Vicente. Bam, bam, boom. Good combination from Castro. Bam, Vicente, he's blocking a lot, though. Good right hook to the body from Castro. Castro, oh, God, good combination from Castro. Throwing him from the shoulders, very nice. Just wearing Vicente out. Vicente, his legs look a little bit, right? Look like he didn't put in the roll work. Look like he's tired already. That's not good. Blair to Flair, Cobbs, KO, Canelo with the jab in the first round. Absolutely. Uh, let me see. Boring fight. Huh. This guy's tough. I don't know. I like what I see. 
like what I see. Okay, okay. You know, a little, little zone can... Uh, You sound a bit unwell, Biz. Are you okay? <clears throat> yeah, you know, I've had a cold for for a week now. Uh, I, I'm not sure if it's allergies or what. Um, I did take uh the COVID test negative. So, yeah, I, I think it's just allergies. But actually, I'm getting better. I'm getting far better. Uh, Biz on the call. Much love to you. <clears throat> Bibble got Drago swag. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that Russian swag. Uh, show biz adult. Can't see the chat. Win vibe panel is full. Just adding to feedback. Okay, my brother. Thank you so much. Better BF is okay. He, he He's hard to beat. He's hard to beat. He's a savage. That's what he is. Uh, two minutes, 50, 45 seconds uh, in the fourth round. Good combination from, see, that the, the way, oh, God, good jab from Castro. His, his distancing with his feet is nice. Upper body movement, not so much. Castro. Good combination from Castro. Jab, jab, right hand from Castro. Real nice. I think Castro should go for the knockout, though. I think he should sit down with some punches a little bit more. He is getting a bit busier, though. But this guy shouldn't be able to last. And you don't want a, a, a fighter. Oh, good overhand right from Vincent uh, Vincente. Um, you don't want a fighter like this uh, going the distance with you if you're trying to make noise. Castro's on the undercard of Canelo Alvarez. You don't want this. You know, all eyes are on you right now. Good jab from Castro. Jab, then hook off the jab. Nice work. Good right hand from Castro. You know, Castro, he, he, he's working, but, you know, this kid, Vicente, is tough. Castro is just throwing him from the shoulders, though. He, he's throwing him nice and heavy. He's throwing him nice and natural. He's not really sitting down on anything. <clears throat> sitting down enough. You know, to let the weight of his punches, you know, have have make take a toll on you. One minute, thirty seconds in the fourth round. You know, have you ever seen like how how David Benavidez just throwing these heavy punches? Boom, 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 boom. Eventually, it's like, what the hell, right? So he he, he got a technique, something like that, right now. Not looking for a one hitter quitter yet. I'm not sure if he will. There's nothing that Vincente. The the reason why I'm concerned is there's nothing that Vincente is showing him to make him have to worry about um, taking those chances uh, to knock Vincente out. I, I would think you'll want to make a splash on the Canelo Alvarez on the card. 55 seconds in the fifth round. Good double jab from Castro. Good jab again from Castro, knocking that head back. Oh, good hooks to the body from Castro. Right hand, good combination from Castro. Good jab from Castro, right hand. Just miss. Swim without getting wet. Go ahead, Vincente. Good right hand again. Left hook to the body. Left hook to the body again. Vincente is a tough cookie, man. Because Castro is hitting him with some harsh. Good right hand from Vincente. 25 seconds left in the fourth round. Good right hand from Vincente. I like that right hand. I like that right hand. I mean, Castro is winning the fight. I just like what Vincente is, is giving. Because it gives the next fighter something to build on. I like that selective right hand, selecting that right hand, taking your time, being picky, right? Being stingy. I like that. Wow. Survived another one. And that's the water. Room temperature. Man. Man, let me see Canelo against Bivol. Uh-huh. Uh, very interesting. Mm-hmm. What is more of a rematch? Uh, Wait. What's the instrumental to your new intro biz is fire. Uh I you know, I, I don't know. You know, I just got the instrumental. It, it's not from like anybody you know. Uh let me see. What's what is more of a mismatch? Canelo versus Bivol or Tank versus Roly? Come on, brother. That comment was dumb. Thanks for everything you do, Biz. Much love to you, Hitler Tyson Man. I think Tank versus Taylor would be a good fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we got to see. You got Tank from here on out got to be against champions, man. Good right hand from Vincent Tank. You, you, that right. Oh, good jab from Castro. That right hand. That right hand. I love it from Vincent Tank. I love it. Two minutes, 45 seconds left in the fifth round. I love it to death. 
I love it to death. Vincente almost got a losing record, huh? But he can land that right hand. He's been working, getting better than people thought. And then flick to the body, overhand right. Good jab from Castro. Good uh, one, two. Oh, well, it was a three, two from Castro. <clears throat> Good jab from Castro. One, two, just missed. I got M. Caster over Kashan. Thoughts? All right, Kashan Davis is, is nice, man. It's nice. Oh, good overhand right from Vincente. Good right hand from Castro. Left foot to the body. Bam, bam, double jab. Good, good work, good work. Jab again from Castro. You know, Castro's supposed to win, right? Castro knocking everybody out, you know, prospect coming up. <laughs> This is his moment. But, I mean, I'm, there's a lot of stuff that disappointed me, man. Honestly, how how Vincente is weathering the storm and landing the right hand, right? Um, and he's doing it with confidence. The fact that actually Vincente grew in confidence as the fight went on, right? The first round or whatever, he did, it looked like he looked like a guy who shouldn't be here. Good combination from Castro. As the fight went on, he grew in confidence. Meaning that he learned he could... T oh, good right hand from Castro. Oh, man. As soon as I was about to say he learned he could take his punches, Castro just hurt Vincente with overhand right. Oh, good good left to the body. Big, it was just a biggie, big heavy right hand. Oh, God, good combination from Castro. One minute left. One minute, five seconds left. In the fifth round. Good combination. But Castro, I mean, Vincente feels that he can survive this. Look, see, uppercut, left hook. He's not discouraged. Blinking. He's not discouraged, though. And now he's back in the fight, right? And now Castro is boxing again. 45 seconds left in the fifth round. Overhand right from Vincente. He, he, he's leaning on that right hand, right? He's spamming. He's going to spam that right hand. He knows that he can kind of land it or do some damage. Good one, too, from Castro. Double jab from Vincente. Right to the body. Left upstairs from Vincente. Oh, overhand right. From Castro. 20 seconds left in the fifth round. You know, Castro, he's trying to move, but I'm, I'm telling you, his upper body movement is just not doing it for me. It's really not. His feet, nice. You know, and that's the thing about Bivol. Bivol upper, his waist up. He got good feet, but waist up. He got the one, two, and he got the left hook at some time. But head movement, waist up. He's going to have to have those things against Canelo Alvarez later on tonight. Agreed, Castro not special. He doesn't look special right now. I'm disappointed in that fact. Canelo versus Bibble fight is in a couple of hours. Uh, no, 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 probably in a couple of hours. Probably, probably in an hour. Pro what time is it? Yeah, probably in an hour, something like that. It's eight o'clock now. Not yeah. Probably an hour. Just got the relevant app biz. Much love to you, Daryl. Yeah, <clears throat> everybody, come on over to Relevant. That's how you get opportunity to win the Canelo Alvarez autographed glove. Let me see what money bag strokes got to say. Shakur fighting champions. Haney's fighting for undisputed. <clears throat> Tank fighting Roller. Exactly. I need a big fight from Tank this year. I don't care how much he sells. Uh -huh. Enough is enough. And I'm almost uh, done with Jamal. Let me tell you this. I hear what you're saying. Let me tell you this. I don't want to hear... Katie Taylor and Manny Serrano sold out the Madison Square Garden 1.5 million pay-per-view sales. Okay, last time I saw numbers from Javante Tank Davis. I, I really ain't trying to hear about the numbers. Okay? Hey, people are buying his fights. Well, people still believe that it's exciting to buy his fights. But that doesn't mean that he's doing great things in boxing. Yeah, he's making us money. I understand. I know what Leonard Ellerby is saying. He's making us money. I get you. <clears throat> but as far as his boxing fans... Talking about legacy and him being great. How great is he? We love to see. Let me get my room temperature. All right. Good hooks to the body from, oh, God, right hand, left hand from Castro. Out the orth orthodox. So I love when somebody out the orthodox throw the straight right hand, then the left, like a 2-1. I love that. Good two from Castro. Two minutes left in the, in the sixth final round. You don't want this guy to survive. Good jab from Castro. You just don't want that on your record. But he, he may just survive. Good right hand from Castro. <clears throat> good footwork. Castro got some good footwork, man. Good hook to the body from Castro. <clears throat> left hook to the head. Left hook to the body. One, two. 
Well, my, my throat is going through a good left hook from Castro. One minute, 40 seconds in the sixth. Oh, good left from Castro. Good left hook from Vincente. I'm telling you, Vincente was, he was, he, he found out, not that he proved to himself, Castro proved to him that he can survive. Because Vincente went into this like, this is about to be a bad night for me. And over time, he said, oh, I can take what Castro is dishing out. Yeah. Yeah. And that's not a good look. That's not a good look. Now, I was just hyping up Castro. I said, hey, check this guy out. Y'all checking him out. How, how you guys feel? Are you entertained? Y'all probably not entertained, right? So now, Castro got to prove himself again. Now you got to, okay, let, let me see how excited I am about you don't you you don't need to see Castro right now. Good right hand from Vincente. See how quick how quick it is. You don't need to see Castro. You want you want to want to see a fighter again. Knockout still sell tickets, man. Thirty five seconds left in the sixth round. He did some beautiful boxing, but knockout still sell tickets. 20 seconds left in the sixth round. Right? This is more action than Shakur. I don't I don't I don't I don't, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. I mean, there's a there's a bunch of punches. Oh, good right hand from Castro. He hurt Vince, Vincente right there. I don't agree with that. Um, there's more punches being thrown by Castro. Uh Shakur Stevenson is more entertaining. It's just, it's just more entertaining to watch Shakur Stevenson. What he's doing is more brilliant in the ring. You know, so it's, it's I don't know what you mean by action. I know it, Shakur is more entertaining than that. Absolutely. That's why Tank is still selling. Yeah, Tank, Tank is selling off of, um, like you said, knockouts and, um, and his name, right? But it comes a time when just knocking somebody out isn't enough for your legacy. People people get smart. The fans get smart. Oh, it comes a time where the fans are like, who is he fighting now? And then they're just not going for it. When they say Tank is selling, he is selling. But that $1.5 million from Katie Taylor Coming from Ireland to New York. She ain't from New York. So if you say it's because Amanda Serrano, Amanda Serrano sells more than Tank Davis. Here's the thing. Katie Taylor and, and Amanda Serrano was a more important fight and a great fight. When you look at Tank Davis, how is he selling? He's selling, but how much is he selling? What, what kind of numbers you guys are seeing? 200,000, 300,000, right? It comes a time when you want to see a great fight. I'm telling you, people get smart. Facts, uh-huh. People get smart. People get smart over time. Who's fighting right now? Castro just uh, beat uh, Vincente over uh, the course of six rounds. You can say the same thing about Canelo. No, no, you can't. Canelo just went undisputed. Has Tank? Does Tank even have a major title? So Canelo is fighting and beating champions he cleared out all the champions at 168 became undisputed. So people know if you're fighting undisputed, if you're fighting champions who are undefeated, right? All these fighters are undefeated champions. He clears out 168. He's going up to light heavyweight. That's not the same thing. 100% agree. That's not the same thing. Not close. Tank Davis it hasn't even fought for a major title. I don't I don't know if you guys it's not the same thing, bro. And like we have to talk facts here. We can't just we have to talk facts when we talk. Uh if Tank lost, I will watch the rematch. Yeah, see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. He had an opportunity to have a great rematch in Cruz. Cruz fought him to a fight where people are like, now Cruz is a superstar. After Cruz fought Tank, he became a superstar. That's how good of a fight that Cruz put on. Then when they asked Tank, 
do you want a rematch? He said, hell no. Nah. That was not the right response. Because even Floyd Mayweather fought Maidana again. He fought Castillo again. Floyd Mayweather will rematch it. If you're a rugged fighter and gave him tough work. Tank Davis should have done the same thing. No, I think Tank beat him uh, by two rounds. But still, you feel that Cruz got robbed. So, you feel what I'm saying? That deserved a rematch. Let me see. If you in here, trust me, showbiz will tell you facts 100%. Dude, I'm trying. <clears throat> I'm trying. Because I don't, the thing about me, the thing about me is I don't have an agenda. I don't, I'm not just for black fighters, just for Mexican fighters or white fighters or Asian fighters or whatever, right? I'm not just for PBC, top rank, uh, the zone. I learned a long time ago. I only win if I see great fights. I don't win if PBC or top rank is getting a bunch of money. I get none of the money. So I'm smart enough to already know if every champion is black, I'm not a champion. <laughs> I didn't win shit. James West ain't nothing but a gangster party. I've gotten, I'm wise. You know, I'm, when you reach your 40s, bro, you, you already know. There's nothing I win, right? Unless you put money on the fight. So there's nothing I win for capping. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So I just tell the truth, no matter how much it hurts. Because I'm only for me and boxing, right? The better boxing get, the more I get to watch it. <laughs> Facts, your biz, yeah. The better boxing get, the more I get to watch it. I only win if the fights I purchase, like for 60 bucks, 50 bucks, 70 bucks, are good fights. That's the only way I win. So I don't give a damn what network, what race, what if you are putting on good fights, let's watch you. Because I love boxing and I get entertained that way. That's the only way I win. So it never made sense to me to cap. Uh, don't dismiss the undisputed black boxer comment. It means a lot to a young black fighter to see someone resembling them. You don't have to say you don't care to appear unbiased. Acknowledge defeat. Brother, it means a lot if white, uh, what do you say, young white fighters see somebody resembling them. It means a lot if a young Mexican fighter sees someone resembling them. What does that mean? What 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 feet are you talking? If a young woman see somebody resembling them, yes, we're all human beings. Yes, I, I will say that across the board, for a Filipino fighter to see somebody resembling them, a champion, and you're young, yes. I, I don't know what statement you need. A Chicago fighter, a Philly fighter, a poor fighter. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what you need. What I'm not going to do, what I'm not going to do is act like, is act like um, black people are some charity case. Or oh, it really means more to a black person because black person really need it. No, nah. we're not inferior people. White people don't need it as much as black people because we're losing. Nah, hell no. I would never, I would never concede to that because we're not inferior. So we need it as much as any other race need it. I'm sorry. You can say that. You can live like that. But I'm not inferior to nothing. So I never, I never uh, concede to that or speak that narrative. Never. Never. So you can act like black people are charity case if you want. Not me. So just like a white person would look at somebody and say, that's, you know, that resembles me or Mexican or Filipino, same thing across the board. Now, be as talk your talk, 100%. People talk about black pride and stuff like that and saying what I'm ignoring. I got, I definitely got more pride than the rest of you. Definitely. Because I, I don't think like that ever, ever. Respect, be as 100%. So it's even across the board, period. Um, I was referring to the comment you made about not caring about 2022 being the year 
of the black undisputed fighters. I just, I just want to see great fights, man. That it, it means more to you. I'm fine. I'm fine, bro. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Black people are amazing already. I, I don't have to be proven. I don't have to be proven no more to me. Black people are amazing already. I'm fine. <laughs> it can be all Chinese undisputed fighters. I'll be watching boxing and fine. I'm good. <laughs> you need more. You need more help. You need some milk. You need, you need more. <laughs> I'm good. Black people have been doing great things so damn long. I'm fine. I'm different. It could be all Native American undisputed fighters. All Native American women undisputed. I would be fine. <laughs> as long as I'm watching people fighting, bro. <laughs> 100% show biz. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Uh, let me see. Did you say that, though? I don't know. I, I got to keep saying uh, I, what I have to just keep saying a bunch of different stuff until you realize, oh, <laughs> like, I, I don't know. I don't I, I don't I, I can't I can't read everybody's minds and say the right, perfect thing for every single person. Actually, I'm done. Hit the title bell. <laughs> I'm done. Let me see. Uh, James West, super sticker. Thing. Ain't nothing but a gangster party. Thank you so much, brother. Um. And my man said, race shape form. Uh, let me see. Hey, man, 100%. Be proud of oneself. I'm trying to tell you. I'm a bit different, bro. Uh, boxing is about race culture. It's a fight. <clears throat> Think about it. I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. Y'all, y'all have y'all have that conversation somewhere else, bro. That's the actually, matter of fact, everybody hit the hit light. the Hit the likes, get, get those, get the thumbs up, hit the, hit the likes, get those, get the thumbs up, hit the, hit the like, get those, get the thumbs up, hit the, hit the like, get those, get the thumbs up, hit the, hit the like, get those. It's exhausting. <laughs> it's exhausting, dog. <laughs> when you're celebrating being what you are and you're celebrating being a human being and you love and confident in what you are it gets exhausted everybody else trying to grow confidence in who they are it's, i'm god it gets getting exhausted bro. getting exhausted uh gloves are leather uh as well as unbiased <laughs> yeah 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 gloves don't give a damn <laughs> uh who you got bro i put 500 dollars on canelo alvarez kale <coughs> man there's another fight, Christian Gomez against Giyasov, Um, and Montana Love is next. There's one more fight between Montana Love. You guys know I'm I'm all for that. I love that fight. Um, uh, what round do you think Canelo K? I don't know. I don't know because because the thing, the fact of the matter is, I agree that it's not going to be. He's not going to be unconscious. I agree that it's going to be a TKO. I, I agree that it's going to be over time. If he knocks him out unconscious, I, I would be blown away. Because Canelo hasn't really been doing that. He broke Billy Joe Saunders' orbital bone, TKO. He did hurt Caleb Plant and knock him around the ring. Um, He was breaking down Colin Smith. He knocked out Yildrum flat out. But Yildrum wasn't. Yildrum wasn't that type of fighter. You know, he just wasn't on that level. So I think he hurts Bivol. I think it's a TKO. And, and when, when that happens, it's kind of difficult to call. Probably the later rounds. Me too. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, Montana Love got that prison body. Dog, that dude is is that dude is, is great to watch, though. You want to talk about hand speed and violence. That's my guy. Uh, let me see. Laugh my ass. Biz, my name is Christian uh, Gomez, too. Oh, wow. Hit the Tyson bell. <laughs> wow. I know that, Sniper. That's crazy. Uh, the entertainment, the factual, the show, Biz. Much love to you. Let me see. I think he's going down with a body shot, no doubt. Uh, could be. Could be. Could be. That makes sense. Could be. I uh, One zillion percent 
uh, he's not stopping Bibble. Can't see it. And I'm a big Canelo fan. Put money on it. Put money on the uh, decision. One zillion percent. Get to the bag, bro. Put everything you got on the decision. Hey, look, look. They smoking a gar. Oh, boy. What a. It's always a beautiful, beautiful thing, huh? To smoke a good cigar. Mm. She knows what she's doing, too. Boy, look at that. Look at that cigar right there. Mm-hmm. My bad, y'all. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> my, my bad. This, that's that's some of my favorite stuff to do. Sit back and, and enjoy an hour-long cigar. My oldest brother would grab a three-hour-long cigar. It takes him a while. He'll mess around. He won't sit for three hours, though. He has to put it out, re-exfoliate it. But, uh, boy, uh, she was slurring. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh. She know uh what she's doing. <laughs> uh Daryl, I bet one K right uh send you up. Uh, see, there you go. Cigars are gross. No best life. Give me the best life. You think cigars are gross? <clears throat> My voice is going out. Really? I feel you. I feel you. I love cigars. Yildrum was whack. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yildrum, Yildrum, he was mandatory, though. Get him out of there. I'm I'm happy Canelo was like, boom, bop, and went right to Billy Joe. I'm happy. I'm happy. Just got him out. No questions. No, get him out of there. Go right to Billy Joe Saunders. Well, during this break, I can't tell you guys about what we're giving away and what you can win. All right? Hit the like button. Get everybody over here. If you haven't hit the like button, there should be 1,500 people liking this uh, this podcast right now. How many likes I got? It should be 1,500, okay? But get opportunity. I'm giving this away tonight. Autograph Canelo Alvarez boxing glove. And I'm giving this to you with the certificate of authenticity that you know that it's real and it's stamped, right? Giving this away. All you have to do is be a subscriber and go over to Relevant. Become a member on Relevant. How to do that? The link is in the description box. How to get there? Close out the chat. You'll see a little drop-down arrow. Hit that arrow. You'll see the description box. Hit the link. You also have BK. He'll be sending the link to Relevant soon enough. Go over to Relevant. Make sure that you're a member. Follow my vibe, right? Relevant is a social media uh, app. Just like Instagram or whatever. It's a new app. Follow me on Relevant. We got over a 1,000 members now. We're just going to keep growing this thing. And uh, I'm going to select one of you to win this Canelo Alvarez uh, autographed boxing glove with the certificate of authenticity. You have to be a subscriber and a member on Relevant. Hit the Tyson Bell. Let me see. Deontay Wilder 3.0. I don't know who you are. You have to be a part of Team Wilder, to be honest. You have to be a part of Team Wilder because you've said some things that only the uh, insider would know, unless you are just brilliant in, I know you're not Wilder, but the race angle in boxing was created to sell tickets. I'm going to keep it real. Let me keep it real. Sean Porter about to bust out in a river dance. Let me tell you something. (laughs) Let me tell you something, bro. Let me tell you something, bro. Race is big business. I'm only going to say this once tonight, and I'm done. Race is big business. That's why the media always covers it. It is big business, and everybody keep falling for it, saying that they're woke, and all they're doing is paying up and playing up to it. People make money off of those insecurities and they keep adding fuel to the fire of racism because it's big business. And y'all keep calling yourselves woke and all y'all doing is add, add more flame to it. They getting paid off you. That's why you keep seeing the same stuff getting covered to fuel the fire because it's big business. I'm telling you, you're not woke. You sleep. Now, and I'm, I'm done. I'm done talking about it. It's big business. But in this, we're not, I'm not going to exploit it or make money off of it the way everybody else is doing. 
I'm going to make money and exploit humanitarianism, being a human. Humanity. Love. I love you, boy. I love you, girl. Hit the Tyson Bell. We're different in a war room. I'm done. Now, if you don't know that, you sleep. But keep falling for it, acting like you woke. Go ahead. Go ahead. They're making money off it's big business. Now, and that's the last I'm gonna say. Preach, brother, 100 percent I agree 100 percent Yeah, just check it out. It's getting played too. But y'all keep going for it. It's getting played, bro. But okay. Do what you do. Do what you do. They're in a coma. Yeah, they are. Do what you do. Uh, showbiz, the next voice of YouTube TV. I'm saying hit the Tyson Bell. Yeah, it's common sense. But we're doing it differently. Like I said, I could have 300 a million subscribers by now. That's just, I just, just I just can't do it. It's not me. Uh, big business, and it just divides us as people even more when people keep talking about it or worrying about uh, what color somebody is. One, shake my head, 100%. You're woke. 100%. 100%. And then when you, when you, Kenny Bayless, and then when you keep adding that limitation, you have certain races feeling that there's a limit over their head because, hey, there's racism keeping me down. You're right where they want you to be. When somebody's doing something else, oh, he, he should, he a coon. He's selling out for doing those things, for achieving those things because we got to be here. You're falling for it. But I'm 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 done. I'm done. Like I said, I speak a little bit differently. I know I know the difference because I fell for it. I fell for it long enough. Uh, I'm trying to think of a dumb comment, but <laughs> I can't because I watch showbiz and I love boxing unbiased. Here, this is what you do. Here's what you do. I know you want to hear it. Let's give it. To you. That comment was dumb. <laughs> so let's move on. Well, let's be happy. How much money uh, you got riding on this? $500 on knockout, brother. Tell him. Uh-huh. $500 on knockout. That visible ceiling. Uh-huh. Self-racism is sad. Yep. Get him. I'm saying. I'm saying. <laughs> but let's, let's move on. Let's move on. Love wins always. Uh-huh. Uh, I love that you're unbiased. Thanks so much, sister. Uh, keep it up. Uh, that is why I love the war room. Much love to you. Hit the Tyson Bell. Uh, let me see. Bugging out. Uh, let me see. What up, Biz? A uh, few folks waiting to join in on Relevant. Let them in. But see, I can only let nine in. So now it's full. Oh, actually, I can let this guy go. There's a few people who are who are buffering too much. You got a good point. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. When you're buffering like that, I got to. You're right. You're right. Uh, let me see. Uh, let the light in. Uh, let's go. Uh huh. My bad. My bad. <clears throat> my voice going out. I don't think I could scream anymore. <clears throat> <clears throat> let me see. Blacks are going to. Oh, see. Now, see. Now, that guy. That guy got to go. That guy got to go, bro. Unblock that dude. Uh, now you're talking about death. Having all black people die. You need to get out of here. Uh, Showbiz, once again, watching a big fight together. Thanks. Uh, I usually watch the fight and listen to your commentary. Thanks so much, Joe. Uh, Joe Mama. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, what round do you have Canelo winning? Uh, about to bet, man. There's people that think it's going to be early. Some people say middle rounds, you know, okay, let, let's, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let, let's, let's bring up a, a, a few facts here. Let's bring up a few facts here. I like when people say, um, um, Canelo Alvarez is boxing heavyweights when Bibble is too, but let's bring up a few facts here. Um, Bibble says something about he says something about um the he never been booed so much in his life 
So the weight of this moment and crowd may be a lot for Bivol. All right. Two, Bivol hasn't looked good his last couple fights, his last two fights. Three, Canelo Alvarez said he's going to start early. Um, I don't know how durable Bivol is. Everybody else seems to know. I don't. I don't know how durable uh, Bivol is. I, I I I can't wait to find out. Um, so it could be it could be middle rounds. Somebody said a body shot. I, I can see that. It could be middle rounds. I'm thinking Canelo breaks him down over time, and I think Canelo gets a good flurry in, and he hurts him or whatever. <clears throat> and I think they call the fight. Um, I think betting on Bivol is a good bet. Because it's just like, what the hell? The fight is closer than people are saying. Uh, I bet $100 uh, Bo Mack can't touch his shoes. <laughs> yeah, you're going to win that bet, bro. Uh, let me see. I'll say 10th. Yeah, something like that. I think I think it's, I think it's fair to say. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Hey, y'all. My, my voice is definitely going. I don't think I'll be able to do a show tomorrow. Uh, Gomez versus uh, Giosuf. Giosuf. Dog Gilsuff look like he about to swim without getting wet, bro. Look, look at Gilsuff's arm. Look how look how low it look. Look at him. Look, he's holding his arms like Roy Jones, man. Gilsuff look like the next one, the Wonder Boy. Look at the Wonder Boy, man. That was a good jab from Gomez. Look at the Wonder Boy. The Wonder Boy looks looks nice, man. He's he, I think he needs to swing that lead left hand though to throw. Oh, look at that left hook off the jab from the Wonder Boy. I think he needs to swing it though. You know, you know how uh, Roy Jones Jr. swing that lead arm back and forth, kind of like he's fishing. You know, you know those fish that got the little antenna with the glowing light, and then the fish go for the glowing light deep in the in the deep of the ocean, and then you know, kind of use that as like a fishing rod. That's what he's doing with his jab, with his lead left arm. Now Gomez, he he's decent. He he's technically sound, defensively responsible. I like what uh, Gomez is doing, um, but. Wonder Boy look like, you know, he's trying to be special over here. You know, he's throwing that jab from real low. It's hard to see those jabs, and he's looping it. When you keep that hand low, if you have the reflexes to do something like that, it behooves you to do it because <clears throat> you can't, you don't, you, you can't see the jab coming up, right? When you keep that jab real low like that, it blinds you. Good jab. But also, you give away some things, though, when it comes to defense, right? But, but you see that, you see sometimes Wonder Boy lifts his shoulder. He, he uses his shoulder as a block. He lifts it. He lifts it sometimes. So his his block is is that shoulder. It's almost it's not a Philly shell. He's not shelled, but he does roll that shoulder. Look at the footwork from Wonder Boy. Uh, hey man, Wonder Boy got he got some nice little tools. A jab, left hook, just missed. Good head movement from Gomez. I, I'm gonna tell you this too. Um, I just like the posturing from from Wonder Boy, and I like how they. You know, the funny thing is, when do you realize that this is your style? When do you realize that, hey, dude, I'm good at doing Because nobody's going to teach you that. Nobody's going to start off, hey, fight like this. They're going to say, dude, what's wrong with you? You know, that's wrong. But at some point, it's like, yo, I just feel more comfortable this way, and I'm and I'm finding myself being very successful this way. Good combination. He's real loose. That was a problem that I had, right? When I was, uh, when I was boxing and starting boxing and sparring and stuff like that, I was a bit tight. And I remember my coach was always saying, loosen up, show. You got to loosen up. I was always tight. And that, and that was that was best for me. When you look at, oh, good left hook from Gomez, blocked by, is, is I mean, not Gomez, but Wonder Boy. Is Gomez bleeding right now? Um, <clears throat> When you look at Errol the True Spence and Terrence Bud Crawford, Terrence Bud Crawford is looser. A good right hand from Wonder Boy, blocked by uh, Gomez. Kenny Bayless, like, I don't have to do much. I mean, a uh, good right by Wonder Boy, blocked by Gomez. Um, um, yeah, Errol the True Spence is tight, technically tight, um, but that works for him. That works for him. I'm not saying that because Terrence Crawford is looser when I say rock and water, because I think Terrence Crawford is looser doesn't mean I think he wins either. Um, I'm just saying the, uh, the difference. Let me see. Are you watching the undercards? <sighs> That comment was dumb. Off, off topic, but what's your NBA final pick, man? I do like Golden State, but Phoenix is, is the best team in the league. What happened last night? Did they lose last night? Um, Man, I don't know. 
uh biz i appreciate I, i'm not as much of an nba fan as i am with with combat sports biz i appreciate what you do for the community hit the tyson bell thank you so much Uh, let me see what else we got. Uh, you got to admit Mexican versus black boxing rivalry are the best fight uh, that sell. Okay, selling. Okay, and everyone and every true boxing fan knows. Uh, what's your thoughts? Um, black, black, and black uh, fight sell a lot. A Mexican and Mexican fight sell. Mexican Puerto Rican too. You know, um, if if you just if you. I don't know, man. <laughs> I think, I think, I I truly think a good fighter versus a good fighter. Right? I think two good fighters is what sells. I really do. Floyd Mayweather came up with that because he likes Cinco de Mayweather. He liked getting that money. So he came up with that, what you're saying. But um, really, it's a great fighter versus a great fighter is really what it is. Is really what it Usyk versus Tyson Fury would sell better than a lot of black versus Mexican fighters. You feel what I'm saying? So I, I don't think it's color coded as much as you think. Uh, let me see. I uh, love you, Bears. Much love to you. <clears throat> okay, here we go. One minute, 25 seconds in the second round. Oh, good jab, double jab. From the Wonder Boy. Good job again from the Wonder Boy. And I, I, you know, here's the thing. I'm not sure how much action this fight, good left hook from the Wonder Boy. I'm not sure how much action this fight is going to have. All right. But this is a beautiful watch. Just the 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 glaring just difference in the boxing style of both of these fighters. This is water and rock for real. This is water and rock for real. Hey, look at look at look at all the look at the women sitting in the front that just came in. Okay, nothing nothing but dimes. Look 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 at look at the one in the white. You, you, now that is going. Now Canelo may lose tonight. <laughs> they came for Canelo. <laughs> I know his wife is showing up, but look at look at them, look at them. They all flaunted right in the front. Look at them. Look, I, I can't even watch the fight. I can't watch the fight. It's sorry. Where's where's Miss Biz? I love you, girl. I, I'm looking at the fight, Miss Biz. I'm looking at the fight. <laughs> I'm in trouble. It's over. Tomorrow's Mother's Day. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Look, look, look. I love my wife. Love my wife to pieces. <laughs> they raw, Biz. That is a distraction. That Canelo lost. Canelo lost. I lost my money. I lost my money. <laughs> I lost my money, dog. Yeah, too old Wonder Boy. Cause cause Gomez can't get anything off. Ms. Biz gonna kill you. Yeah, I'm done for. I'm done for. It is what it is. Quit lying. These fights is garbage. It is what it is. I'm done for. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Biz Wilder's in the chat. The real Wilder? Simply unique. LOL. Uh, sleep with one eye open. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's a wrap. <laughs> it's it's a wrap. I got a couple things working against me. All right. The Cinco de Mayo weekend and Mother's Day. And look at what I just said. Oh, I got a couple things working against me. But still doesn't change the fact. Look at... <laughs> Look at the front row. Oh, uh, uh, this guy incredible, and I've never heard of him. Uh, I hope uh, he has a bright future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. Let me get back. <laughs> Let me get back. Wonder Boy looks like. Yeah, yeah. Let me get back. Let me get back. Let me get back. Good job from Wonder Boy. Yeah, Wonder Boy is just he just he he given different angles. Wait, hold on. He's given all these different angles. Looking good. Swim without getting wet. Very loose. Look at that jab. Just landed right on the chin. Gomez doesn't know. How to begin and how to finish. If you don't know how to begin, you should at least know how to finish. Sometimes you can start off a combination bad or enter bad, but you can exit great, right? Um, you know, Terrence Crawford, he can enter well and he exits great, right? The Gomez, he he doesn't know how to enter or exit. Look at Wonderboy. It's not even Gomez's 
problem. It's not that Gomez got a problem either. It, uh, well, he does. It's Wonder Boy. But there's nothing that Gomez is doing wrong. Oh, oh, good left hook from Gomez. Stand tight. See, Wonder Boy hit, hit, hit Gomez with a hook to the body. Great left hook from Gomez. He's, he's swinging again. There you go. There, there's nothing he's doing wrong. That was a great left hook. Gomez, he's like, I got to swing for the fences again. Because this is what I wonder. Can Wonder Boy, is Wonder Boy going to sit down on a hard enough shot to discourage Ro a Gomez for going for a home run? That's what I want to know. <clears throat> You know, Wonder Boy is touching him, but is he touching him with a hard enough shot? Come, I I can't. What are y'all doing? What 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 kind of coverage is this? What is this? The Adam and Eve channel? What am I watching? Pornhub? Look who's in the front row. They're looking at each. Get these people out the front row so I can watch a fight. <laughs> this this here. This is this is Skinamax. This is Cinemax After Dark. Uh, those Barbie dolls sitting in the front row. I'm saying, bruh, this is Cinemax After Dark. I'm trying to watch a fight. Oh, and just the just what makes me a man is ruining my commentary. Good, good left hook from from uh <clears throat> from Wonder Boy. Good jab from Goldman's brother. <laughs> good jab. Good jab. No, Canelo lost dog. Canelo, Canelo lost, dog. <laughs> uh, that's that. He can't. He can't focus. Or, or he steps up all the way. <laughs> all right, here we go. Here we go. Good jab from Wonder Boy. Oh, good to the body from Wonder Boy. Gomez, he 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 got to throw punches in the exchange. I like Gomez this round. Gomez won this round. Biz can't help it. I'm 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 doing the best I can. I am strong, but you gotta be a you gotta be as strong as a a bull. You gotta be as strong as a rhinoceros. <laughs> Showbiz. Uh is Fury in your all-time 15? Have no, no, no. Like I said, Usyk can mess around being my all-time 15 before Fury. If Usyk beats AJ again, he's getting there. Let him defend it. He's fine. That's a good left from Gomez. Um AJ, if AJ beats Usyk, AJ is probably above Fury. No, y'all, y'all, <clears throat> Fury was on his way, but retiring now, mm -mm. AJ and Usyk going to surpass him. Uh, let me, or Usyk, Gomez about to need a stomach pump. Yeah, all those jabs he's getting. Yeah, I hear you, brother. I hear you. Uh, let me see, brother. I I said, God, <laughs> when I saw them, uh, then Miss Webster walked by me. See, what I'm saying, uh, with the evil eyes, uh, sleeping in the man cave. Oh, yeah, with the door locked. Yeah, we're, we're done. I'm in, I might as well, I'm sleeping, I'm I'm here. This is where I'm at for the rest of the night. I'm done for, that's for sure. Ms. Biz watched the show. So, you know, it is what it is. Love you, girl. It, <laughs> it is what it is. I, I, you know, at this point. <laughs> oh, good left, good combination. Dog, look at Kenny Bayless. He doesn't have to get involved. Boy, his eyes though. I ain't, it, it, no nobody eyes look more focused other than uh Steve Willis. You know, Steve Willis, he, his eyes get focused. But oh, good left hook from Gomez. But the cerebral look of, of Steve Willis is is hilarious. <laughs> the cerebral robotic team 1000 look. <laughs> look at <laughs> look at him, dog. Look at him. Oh. Good combination. They're throwing some heat at each other. I can't, I can't lie. Hold on, brother. I'm 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 getting entertained by too many things outside outside of these two two guys fighting. Between between the breast in the front row and Kenny Bayless' butt. Uh <laughs> Kenny Bayless got Kenny Bayless got more butt than uh <laughs> Oh, good left from Wonder Boy. Drop Gomez. Good left. I know a Wonder Boy can hurt him. Uh, was informed that a woman arrived with Varnell Hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. <laughs> now, I don't know if there's only fans or uh, one minute fifteen seconds. <laughs> pop, pop, pop. Good combination from Wonder Boy. He dropped Gomez though. This is the fourth round. Bam. Good left hook from from pop. Good right hand from Wonder. That's Wonder Bread. Thank. <laughs> Body shot from Wonder Bread. Walk, Wonder. Bam. Left hook from Wonder Bread. 
Give him some of that Wonder Bread. Uh, right hand from Wonder Bread. Good double jab. Bam! Right to the body from Wonder Boy. Work. Pop! Left to the body. Pop! Overhand. Pop! Pop! Letting his hands ride from the shoulders. He letting them ride from the shoulders. <laughs> Whoop! Bam! Good kind of right. James West. Thank you so much, brother. <laughs> Good jab from Wonder Bread. <laughs> 35 seconds left in the fourth. There's some time, Wonder. Right hand to the body. Wonder, Wonder, Wonder Boy is working on that body, though, man. Like my man said, he's jabbing right hands to the body, hooks to the body. He never stops going to the body. Good looping right hand from Wonder Boy. Left hook to the body. No, body shots. <clears throat> I know, I know he's slick, but he's digging to the body real, real nice. Blood smeared on Wonder Boy's cheek. This is love. This is love right here. Bam. Red is for love. Good looping right hand from Wonder Boy. Montana Love is next. Uh, fifth round. Good jab. Left hook from straight right here. Pop, 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 pop. Work. One of the boys working from a nice distance. Beautiful. Uh, Miss B is about to go upside your head. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you uh huh. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Uh, watch the fight. Uh, Gomez was looking uh, at the front row. Yeah, Gomez looking at the front row. <laughs> Those thoughts are distracting me. Yeah, Gomez looking at the front row. Pop! <laughs> like, don't, don't be on that. He looked at him. Hey, girl. Pop! <laughs> no, don't. don't. <laughs> Chill. Chill. <laughs> Chill. Everybody, please. Please. Give it up for the Varnell Hill vibe. Drink my lip with a laugh. And do the cabbage patch. Kiss a pretty lady. And then sign some autographs. The Varnell man can shut boing boing. Huh? Yeah, looking at the front row. Chill. <clears throat> Chill. Everybody, hit the like button. If you haven't done it, hit the like for me. Let's get 1,700 likes in here. It may, it may be over 1,700 now. Hit the like. Let me know how many likes it in here. And uh, let's catch up. Let's get at least 1,500 likes. Good jab upstairs. Jab downstairs from Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy's focus. Go, man. You got to get focused. You got to get focused now. And here comes Canelo Alvarez. Walking into the stadium. That can't be live oh, because that looks late to the mud. That's, there's no way that's live. No way. Good jab, Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy scored that 10 8. I gave that third round to Gomez, the first two to Wonder Boy, and then he scored a 10 8 in the fourth, and this the fifth. And Wonder Boy is winning this one. Good jab to the body from Wonder Boy. Bam, bam. Good one, two from Wonder Boy. He's working. He's working. Keeping the fight in the middle of the ring. Gomez needs to somehow his footwork. His footwork. He needs to 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 back Wonder Boy into a corner. Wonder Boy is bleeding everywhere. See, that's what I'm saying. Good left hook to the body from Wonder Boy. He he's like me. He scar easily. I'm telling you, I bruise up and scar. I can whoop somebody from pillar to post, and they look like I got whipped. I scar quick. Uh, that's another thing. I, I kind of bruise up on you. You know what I mean? I got I'm, I'm I got that light skin. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, one, two from Gomez. Look at Wonder Boy. Bleeding out the nose, cut over here. You know? Oh, good jab from Gomez. It looked like Wonder Boy is getting whipped from pillar to post if you look at his face. But you look at the fight, Wonder Boy is beating him clean. Good right to the body from Wonder Boy. Good jab upstairs from Wonder Boy. Pop. He faint to right, just throw left foot. Like I said, not every punch is intended to land. Good jab to the body from Wonder Boy. He keep he keeps spinning one way. So look, Gomez, half of his problem is he's not cutting off the ring. Half the problem is he's not cutting off the ring. That's half his problem. He's not doing it effectively. Oh, he just did it right there. Not, but then swim without getting wet. Good jab. Right off. Just just more the more more spring off the bounce. Bam. Good uppercut to the body from Gomez. More spring off the bounce. Hook to the body from Gomez. You know. You know. Uh, Amanda and Katie outsold me and Tyson Fury. The whole race thing is BS. It is, it is, but I, I don't, I, I think you're pretending to be Deontay Wilder, bro. <laughs> Look, if you're really Deontay Wilder, unblock me on Instagram. That's the only way I believe that you're Deontay Wilder. Good combination from Gomez. Uh, 
good uppercut. Uh, the the Floyd Zab fight was like, oh, good left hook from Wonder Boy. The Floyd Zab fight was like a pimp and hoes convention. <laughs> I thought I walked into the wrong building. They were in packs, uh, stilettos and everywhere. <laughs> stilettos everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Hit the Tyson Bell. I, 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 I'm pretty sure of it. I'm pretty sure of it. I'm pretty because I remember Ricky Hatton and Floyd. Brother, please. Brother, please. That front row. Brother, please. <laughs> uh, Miss Biz is going to bruise you up tonight. I know. I know. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Yeah. I know. <clears throat> I messed up Clear Hills everywhere. Clear Hills everywhere. <clears throat> uh, James Tony versus Bernard Hopkins. Who? If, psh, I can't call it. I can't call it. Like I said, there was a time when Bernard Hopkins looked unbeatable. I can't call it. We we know how good James Tony is. I remember when Bernard Hopkins looked unbeatable. I remember like it was yesterday. I remember that clean, clear, <laughs> clear. I was like, who will win, Bernard Hopkins or uh, Sugar Ray Leonard? There, there was a time when I was like, brother, please. <laughs> like, there's no beating Bernard, bro. <laughs> there was a quick second. There was like a two, three-year stretch in this prime where it was like, <laughs> All right, here we go. Two minutes, 46 seconds in the in sixth round. These women are, are, are combing their hair with their fingers. Uh, uh, oh, somebody got a somebody got that. See, somebody got their hand in the cast. Steel came out there. She got her hand in the cast. Nobody's going to care. Nobody's going to care. <laughs> Nobody's going to care. A good left hook from both guys. Look, she got her hand in the cast. A dude still gonna be like, what, what, what's happening, dog? <laughs> he's gonna, he, she's gonna be like, sign my cast, and then he's gonna be in trouble. Then he's gonna be in trouble. She's gonna send a picture of that of his signature on the cast. It's gonna say Canelo Alvarez, and she's gonna send it to to the wife. Watch. <laughs> Good jab to the body. <laughs> Two minutes left. I need to stop talking like that, because Canelo people probably like, yo, showbiz, shut, shut it. All right, here, jab upstairs. One minute fifty seconds of the sixth round. <clears throat> Good body shots uh, from Wonder Boy. Uh, Kenny Baylor said, keep it up. Jumped all over it, huh? Where were you last week when Shakur Stevenson had a full stiff arm on uh, 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 Oscar Valdez's form? Now, I I'm just saying, Shakur Stevenson was going to whip uh, Valdez anyway. I just needed Kenny Bayless to do a little bit better rough than last week. All right, good jab to the body from all. Oh. From uh, Wonder Boy, Gomez come jumping in with that left hook. They both in the middle of the ring. One minute, 20 seconds left in the sixth round. Out of 10 rounds. Good jab from Gomez. One, two. Test me. RJ smoking. Cartel going to get biz. Yeah, somebody. Yeah, I, I need to calm down. Good right hand to the butt. I mean, one, one, two from Gomez. Gomez, it really is over. It's over, Prime. I don't know what Gomez going to do. I don't know what different looks Gomez can give Wonder Boy. I think Wonder Boy got all the data he needs. Good combination, one, two, one, two. I mean, Wonder Boy is in such a lather right now. Wonder Boy is looking so clean and in and, and a lather <laughs> that I, I just double jab, jab to the chest, jab to the stomach. I just don't see it. I just don't see anything. I think Gomez is now, Gomez is, is stuck in a routine. He just all muscle memory. I'm not sure if he's working on making any changes. Good combination from Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy's just arms out, pop, 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 pop. I mean, he's just in. I mean, I think now Gomez is kind of just there. Good right head to the body from Wonder Boy. Look, Wonder Boy is alive. Gomez is just there now. That happens. Right hand, just a loaded right hand from Gomez. Yeah, he's looking around like I remember. Remember when James Tony told his corner? Look at Roy Jones versus James Tony fight. James Tony told his corner, I can't hit him. His corner was just like, uh, they, they had no answer. Like, hey, don't, don't talk like that. <laughs> don't talk like that. James Tony, like, I can't hit him, bro. So, I mean, we can, we can, <laughs> we can just keep going out there. <laughs> but I, hey, do this. Stick with the jab. I can't hit him. I can't hit him with a jab. I can't, I can't, my sweat, he's hitting me, my sweat's not touching him. I, I can't hit him. I can't clinch. I can't land. <laughs> James Tony, like, man, bro. <laughs> uh, only problem is having your hand down like that. 
is can be a bad idea for a career. I remember how slick Josh Kelly <clears throat> was until he got caught doing it. Yeah. Another thing is um, once your reflexes slip a little bit, there's no give. Right. It's not forgiving. That style isn't forgiving. Soon as your reflexes slip a little bit. That's the problem. That's why you want to have good, solid technique from the beginning. Right. So you can last long like Bernard Hopkins, the alien fighting at 50 years old and stuff like that. All right. Uh, two minutes, 33 seconds in the seventh round. Oh, good one, too. See that? See that Gomez right hand landed? Just because he slipped a little bit, he was lazy on the duck. You can't be lazy at all. Your reflex got to be shit sharp all the time. Right? That right hand from Gomez could put him to sleep. It was right behind the ear. Could knock his equilibrium off. He could have been on his AJ. Just one of those punches. Just one of those punches. But Wonder Boy, he looks good. Two minutes left in the seventh round. Good job. <clears throat> Uppercut to the armpit from Gomez. Wonder Boy's looking good. One, two. Jab to the body. Wonder blood. One wonder blood. Wonder bread. I'm gonna call him Wonder Bread. <laughs> wonder boy is bleeding everywhere. He has he has a blood stain on his shoulder. I'm I'm saying they got good jab from Gomez. He's getting touched, but not how badly he's bruising. Some people just bruise bad, man. Especially when we have a name like the Wonder Boy. You kind of somebody who slick, smooth, pretty boy. That dude got blood on his shoulder, on his shoulder blade. His nose is he cut on a on the it looks like he's been in a wood chipper. It looked like somebody threw him in a wood chipper, and this guy is beating the hell out of Gomez. But look at him. His face is flush. Look, look good jab. Look, hook off the jab by Gomez. Hey, Gomez is doing something very smart. I want you guys to look at this. I want you guys to look at this. Oh, good right hand from Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy's winning. Yeah. Look at the front foot of Gomez. Oh, Wonder Boy. I can't look at it because Wonder Boy just dropped him. He, in, a, in a Jack Johnson fashion. You know how Jack Johnson will drop you and then go fall in over you like, and then he'll fall all like, <laughs> like he just. That's what Wonderboy did. Bah! And then he hopped over him on some Jack Johnson 1907 type of <laughs> lead left hook from, oh, good right hand from Wonderboy. Kenny Bayless is looking at one, is looking at Gomez. Uh, okay, this is what I wanna, want y'all to do if, if, if he doesn't get knocked out. Look at Gomez's front foot. If if they can show now, you see that front foot? He's he is closing the gap. He he's letting his foot create the distance. Canelo does this all the time. He has the high guard and he, he's letting his foot, he's just not. He's oh good. See, I told you. He hurt Wonder Boy with a left uppercut. I told you. 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 When I said he was doing a smart thing, Wonder Boy is hurt. Gomez, look at that front foot. He's doing it again. Bam. He hurt him back. I told you. I told you. I told you. Y'all got to know what y'all looking at, man. That front foot from Gomez was the tell of the tape. How he kept just getting using his foot for range. That front foot. Look at the foot. How the foot was slowly finding that toe. Was slowly finding where the reach is. It took him a long time to figure it out. Not to figure out that approach, but to figure out the distance. When I saw that front foot, they, they always say whoever wins the front foot wins the fight. So when I saw that front foot just getting just nice, he was starting to follow the front foot of uh, Wonder Boy. Fantasy fight, 140. Danny Garcia versus Joshua. Good fight. Good fight. I like Danny. I like Danny Garcia that fight. I like Danny Garcia that fight. Canelo accidentally bought all his side chicks. Ha! <laughs> See, yeah, yeah, he accidentally over time. He's been he's been purchasing. <laughs> now look at that front foot again, everybody. Look at that front. Look look at what Gomez does with that front foot. Bam! He's fine. You see? Now look. If wherever he's winning the front foot battle, right now, he's etching forward and he's doing it very easily. Right, I think Wonder Boy is slacking a little bit, or maybe got a little bit tired. His footwork isn't what it was. Bam! Now he found a range again. Lee left hook from Gomez. Look, look at that front foot. Look at that front foot, everybody. Bam! Look. Sometimes he step around the foot. When you step around the foot of Wonder Boy, it's going to be a left hand. It's going to he's going to crush him with it. See, you see that front foot going to the out to the inside of Wonder Boy's foot. 
Wonder Boy got to win that that footwork battle. Because now, now, let me tell you, now Gomez is pulling the Canelo. He's meaning his 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 top body back a little bit, what makes it looks like he's further out of range than he actually is. Somebody got an eyebrow problem in the front row. Somebody like, like, like when you're looking at a fight like that, you inquisitive than them up. But anyway, oh, good right hand from Wonder Boy. So he leans back. Oh, right hand. See, Wonder Boy thinks that Gomez is further out of range than he really is. Look at Gomez's top body, how far away it is, and look at the front foot, how far forward it's. So when he, he can lean forward a little bit, he's in range. Good right hand from, from Gomez. See, that? watch when Canelo fight Bibble. Canelo's going to do the same thing. He's going to be leaning back but stepping forward. And, and if you're not paying attention, you think Canelo's far away. Then he just lean forward a little bit. Game. That's how you beat somebody with oh good uppercut from Gomez. Landed perfectly. Good left hook. It landed perfectly on Wonder Boy. That's my thing about Wonder Boy. He's a bleeder. He looks like he's been in a wood chipper. Uh he's just not durable. He's just not durable. Bam. Good right hand from Gomez. Me right hand. I'm telling you. He Wonder Boy messed up. With his footwork, he his footwork is gone. He lost it. He lost it. Now, what what is Wonder Boy's doing? Wonder Boy now looks more textbook now. Look, look his guard. Look his guard now. He can't have his guard low. Left hook just missed. 24 seconds left in the eighth round. See? Look, he's doing it again. Now, now, now he's now he's ewing. Now he's ewing. Bam. Good right hand. Wonder Boy is now he got better lateral movement now. See, he has to go go back to lateral movement. Good right hand from Wonder Boy. Go back to lateral movement. See, now he's working, and he knows he's working. But when he was doing that forward and back, and Gomez start toe tap searching him with that that front foot, that was it. That was it. Hey, hey, uh, Wonder Boy is winning, but if Gomez drops him again, if Gomez, because Wonder Boy dropped him twice, fine, fine. If Gomez drops him again, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, this is a good fight. Yeah, it's such a clash of styles. Look at the Wonder Girls. <laughs> I know the Wonder Girls. Trying to trying to watch the damn fight, man. And it's hard, man. They mess around and Canelo side pieces just all in the front row. All right, here we go. Good jab from Wonder Boy. See, he's doing it again. He's doing it again. Wonder Boy is doing it again. He's doing it again. He forgot what made him successful the last round. Look, he's letting Gomez win that front foot battle. Bam, good jab from Gomez. He got to go side to side or else he's going to lose his damn fight. Good look, good, good jab from Gomez. Watch, watch, watch. Wonder Boy got to go side to side, lateral, move laterally. Good left from, from, from Wonder Boy. Good left. Good right to the body from Wonder Boy. Good left from Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy is trying to bang with Gomez. He's trying to bang, get Gomez respect. Good left from Wonder Boy. He's trying to get Gomez respect. He probably figures he doesn't have the feet. He pushed uh, Gomez down. And Wonder Boy tried to help him up, and Gomez wasn't feeling it. But but look, but look, he feels I ain't, I, I ain't got the legs to run around for the next two rounds. So I got to hurt him. I got to make, I got to, yeah, I got to discourage him from coming inside by hitting him with hard shots. That's a, that's an option too. Bam. Good combination from Wonder Boy. <clears throat> he just slipped it through a jab and the right hand. Bam. Okay, Wonder Boy. Adjustment. 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 He said, I'm a, I'm a punch winning. I'm a move my upper body. Good jab from Gomez. Damn. I'm going to move my upper body, and I'm going to catch him with a hard shot. And that's going to make him not commit so much 
to when he's punching me. That that works too. That works too. Good good right to the body from Wonder Boy. He's I can't bam. Oh, good left. He jumped back, right hand, left hook. Okay, Wonder Boy. Good adjustment, man. I can't hate. Good jab. Jab upstairs, jab downstairs. One one two from Gomez miss. All right. All right. See, see, it's it's Gomez's front foot versus one of boy's back foot. That back foot, he, he he needs to see how far back that back foot is so he can escape and come with a left hook or right hand counter. Whatever counter he wants. Good jab from Gomez. Good left hook. But Wonder Boy, Wonder Boy smoothed him out of there this round. He, 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 good right hand from Gomez. He just smoothly may have won this round. Good right hand from, from Wonder Boy. He just smoothed him over. Before you know it, the round's over. Before you know it, the round's over. That's a good look. That's a good look. Wait, hold on. Wait a second. Are they still? I can't even see my 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 relevant. I got a thousand members on relevant. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget, I'm going to show you guys second place. I still have an announce. The second place, there will be two winners. Clarissa Shields, uh, Olympic gold medal card when she won the first Olympics at what, 17, 18 years old? This is a high value card. This is number two. I don't know how many were made, but this is card number two. You see the two on the back? So I haven't announced the winner of this card yet. It's going to be two relevant members, this and the Canelo Alvarez autographed uh, boxing glove. I'm going to I'm going to show you guys the glove again for the Montana Love fight, and then I'm definitely going to show you the glove again for the Canelo fight. Great card. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, second place is fire. And I got the hard cover, the hard plastic cover, right? So, I mean, it's mint condition. It's mint condition. All right, two minutes, 33. Oh, good uppercut. Dropped him. What a boy dropped him. He dropped Gomez. He dropped Gomez with an uppercut. He said, I'm going to start sitting down on my shots. That was a great adjustment. He, he's focusing on the back foot, right? Got out the way, bam. He didn't leave the door. He didn't leave out the door all the way. Overhand right from Wonder Boy. About to try to knock him out in the tent. The fight is never over for Wonder Boy. I love it. I love how Wonder Boy handled adversity. I love the way he handled that adversity. Um, beautiful. Beautiful. Those girls want to pay day. I know that. <laughs> Funny. Hey, hey, let me know. I can't even see the panel anymore on, on relevant. Oh, good right hand. By Gomez. I can't even see y'all. I can't even see him. Yeah, Gomez got dropped. All right. One minute, 20 seconds left in a 10th. Good jab from Gomez. Yeah, Wonder Boy knows that he won the fight. He's about to dance for the rest. Good combination. Good combination. Uh, I'm also giving out a bunch of likes for this podcast. Yeah, everybody, make sure you hit the like button. Oh, there's two over 2,000 people in here. Hit the like bell. I have to announce the giveaway uh, right after this fight then. 50 seconds left. Yeah, Wonder Boy's doing the right thing. No need, no need, no need. We can swim without getting wet for the, for the rest of the round. No need, no need. Good jab from Wonder Boy. No need. Uh-huh. Mm hmm. 30 seconds left. Good right hand from one of the boys. Swim without getting wet. Swim without getting wet. Good combination. Everything low from, from one of the boys. <laughs> Everything below the belt from one of the boys. 19 seconds left. Yeah, that's that's the end. That's the end. Let me, let me leave out of here and figure this out. I 
I cannot see the the chat anymore. Wow. Uh, hit the like, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, if you can, that's it. Wonder Boy put on a fantastic show. He dropped Gomez three times. Okay, Gomez hurt him once, um, and Gomez made some great adjustments too. Um, but wow, 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 wow. Everybody, that was a fantastic fight. Uh, for that, let's hit the hit like. The, hit the like. Oh, get, get those. Get the thumbs up. Hit the. Hit the like. Get those. Get the thumbs up. Hit the. Hit the like, get those, get the thumbs up, hit the, hit the like, get those, get the thumbs up, hit the, hit the like, get those. My goodness. My goodness. My goodness. Okay, everybody, you guys want to see the glove again? Say me. If you want to see the glove again, if you want to be able to win the glove, say me. Hit the Tyson Bell. You guys want to know how to win the glove? Let me know. Me? Okay. So here's the glove autographed by Canelo Alvarez. Right? Beautiful glove. You see the laces on the back. Uh, you got a couple uh, tickets in here. I don't know what they're for. Um, but to show the authenticity of the glove, good stuff. Signed by Canelo Alvarez. With the glove comes a certificate of authenticity that I'm going to include in the glove. With the glove, let you know that it's authentic. You see the little, little bash right there, all the things. Um, and for second place, we do have Clarissa Shields tops trading card when she was in the Olympics, when she won the first Olympic gold medal, not the second one. So this is the first time she won the Olympics when she was 17, 18 years old. Right. What do they say that uh, she graduated from high school, like maybe three months after this? All right. In order to win these giveaways. Wow. I can't believe what just happened. In order to win these giveaways. You must be a subscriber to this channel and hit the link to go over to Relevant because you have to be a member on Relevant. Right now, we jumped up to a thousand members. Hit the Tyson Bell. I got to give you guys love. We just reached a milestone. Getting to a thousand members on Relevant. Wonder Boy just won. So if you're a member on Relevant and you're a subscriber, you get the opportunity to win first place prize, Canelo Alvarez autographed boxing gloves, or second place, which is the Clarissa Shields uh, trading card. Let me see. There you go. How to become a member. There you go. I was wondering what was going on. Now everybody's back. Here we go. Yeah, everybody's following now. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Everybody's saying my glove. Uh, relevant is stuck archiving. Uh oh, here goes it. Here, here we go. There we go. Oh, uh, relevant is stuck archiving. Oh, let me see. What's up, every? Hey, look, I don't know what happened with relevant. We usually crash it though because we're very busy. Uh, channel, so we probably just crashed it. You know what we do. Okay, I'll take the card. You feel what I'm saying? Are you on relevant? If you're on relevant, uh, Sam G, let me know. Uh, I'll see you on relevant e either way because I got all the relevant members and all the new ones uh, at the very top. Uh, let me see. Yes, yes, uh huh. Uh, who you for? Boxing this life, people. Uh, what is relevant? Good question. What is relevant? Relevant is a new uh, social media app, just like Twitter, just like Instagram. Relevant is similar to Discord, where it's live all the time. We talk, so you have different vibes. You got Mike Tyson; he's on relevant. You got uh, Henry Cejudo. Uh, a lot of these fighters and a lot of these people are on relevant. Uh, NBA. You got NFL players. All those things. And how it's set up is something like Discord, except except you have a panel 
where you guys, where we can go live and I can do live shows on there and I can invite y'all to the live. So right now we got a panel of six people that they all got their mics on, they all got their videos on and they are speaking from their phone. So it's a more intimate connection with the war room on Relevant. So come over to Relevant. We talk boxing 24 seven on Relevant. You can add videos, you can do a lot of things on Relevant. Everybody can see it. It's a beautiful, beautiful application, a new social media app. And we are in the we're in the forefront of it. So, you know, we're about to blow this thing up. Right. We already got a thousand members on relevant right now. So we're really we're really in control. Hit Tyson there. This war room, like I said, we're innovative. So we're going to be in the forefront all the time. Right. We lead. We don't follow. Uh, let me see. Oh, we live over here. Uh, beautiful biz. Much love to you. Bibble 118 110. OK, put money on it. Uh, biz. Uh, best Canelo fight. A uh, best Canelo fight. Best Canelo fight. There goes Sam G right here. Best Canelo fight. Triple G two. Best pe best performance from Canelo. Triple G two or Kodo or something like that. Um, yeah, probably Triple G2. My favorite fight that had Canelo in it is the Floyd fight. Cause, because to be frank, I thought Floyd was insane for taking that fight. I said, wow, because Floyd was long in the tooth and Canelo, young bull, um, you know, coming up. And I said, wow, for Floyd to do that and then... The way Floyd performed, I couldn't believe it. Um, I really couldn't believe it at the time. Like, the way he performed, I couldn't believe it. Um, so that's my favorite fight that Canelo was in because it was, like, mind-boggling how Floyd was making Canelo look. It was crazy. And, and that's when I found out, like, man, IQ and just, you know, I learned a lot about boxing looking at that. Montana Love came with the dog. He showed up with the dog. He showed up with the dog. <laughs> Stop, dude. Floyd picked Canelo because Canelo was young. I don't know what you heard me say. I don't know what you heard me say. So let me do this again, Francisco. Like I said, moist, right? Let me do this again. Let me, let me rephrase it so everybody can feel comfortable with what, with what I'm saying. Um, when that fight was announced, if you weren't shocked, then you're lying because Floyd was growing older and everybody thought Floyd was going to coast, especially those who thought Floyd was cherry picking in the first place. When you saw that he was fighting Canelo, I don't care if, it, if Canelo was that was 23 years old or Canelo was fighting in the catch weight. It was still like that was shocking, all right? It was. You, right now, in hindsight, you can say what you want or if you were too young to remember the fight or whatever. But I remember when the fight was announced, everybody was shocked, and that was a big fight. It wasn't a big fight because everybody was stupid, and it wasn't a big fight because everybody knew that Floyd was cherry-picking, all right? It was a big fight for a good reason. And But when the fight happened, you start to see the huge gap in IQ between Canelo and Floyd, and then things started to make sense. Like, wow, yeah, it was a catch weight. Um, Floyd Mayweather is an all-time great fighter. Canelo was a little too wet behind the ears. Things start making sense. But you still gave, it was still amazing how great Floyd looked in that fight. He was long in the tooth versus a growing Bull and Canelo. You can try to, like I said, Floyd Mayweather has the Canelo disease right now. Francisco Sanchez. How everybody has an asterisk next to everything Canelo does. Just like you, people were doing that with Floyd. People hate the greats, right? What Floyd did with Canelo was amazing. Nobody made Canelo look like that before, and nobody's made Canelo look like that since. And Floyd was long in the tooth and small. 
So it is what it is. It is what it is. That was an amazing performance. You can say what you want. It was an, a Canelo would agree that that was an amazing performance. You could try to take from it, but it was amazing. It, it ain't easy because everybody would have been doing that to Canelo. Centron. Canelo was younger than that fighting Centron. Sugar Shane would have done that to Canelo. Cotto would have done that to Canelo. None of them did. Austin Trout, none of them did. So it's hard to do what Floyd did. So you got to, I mean, you got to give him his love. What what city has the uh, best boxing culture? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I've, I've thought about, you know, you know, just people from, you know, Michigan and people from uh, Philly and people from, I thought about that. Um, man, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's tough. It's tough. Uh, dang, bro, I'm late. Uh, my B, what's up? Uh, just saying, Bibble going to win. Uh, but anyway, have you uh done the giveaway yet? I've been announcing it, but I haven't give, given it away yet. No, 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 because people are still joining relevant and they're still learning about it. Um, let me see. Dude, stop. Everybody make excuses for Canelo loss. Uh, he got beat up. Live with it. It was a great performance. It was a great performance. You got you got to give credit when it's due. It was a great performance. When Canelo beat Cotto, that's a great performance. People try to say whatever. It's a great performance. How Canelo beat Colum Smith and how Canelo beat Caleb Plant, that's a great performance. And how Floyd beat Canelo, that's a great performance. I mean, it, you don't win. Canelo don't care about you. <laughs> Floyd don't care about me. <laughs> Why lie? <laughs> why 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 take credit from some uh did you hear about Mungia taking on danny jacobs no no i heard uh kel brook retired though uh yo biz can you call the tech guy for relevant we are jammed up in here <laughs> or is it because it is still archiving uh we had it popping early earlier uh help if you can thanks Everybody's talking in there. They all we're we're everybody's talking in there. I'm looking at them. Uh, we they've reached capacity though nine, so there are only nine people in capacity now. It used to be twelve, so we've reached the capacity. I think that's what it is. <laughs> Show business adult action figure. Um, stop it. Oscar fought uh, Chavez Senior and won same age difference. So stop the excuses. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and, you know, um, Manny Pacquiao beat Oscar De La Hoya and um, uh, Sweet Pea Whitaker was robbed against Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, there's no, there's no debate. There's no debate. There's no debate. It was, it was a great performance by Floyd. Was Canelo in his prime? No. Was Canelo at his best weight? No. Was Floyd in his prime? No. Was Floyd at his best weight? No. Floyd had hand issues. He couldn't bust. He couldn't break through a wet paper bag. Shoulders bad. He didn't do well at 150 anything. That dude was long in the tooth. They both great performance by Floyd. It is what it is. Uh, chatting, but no live talk and no video. See, but I can see the live talk in the video. Oh, restart, restart your relevant. Leave out and come back. You'll see it. Leave out and come back. Everybody, restart your relevant. Restart your relevant. Let me tell everybody over here. Hey, look, hey, look, hey, look. Everybody in the chat who can't see the panel, restart your relevant, and you'll see the panel. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, Floyd said it was experience. Yep, the night of the fight, getting a, a massage. Yeah, I remember. 
He said he's a good little fighter. He said he'll be great later. Yeah. It was experience. But here, here's my thing. Kovalev ain't beat Canelo with the experience. Floyd did a good job. Floyd did a good job. It is what it is. You got to get Floyd. It ain't like Floyd just, I got experience, so I just close my eyes and he lose. Like, <laughs> he fought and did a beautiful, he, I mean, it was amazing. Good reflexes, good, I mean, no need to take this. A few things won the fight. Experience, uh, technique, skill, speed. A few things won the fight. You know? <laughs> but good performance. It, it's not even worth, how is that even a conversation? Uh, Biz, pay attention. Pay attention to what? How do I win? How you win the glove? Be a subscriber on this channel. So subscribe to this channel and then go over to Relevant. And become a member of my vibe on Relevant. The best way to do that is to close out the chat, hit the link in the description box, and go over to Relevant. When you hit the link in the description box, you join Relevant, you join my vibe, and you'll have the opportunity to win, win the glove. Oh, let me see. Last question. Sorry. If I restart Relevant, won't I get locked out of the panel? If you're in the panel, don't restart. But if you can't see the panel, like, after it started archiving and you can't see the panel anymore, restart. Restart it so you can, you know. But if you're in the panel and everything's working fine, uh, but if 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 you're not, if you're having issues, you may want to restart. Uh showbiz, the adult, with long in the tooth showbiz. Ha! <laughs> Put on a clinic against Showbiz the Kid. Me and Showbiz the Kid, we've we've did some light sparring not that long ago. Showbiz the Kid's getting good, man. I mean, he's just getting he just growing up, bro. You know, his punches are hurting, and he, you know, that kid's growing up, bro. That kid's growing up. Uh, those people were Castillo fans. Funny. <laughs> uh, I can hear you. Uh, give him the beer, Showbiz, hey, brother. It is it is never that serious. <laughs> because I'm not Floyd, I'm not Canelo, you're not Floyd, you're not, it really doesn't, you saw the outcome, <laughs> good fight, move on. <laughs> no need to say, it was a good fight, but what really was the really, <laughs> brother, good performance, bro. <laughs> move on. <laughs> Laura was robbed. I don't think so. I, I, I used to think so. I watched the fight a second time and um and i did it live with you guys you guys remember that on this channel i scored the fight again and uh canelo won by two three rounds man i mean laura was just running after a while canelo was hitting him with thudding body shots that's that's really what, what won the fight that's really what, what won the fight um, Laura put up a good fight, but it's just like tonight. If Bivol puts up a good fight, people want to say that Bivol got robbed. If if Bivol goes the distance and put up a good fight, that's all it takes when it comes to great fighters. That's all it takes. Oh, uh, let me see. No way, three rounds. Okay, two. I, I mean, I don't. I mean, Canelo won. To me, you can you can think Laura won. <laughs> look, hey, look at look at Montana Love. <laughs> you can think Montana. You can think. You could think Laura won. I think Canelo won. It doesn't matter. Canelo won the fight officially. <laughs> oh, Montana Love is hilarious, bro. This guy is much watched TV. It's taken him four hours to get he, the baby steps he's taking. The baby steps he's taking. He's cutting a groove. But it's taken him 45 hours to get to the ring. The baby steps he's taking is incredible. Yeah, that dog, I hope that dog takes a piss. <laughs> I hope that dog just start peeing, bro. That dog's looking around like, what in the... Hey, bro, get, get in the ring. Get in the ring. Get in the ring. Please. Please. 
I love Montana Love. I love you, boy. I love you, boy. Love you, boy. Get in the ring, though. Get in the ring. But hey, look, but when a fighter got the little little strings, the tassels and stuff hanging out, right? Boots Ennis, Michael Second and None, Sugar Ray Leonard. They look good, don't they? Look like Roy Jones Jr. Look like they <laughs> look like they about to win the fight. Brother, this guy is taking one step every half hour. This guy's taking a baby step every half hour. Come on. Come on. I like that chain though with the with the arrow through the heart. That's called. Uh, let me see. Uh great show as always, Biz. I want to help this community with my graphic skills. DM'd you uh something a couple of minutes ago from uh at certified uh fan tees. Okay, brother. Thank you so much. I'll check it out. Uh Thoyman. Uh one, two, uh, the wet ponytail contest. <laughs> Yo, my voice. Oh, my, my voice is, is. My voice is gone. My voice is gone. My voice is gone. They're going to start putting. He's in the ring right now. He's on one knee. <clears throat> He's in the ring right now. Uh no, Montana Love is in the ring right now. This a much must see TV though, must see TV. Canelo's next. Canelo versus Bibble is next. Canelo versus Bibble is next. Everybody hit the like button. We're gonna have four thousand people in here in a minute. There's two thousand. Watch this thing jump up to four to five thousand people. Everybody hit the like button. If everybody hit the like button, we'll have four to five thousand people in here quick. Dude, Montana Love just took off his shades. This guy is hysterical. <laughs> Montana Love is hysterical. Hysterical. <laughs> I am dying laugh. This guy is hysterical, bro. Which fight is on? Montana Love is on. This guy is hilarious. Super funny. Much love. Jaron Ennis uh, fought tonight. No. No, but uh, Montana Love about to fight. See, look, 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 the tassels are so long on this. See, I'm telling you, I'll be different. Look at Tony Weeks. Never, he never had a gray hair, huh? I can't believe it. Can't believe it. I can't, there's no way. <laughs> Montana, look, 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 Tony Weeks, everything is jet black. His, his hair, his mustache. I can't believe it. That brother ain't seen a gray hair, huh? Because I got a few right here. Whatever uh, just for men or whatever he's using, it's nice. Nice. That's that's more than a comb through. That's poiming it. That dude got poiming it. That's more than just a comb through. I mean, he could at least put a touch of gray in there to make it look, you know. That dude, he goes to the shop because cause that's a box, too. Now, I, I you know. I haven't cut. I haven't seen anybody with a high top fade in him. I mean, he got a he got a short box. Woo! What what a part? He got a short box with a part. That got to be the same barber. That got to be the same barber, bro. Because I I don't think you can even. I don't think these kids got the skills to cut a box that sharp. Not that short and sharp. <laughs> Yeah, you got that Beijing all the way through. <laughs> um, let me see. Hilarious. Uh huh. Let's bar for charity, Francisco. Sit your over aggressive ass down, <laughs> brother. Brother, watch the fight. Mothers always want to fight. Watch the fight, bro. <laughs> Or why don't you go spar at a gym and become pro? Calm your over aggressive ass down. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, alo uh, aloha, uh, showbiz. Uh, when boxers uh, wear streamers tassels on their trunks, is that strategy to distract them? No, no, no. The opponent from fighters' footwork or pattern. I don't. I don't think so. Yeah, but I, I can see why I can be distracted. Here's Nate. Uh, you the best entertainer in boxing commentary show biz. I hope you kick it and chill one day. Help me kick it and chill one day uh, with you, biz. Oh, man, definitely. I, I need to do another live event. 
uh you you gone uh you on goat status love you boy much love to you nate thank you so much brother here come here come love right here don't blink uh i love relevant but your commentary is hilarious i really like that last fight uh i got love uh by ko in a seventh yeah yeah all right here we go love in the southpaw that front hand that front hand is busy they touching that front hand everybody look 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 at the front foot look at the front hand brother <laughs> that front row look at the front foot front hand and front row and you'll and you'll be totally entertained by this fight <laughs> Mm-hmm. Good right hand from who the oh Gala Gola Golas Galas Galas Golas Galas Gola Gala man that's a good brother Gollum this brother here this brother that was a good faint though from Galas 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 his name Galas I don't know what what good right hand to the body from Galas from Goulash <laughs> but no, 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 that's not funny. Uh, one minute fifty seconds. You, know, you don't want to make fun of somebody's name. Uh, go Gallus. You know what I mean? Oh, good left from Love. Left is fast, can punch hard. Love is. Look at him, not moving, no unnecessary movement. That boy is way too fast. He just jumped way across the ring and got back so in a blink of an eye. So his whole body's fast. He probably would have. Oh, good left from Love. He probably would have been uh, a running back for the 49ers, an all pro running back if he chose football. This guy's full body is fast. Forget just his hand speed. Oh, good right hand from uh, Gallus. Oh, this, this is this is this is incredible. <laughs> I got drip for sale. Good right hand to the body. Go ahead, boy. Get your hustle on. 50 seconds left in the first round. <clears throat> first round. Dude, my voice is, is done for. I'm mother oh, good left from love. So, Oh, good triple left from love. That brother's so fast. Come on, man. Pop, pop. Oh, just missed. See, go. Uh, Godless is trying to counter with the left hook. <clears throat> oh, dropped him. That's a knockdown, Tony Weeks. A check right, lead right hand. A check right hand, because don't forget, Love is from Southpaw. So he took, he just checked him. He didn't hurt him. Uh, Gallus just jumped in there, and he checked him. Uh, he, oh, his eyes red. Gallus over here blinking. Look at, look at Love. Look at Love. Bam! Left just missed. That counter left just missed from Love. Got, I mean, it was, it just, it was muscle memory. Just bam. Let me see. Let me see. We all blinking. Now he, he, he's blinking in pain. Uh, just got in here. What up, War Room? What's going on, Nate? My man, hit the Tyson bell. <clears throat> the punishment begins. Brother. Brother. Brother, my goodness. A love is so fast. Yeah, he is. Must see TV. <clears throat> Would Benavidez beat Canelo? Uh, no. I mean, I don't think. I haven't seen Benavidez fight. Anybody? I haven't seen him fight anybody of caliber to to say that i like him i just want to i just want to see him fight some caliber guys first before i say something like that uh two minutes 45 seconds in the second round look at love that front that front hand that front hand he he's not letting bang. oh he dropped love with a check left hook love leaned in with a left he outstretched the left i told you that left hook he dropped Love. I told you that left hook from Gales. Now, let's see. How does Love handle adversity? Because he's embarrassed right now. He's embarrassed right now. Let's see how he handles adversity. Love is off his back foot. Let's see how he handles adversity. Let's see if he if he's immature or let's see if he calms down. Good left from Love. He's calming down. He's calming down. Bam. Good right hand from uh, Gales. 
He, he's going right back to his technique. He's chilling. Okay. He, oh, good right hand from Gales. Good left. Good combination. R right up a cut just missed from Gales. See, once you start believing, you start being creative. Gales, now he's throwing different punches. Uh, good right from Love. Love got dropped. That's a 10 8. Love got dropped. One minute, 40 seconds left in the second round. Bam. Good right hand from Gales. Uh huh. Right hand just missed. He could he feel he can counter love. He feels he can counter. Him. Look, 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 look. You just joined relevant. You want that glove? I hear you. One minute, 24 seconds left in the second round. Good right hand from love. I mean, I mean that was the left hand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Southpaw. Putting that left, putting that, putting that right hand out as that measuring stick. He's pumping it. He's not doing it like Shakur. He's pumping it. Right, he's not just keeping his arm out there. You can't do that. Bam, good one two and one uh, and two again. He said, "Pump, bam, boom." Love doubles up that light left hand. It's nice. It's beautiful. See, Gales, he he tried he tried to capitalize on dropping on. Oh, Love hurt uh, Gales with the jab. He tried to capitalize on it, but Love got he was very poised and patient. So he look how he handled the adversity. Nice, nice. I wanted to know. You learn some stuff about a guy when he gets dropped. 30 seconds in the second round. Oh, that right hand just missed love. God, let's just, he just loaded up on the right hand. That was crazy. Fifteen seconds left in the second round. Good left from love. Love is, is still touching him with that left hand. Love is, is backing up, just, just tapping with it. Bam! Good right hand from Gales. Wow. Wow. Hold on. Let me let me fix let me fix relevant real quick. Let's get some people in here. There you go. Uh Laura almost got Canelo. Uh-huh. Uh Love got to keep jabbing. Yeah, I feel you, Sam. So the jab that Love is doing, remember, I'm gonna tell you who had a jab, something like that. Remember uh, Sugar Shane Mosley? Sugar Shane Mosley used to throw this jab that that wasn't going to punish. He wasn't punishing you with the jab, and he wasn't blinding you with the jab really either. It was like he threw it out there so he can so he can like a range finder. But I want that was a good left from Gales. But I what I want from Love is to pump that jab um, with meaning. Hold on, I think I think I missed a super chat. Why mess around? Here we go, right here. Uh, that Ali you got, I mean, you out sucker. That Ali you out sucker gives me chills every time. Oh, you out sucker. Yeah, oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, Salah Tate. Uh, Tony Weeks uses a squid ink sharpie uh, on his goatee. Uh, 50 year old uh, Larry Holmes cut his hair. <laughs> uh, right. Why him and Kenny Bayless? Uh, some weird looking brothers. <laughs> Dog, that Larry Holmes cutting his hair is hilarious. Larry Holmes got the same haircut. That weird, he got the same, same cameo whispers. <laughs> that same, oh, good right hook from Love. Left uppercut from Love. You know, you, you, you know, you know he got the whispers in this car. Cameo, uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Oh, good left from, uh, from Love. You know what he's listening to, bro. That mustache with no beard with the, oh, my God. You know what he's listening to. Good jab from, from Gales. That that boy there. That boy there. Good music, though. You can laugh all you want. Good music. What he's listening to, let, let him DJ at your next barbecue. Shh. Boy, y'all doing the electric slide, the two-step, everything. Digesting food very well. Good jab. From love. He mess around, get you, bring you a drink. With his playlist, boy, please. You end up end up pregnant. You be a dude, you end up pregnant. That man have some uh some uh some Luther. Oh, good left from love. That was a good one too. Love swim without getting wet. That boy got some Luther on. Uh he 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 watches uh he got he got he got uh 
uh dubbed episodes of give me a give me a break and that's my mama <laughs> three <laughs> uh uh what's happening <laughs> I do be looking at the Jeffersons. <laughs> Jeffersons are like, good one, two from love. Swim without getting wet. That dude be watching All in the Family, the Jeffersons, good times. <laughs> oh, good jab. And he listens to uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire, the Isley Brothers. Big laugh from, from God Let's Just Miss. Love shoot, shooting the jab. That brother there. That brother there. Eating butterscotch candy. Smelling like, <laughs> smelling like, like old spice. <laughs> old smell. He smells like old spice, Ben Gay, and butterscotch candy, dog. <laughs> Big left, just oh, good right hand from 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 Garland. <laughs> That's my boy. That's my boy. That's my boy. That's my boy right there. That's my boy. He 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 go he go he go to the to the gas station and you and like if you're a kid, if like if he's your uncle and y'all go to the gas station, he asks you if you want some snacks, tell him that you want some Snickers. Tell him you tell him you want M&Ms or Reese's cup. Because if you leave it up to him, you're gonna end up with uh some beef jerky, a slim jim, or some corn nuts. You leave it up to him, he's gonna give you. Hey, hey, you want some snacks? Yeah. Don't just say yeah, because he's going to come back with some corn nuts. He's going to have a bag of corn nuts for you and one for him. <laughs> Nothing sweet. Nothing sweet. And then he's going to he and then he and then he's going to play. <laughs> and then he's then he then he's going to play uh some some whispers. <laughs> and we begin to rock. Steady. That's what he's going to be. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. My bad, y'all. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Tony Weiss looked like a uh, 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 Werther's original. <laughs> yeah, he looks like Werther's original. Good left uppercut from from Love. Good jab. All right, let, hold on. Let me call the fight. Swim without getting wet. <laughs> he, look, he looks like Werther's original. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, good jab. Good jab from Love. Big swing and a miss uh, from, from your boy. Goulash, no, God, God, Golas, go, Gales, go. I just never see. I don't know what his name is on. Butterscotch, Butterscotch, good job from love. Swim without getting wet. I'm telling you, dog. I'm telling you, God for cut. That dude has peanut brittle. He has all. Yeah. <laughs> Candy corn and peanut brittle, dog. <laughs> That's what he got. That's what he got in his house. Good jab from Love. Love is tapping. Oh, good right from uh from G Gales. Hey, dude, Gales is giving Love a little problems because Gales is throwing wide. See, he's throwing wide shots, and let me tell you why wide fast shots work against Love right now. Because Love spins out right so that's his foot he spins out well you can meet a hook you can meet a hook what look at the look at the the straight punches they okay they don't really affect love like that but the winging shots because love like to spin out he could spin into a shot like he did when he got dropped good jab from uh galez up <laughs> galez walking him down Good left, just missed from love. Gales is not. Oh, good left from love. Gales went to Southpaw. Gales does not care about love's speed, his power, anything. He doesn't care because love can swat. It ain't like love can't punch, but Gales do, does not care. He does not care. Good jab from Gales. He doesn't care. And that's what you need to do. You need to not care. Bam. Now, Galea's got him walk, walking into the corner, which doesn't necessarily mean that's an advantage for you against Love. Love can mess around and hit you with a left and then, oh, good right from Galea's. He can, he can back into a corner on purpose and catch you. 
right? Kind of how Floyd did to Ricky Hatton. Now Love is starting to – Love is a little frustrated. He's a little frustrated because he hasn't discouraged Gallas. Bitch, you're killing <laughs> Gales. Oh, what's his name, dog? His name is Gales. <laughs> what's his name? How do you guys say his name, bro? How do you say his name? Is it Gales? Gales? What is it? Golas? What's his name? What's his name? I can't. I can't. Golas. Okay. Golas. Got you. You're hilarious. You're best. Got you. <laughs> Golas. I got you, bro. I got you. It's Golas. Okay. I got you. Man, we got we got it. We got it. Because that A at the end makes that go a, 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 a hard go. That makes that O a strong O. So it's Golas. Okay, let's go. It's Golas. My man said Goku. All right, here we go. Good, good, good jab from love. Good jab from Golas. We're, we're working. We're working. Two minutes 50. I was actually closer when I say goulash. So it's Golas. Got you. Oh, two minutes, 45 seconds left in the fifth. It's a 12-round fight, too. Lord have mercy. Oh, left hand just missed from Love. Dude, go, dude, I'm, I'm, <laughs> look, Love is a better fighter than Golas, okay? It is. It is what it is. But I'm liking Golas's attitude. Good left. Double left from Love. I like his attitude. He's like, look, if you ain't knocking me out, I'm, I, I, look, I don't believe you. You need more people. So he's just fighting. He's stepping forward with that front. They still touching fists like they did from the first round. He got that right, bam, right hand caught, just missed through the right hand again. He has proven to himself that he can drop him. So why not? What makes you, what makes you uh, have a higher probability to knock me down than me over you? I knocked you down. You knocked me down. It's 50-50 to me. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. But now love is a better fighter. You know, he's beating him, you know, this fight, shooting a jab. He's he just slicker, uh, throwing fast shots, landing some some effective shots and stuff like that. Got a little mouse under the eye of Golas. But, you know, I think Golas needs to throw some more looping shots. I really do. Because if you look at the way um, <clears throat> the way love exits, he always spins out. He always spins out. Ah, right, man, I'll throw some more looping lefts and have him spin right into it. See, he always spins out. And and Golas keeps throwing that straight right hand because I know because love is a southpaw. So you want to land that straight right hand on him. But I'd be who I'd be looping my left hook because love keeps spinning that way. I thought I thought jab and looped the left hook afterwards. They both exchanging jabs. Jab from Golas. Double jab from Golas, uppercut to the body from Golas. And they just they shooting jabs at each other. This is get this now now this is love that I said was must see TV. And right now, bro, you putting you putting together a snooze fest. You putting together a snooze. You know, but love got to be smart. <clears throat> he can't be wild. Not with Golas. Golas has shown that he's not intimidated by love whatsoever. So love got to be careful. He's fighting a careful fight on purpose. Good jab. Oh, good jab back from Golas. I said, oh, I, the two guys I said was much watched uh, TV. Um, Castro, who didn't do much earlier, and Love, who's actually kind of getting out jabbed this round. He's kind of getting out jabbed this round. And and that's the Canada dry. <clears throat> uh, Weeks got the Steve Harvey. Yeah, full Steve Harvey before the ball. He got the Steve Harvey mustache with the short box to match. He got that that real short. He got that uh that Steve Urkel that short. I mean that box there. I mean to cut that you got to be precise. You definitely got to have uh, experience. You got to have experience cutting that because it's not too far back. It's not too far forward. I mean, mwah. 
That's a nice box right there. That's all timer. That's all love from Australia. Love you, boy. And it's the same length, same height, same everything every time you see it. I mean, I mean, shit. They they they're cutting that with a with a straight edge and a pro, protractor. We call that <laughs> a protractor. I haven't used one of those things in so long. I forgot what. Oh, good, good, good. Uh, hook to the body from a uh, Golops. I, I don't think I ever used one of those. What was that with the with the with the sharp little little needle on one side? You put the pencil on the other. You make the little circle. I never. I. I used that once or something. I think I was trying to draw, you know, Charlie Brown or something. I, 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 I barely use that, you know. That stuff there, you you don't need that at all. That's some good math, though, because they had the measurements on the thing. Oh, good right hand from, from Golas. <laughs> Two minutes left. <laughs> yeah, protractor. It was a protractor, bro. <laughs> <laughs> a compass. Nah, bro. It was it was a it was a protractor, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's a protractor, BK. <laughs> yeah, yeah, BK knows. Girl hook to the body from uh from from Golos. Mm-hmm. Golos walking them down now. Love. Hey man, I'm I'm I'ma tell you. I'ma tell you. I am not a, I'm I am I am fine. I am fine. I I am not that entertained by this fight. A good right hook from Golas. I'm 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 impressed by Golas's ruggedness, but other than that, I mean, this is the 6th round, bro. We have way in. And really, it can look like this for the next 6. This man came in with a dog. He took one step every half hour and look you know, real pretty, fighting real pretty. Good jab from Golas. Good jab again from Golas. Good double jab. Good double jab from Love. I just heard Miss Biz scream out something. 35 seconds. Oh, screaming at the dog. I hear it. Yeah, people booing. Everybody's booing. That's what I'm saying. The whole crowd is booing. Everybody's like, boo, bruh. That see when you start when I when I think of a protractor, that lets you know how boring the fight is. Any anytime I remember a protractor, that is a boring fight. I'm sorry. Good hook off the jab from love. Now that means I'm I'm having I'm having memories I ain't had in a minute. A protractor. I'm falling asleep. Yeah, this here, and it's too rhythmic. It's too rhythmic. Doom, doom, doom. You gonna lullaby me? You about to lullaby me, bro? This fight here, gosh, there were some good ones too, and love was the one I wanted to see. Love your commentary. Uh, Mace boxing so exciting. I just joined Relevant. I want that glove. Uh, shout out from Japan. I'll send it right to you too. It doesn't matter where you're from. Yeah, I'll pay the extra. It doesn't matter where. If you won, you won. I'm gonna go zip, 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 pow. And if you won, you won, bro. I don't care who you are. Zip, zip, zip. If you're a subscriber and you join Relevant, you can win this glove, Canelo Alvarez uh, autograph boxing glove. Just be a subscriber and join Relevant. Bro, I, I mean, I mean, how, what what else y'all want to do? Y'all want to talk about Tony Weeks some more? We can talk about Tony Weeks some more, dog. Um, what else he listens to? Freddie Jackson, uh, uh, Jeffrey Osborne. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's that song? Um, girl, I wanna shake you down. My voice, I can't sing. I'm all the way from heaven. You, how that song go? <laughs> you blow my mind. How the, shake, I think it's called Shake You Down. 
Eeny, meeny, money mo. Come on, girl, let's shock the show. That, he, he listens to that, I'm sure. That was his jam. <laughs> that was his jam. That brother listens to that. <clears throat> um, shit. <laughs> you read my mind. <laughs> that, that girl there. The, I mean that girl there. I looked at the front row. I'm thinking about Tony. I'm trying to talk about Tony Reeks, and I'm like, that girl there. I mean, I mean. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, Tony Weeks, bro. I mean, they the, and that part is sharp and deep. They cut that part to the white meat, dog. <laughs> they cut that part to the white meat. Look, look, look at his skin. <laughs> look at his skin under that part. <laughs> Look at the look at the look at the condition of his skin under that part. <laughs> the sun ain't got to that. Look at that. That's some that's to the white meat. <laughs> but 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 the blend, the blend, the taper in the back of the neck, the nape of the neck. Go ahead, good right hands from from uh Golas. <laughs> yeah, this this here, bro. But the ta- the blend, the blend is wow, wow. That I mean, so listen. All jokes aside, whoever his barber is is amazing. It may be him. Why you messing around? He may got hit. He got his haircut figured out. He listened to Cab Calloway. <laughs> Come on, dog. No, dude. There's an eighties. There's a seventy like Commodores. He's somewhere around. He's a 75, brother. He's a 75. He's good from 75 to about 84. Oh, good left from love. From about 75, there's a 10-year span. There's a 9 to 10-year span where Tony Weeks was the man. And he can't let it down. From like 75 to 84. <laughs> Sleeping on the couch tonight. Oh, that's that's. I, I've conceded. I've conceded. But from 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 sev- from about seventy five. So uh, Zoom by the Commodores, right? He listens uh, to the Commodores. Uh, what what else? What else? Here, here, jump. See, he knows. He knows Temptations went after David Ruffin. You wanna you wanna talk about you wanna talk about the gap band, huh? Outstanding, so outstanding. The gap band, uh, Zap and Roger. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Saturday Night Fever, yeah. The Elements. There you go. Now we're talking. Blue Magic. How many of you guys know Blue Magic? Uh, uh, the Stylistics, huh? Doom, 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 doom. Trash man didn't get my trash today. Huh? Doom, doom. Oh, why? Because they want more pay. No, that's what he's bumping. That's what he's bumping. And that what makes the world go round. That's dog. This fight is boring. <laughs> hey, bro, this crowd is garbage. Born fighters is low. Man, please. When you pay that money, boom, boom. When they're in there putting it, I don't give a damn what they put on the line. If 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 it's boring, boo, bruh. I, you don't have to see that's another thing. You don't have to like it. I tell people that all the time. Yeah, don't steal the fight. But that doesn't mean you have to like every fight, bruh. <laughs> Jack hey, you feel what I'm saying? You don't have to like every fight. All right, him coming out with that poodle and and see he he took he took forty minutes to get in the ring. Okay, he took forty minutes to get in the ring. Uh, let me see the floaters, the floater, yeah, the floaters, uh, the four tops, um, Teddy Tender ass. See Teddy Tender ass back when he was with uh, what's the name of the group he was with? <laughs> Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes. He was. I, Teddy Tender ass was a blue note, I think. 
Well, the man died. Teddy Pendergrass. Love you, boy. Let me see. My man has more parliament records than the tower. I swear uh, this fight I mean, this fight is killing me. Uh, stop, biz. That's my music, too. I hear you. I hear you. But look, I'm looking at your picture. You ain't holding on to that box, though. See, that's the difference. You can listen to it, brother. You can listen to it, but you ain't holding on to that box and then try to fool us all by by putting some uh putting some comb through jet black in there. <laughs> when you know his hair is chestnut brown, that dude put jet black in there. A uh, old spice butter. <laughs> Jack, Jack, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, that man, that man smells like he smells like uh 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 but butterscotch candy. Um, definitely, definitely been gay. Um, some Vicks, cause, cause you gotta, you gotta understand, you gotta understand, <laughs> you gotta understand. When you get, you get to a certain age, you know, at night, you know, you know, you, you're not taking it in, you're not taking in the oxygen the way you used to when you were younger. So he got, he got, he smelled like Vicks vapor rub, uh, butterscotch. <laughs> High karate and Ben Gay. That's what it smells like. That's what it smells like. And the thing is, <laughs> the thing is, he put S curl on his hair without without getting the texturizer. He still he still grabs the S curl gel. See, and see, he he because he used to have a texturizer, but he he caught wind to that giving you a receding hairline. That thins you over time. So he gave up the S curl, but he still buys the gel and rubs it in his hair, which is not a good look. Not a good look. Not a good look. Not a good look. <clears throat> I got it. The spinners, LL Mama Biz. No. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Tony Weeks, uh, give out peppermint at church. Yeah, give out peppermint at church. Please. Please. That dude got he got a Miss Butterworth Butterworth's uh bottle with uh pennies in it. <laughs> As a penny bank. Brother, I, this this fight is is getting the best of me. <clears throat> DJ, fa, 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 fa. Uh, what's good, bro? Chicho, <clears throat> watching all the way from Turkey. Wow, everyone jab the like, smash and share, subscribe, join relevant, check out BUSR, hit the hit the horn. Uh, listen to uh, Con Function. Oh, conf oh yes, Love's Train. Yes, Lord, and uh, Slave, uh, smelling like uh, music. Carm Caramel chews and mouth and mothballs. Yes, 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 Lord. You got that right. James West. Ain't nothing but a gangster party. That's right. Confunction. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Shoot. Go right hand from Golas. <clears throat> if uh escorts, you know, you know, Rick James. Oh my. Oh my God! Does he listen to Rick James? Fire and Desire, Ebony Eyes. You know he listened to all of that. Let me see. I heard the crowd sing "Oh Happy Day." Yeah, yeah. You see, you see this this fight here. This fight here is for the birds, bro. This fight is for. I can't wait for Canelo and Bivol. I can't wait for Canelo and Bivol. This last fight <clears throat> before Canelo and Bivol. Let me see, Gerald. Uh, how about that shoebox that uh, has cassette tapes? Uh, they say uh, glow, uh, say slow groove too, and uh, the one in black marker. Yeah, it says slow groove, boner jams, boner jams, nineteen eighty five, all that stuff. Yeah, heck, heck yeah, heck yeah. He gets down like that. He gets down like that. That dude still uh, buy uh, uh, VHS porn. <laughs> <laughs> I think I brought up porn um, every live stream, uh, every live stream commentary for the past two, three weeks. Good double left hand from love. Uh, Earth, Wind and Fire, you, please, please, you know he listened to Earth, Wind and Fire. Do you remember? That's the man right there. You think he got an ears, ear, his ear pierced? <clears throat> you think he got a, a tattoo? Hell no. He got a pinky ring and a gold chain, though. You don't want to see Tony Weeks when he come, when he goes out. Beautiful, beautiful, looking like sherbet ice cream. And that dude, that dude is is the colors he wear, orange from the top of his from his hat to his feet, orange match. See, back in those days, you had to match. 
and and he put a crease in his jeans and cuff him. That that's a bad boy. That's a bad boy. You don't want to you don't want to see Tony Weeks when he goes out. Good left hook from uh <clears throat> from Love. You don't want to see him with <laughs> boy, boy. This here, this fight right here. This fight right here is terrible. Oh, uh, who's winning? I don't care. Love. Love is winning. Let's just give it to him, dog. Love is winning. <clears throat> had to court. He had to coordinate. Hell yeah. Coordinate. Sa the same orange from the from his hat all the way down to a, the same orange. Not burnt orange with a little bit of light and a brown. No. The same all the way through. Coordinate. <laughs> boo man everybody's booing this man came in with a dog he came in with a dog and he took one step look 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 canelo worked himself up to a lather already he has to sweat oh bill does too never mind they doing their thing never mind they worked up a good little sweat never mind uh he looks like uh the type that carries a uh 38 in an ankle holster hey look that a hey, He'll shoot you quick. You don't want no beef with Tony Weeks. You don't want no beef with no beef with Tony Weeks. Uh, uh Tony got barbecue uh sandals <laughs> and his dress shirts uh all are missing uh the top three buttons. Yeah, you know, he got he got those sandals, those Hercules sandals, the gladiator sandals. What do you call it? <laughs> what it's like a full shoe with a bunch of holes in it. Oh, uh, let me see. Chicago's finest, LOL, Ramsey Lewis. Uh, I'm done. <coughs> Man, please. Man, please. Man, please. And he pops his gum when he chews it. Because he got a silver tooth in the back. Uh, he wear uh, Versace shirts. <laughs> Man, please. Man, please. I'll tell you what. Tony Weiss got all that figured out, right? Tony Weiss would take the badges off that shirt, unbutton those, those top three. And look and look better than everybody in the crowd, including those women in the front row. You think those women are here to see Canelo? They here to see Weeks. They here for Weeks. How many? I bet you there's seven women out there. His name, his name ain't Weeks for nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, Sunday he goes to church. That's you. There's six women out there. That's all for, they'll call you oh, a good double left hand from, from love. They'll call him Tony Weeks for nothing. There's six women out there. You got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Hold on. They changed the, they changed, I swear to God, there's a Saturday. Change that, that view back. Change that view back. Change that view back. Hold on. Let me see Chick. Let me see Chick. Let's go back to that front row. I double left hand again from love. There it is. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday he's in church. They don't call him Tony Weeks for nothing. They don't call him Tony. He, yeah, God rested on Sunday. He's going to rest too. All those women are for weeks. All those women are for weeks. You think I'm playing? Think I'm playing? Y'all think that's for Canelo? <laughs> that's for weeks. Come on, Tony. That's for Tony. That dude, that dude, oh, good left hand. He just, he, he he's going to shoot some dice later. And there you go. <laughs> Those are porn star. Well, well. <laughs> the best live yet. <laughs> you think I'm playing? Look, they taking a picture of weeks. Look at the phone now. They like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> They look at Tony and say, mm. Mm, mm. That boy there. <laughs> Look at Tony walk off. Tony, man, go ahead, Tony. That's my that's my guy right there. That's my guy right there. That dude will he'll fix your alternator for a six piece and a biscuit. He'll fix your alternator for a six piece and a biscuit. Look, the women left. They already know. They already know. Three of them left. Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday left. I saw them. Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday left. Tony clean. He stay clean. <laughs> Dude, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to help you guys through this. This is insane. This fight is, is insanely slow. 
<clears throat> favorite car, showbiz. What's his favorite car? A stretch Cadillac. Are you kidding me? Diamond in the back. Sunroof top. Dig in the scene with the gangster lane. Hit the Tyson bell. Y'all know what time it is. That dude, you know he got dice in the mirror. Uh, my man's velvet uh, interior is Christmas. Hey, you ain't you ain't lying. You ain't lying. You ain't lying. Try to eat in his car. Try to eat in his car or 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 change the, the volume on, the, on his radio. You get your ass whipped. Eat in his car if you want. Eat in the car if you want. Or 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 change the station. Re touch that, touch that, that, that stereo if you want. Or oh boy, please. Boy, please. You got another thing coming. Go go one too from, from Golas. Please. Shoot. Show biz. What kind of carpet he got? Thick. Thick. That dude carpet is <laughs> that dude carpet is that thick. Thick. And he got a and he got a fan in the window. That's a hot ass house. Go step in his house. Step in his house. There's plastic on the furniture, a fan in the window, and carpet this thick. <laughs> you you step step in that house, you gotta get naked. You gotta get naked to survive that house. It's so hot. It's so hot in there. Please. Please. You smell uh royal crown hair grease, that blue magic hair grease or some Murray's. You smell in this house, his house smells like Murray's hair grease, and you got plastic carpet this thick and a fan in the window. Uh, on a, a summer day as hell. <laughs> it is how he's just fine. He's in there in a three-piece suit. You in there buck naked, trying to watch TV <laughs> with 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 a, with a face cloth. You keep you keep put put cold water on the face cloth on your head, bro. You just right here, bro. just just melting away on this plastic. <laughs> and he got dice in the mirror. Yes, Lord, he got dice in the mirror. <laughs> Tony Weeks still wearing platform shoes. You ain't lying. <laughs> you ain't lying. A better a better platform than the zone. That dude did. <laughs> Oh my God. <clears throat> oh my God. That dude doesn't own a chain without a crucifix. <laughs> he doesn't own every chain he got. He got a Jesus, a Jesus piece. This boy ain't playing no games. They peace, love, and soul. <laughs> Brother, can this fight be over with? <laughs> I think I'm I don't, I don't got enough jokes. Uh Biz at a war room. What y'all ring walk interest song? No lie. I walk down to uh, How You Like Me Now by Kumo cool D. I, I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> I told you what I walk out to. <laughs> uh, uh, Tony got uh, grannies on lock when he wear his uh, Jordan's jeans. Oh, yeah. If you got a grandmother, you might as well just go go ahead. Go ahead. Close your eyes. Turn your head. Woo! Your grandma see Tony. Woo! You you might as well leave. You might as well save yourself the the embarrassment. You might as well leave your woman, your your grandma about to go running. She can't she can't she slide everywhere else. She lift her feet for Tony. She's running for Tony. <laughs> Shoot, love is winning, of course. I'm bad by LL Cool J. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I told you, man. I'm I'm coming out to uh, 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 uninvited by by uh, Alanis Morissette. I told y'all that, and I ain't playing. Good left foot, good uppercut from 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 Golas. <laughs> uninvited by Alanis Morissette. Throw everybody off. <laughs> uninvited. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? <laughs> like anyone worthy. <laughs> Throw everybody off. They're gonna be like. <laughs> I come out serious as hell, dog. 
<laughs> warm blooded woman. Like, is he a woman or <laughs> to liberate? Hold on, hold on. Let me see. Let me see. And don't forget, he will uh but you uh with uh the shooty from the hip. And don't forget, he will butt you with the shooty from the hip. Hey, I don't know. Whatever it is, that was, that was what it is. Hey, 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 look, this is the 12th round. Thank God. Thank God. Thank goodness. I couldn't. I was done. And he's pigeon-toed. I ain't seen anyone pigeon-toed since 1986. Tony Weeks, they don't, they don't even, they got a vaccine for pigeon-toed, don't they? I ain't seen, if you pigeon-toed, you get vaccinated. Because I ain't seen anyone pigeon-toed since 1988. <laughs> uh, Tony got a fork and some hot sauce. <laughs> you, the gloves. Hey, brother, Tony got a spork. <laughs> Tony got sporks in the house. Brother, I'm awesome. <laughs> <86. laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This fight was terrible. Was terrible. Yeah, he got a huge midsection. That's all. That's that's where his loving sits. That's where all his loving, his loving starts at his heart and it rests at his stomach. See, it used to be at his heart. Now his loving rests right there in his stomach. <laughs> hey man, this the the I ain't seen Tony Weeks break up the fight all fight. This fight sucked. This fight is bad. Brother, this 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 I I can care less about who won. Tony got a brisket on the grill right now. Yeah, he got a brisket simmering real slow, simmering slow, simmering slow. Look, oh, they came back, didn't they? They came back, didn't they? Though they went, they went out because I'm telling you, Tony talked to him in between rounds. He talked to him. He said, "Hey, your hair getting a little frizzy, baby, and you know what? You're starting to get a little, you know, after the market." Because he he was smelling them. A few of them start to was wafting a little bit. Like you smell a little, you still smell okay, but you're starting to get a little tart. So he told him, hey, your hair frizzing, you're starting to get a little tart, and you you ain't as glossy around the boobs as you were earlier. It's starting to dry out. You know what I mean? I'm starting to see a birthmark and it's getting ashy. So take your ass, get yourself together. They left. They got themselves together. And the other one's like, Am I okay, Tony? He said, For now, for now, but don't slip. For now, you're okay. Don't slip. That's why they went to the bathroom. You think he was watching the fight, but that eye, that 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 peripheral, he was like her hair frizzy. He was looking at the fight. Her hair frizzy. Birthmark showing. He was. He went right through it. In between rounds, look here, baby. You getting a little tart. I'm starting to walk. You go. You right. You Monday. Monday. Your hair starting to frizz. Thursday. You know you got a gloss. That's starting to dry out. Right, your rash is starting to because we, we didn't want to talk about that rash earlier. You glossed it, but now that rash is drying up, and then your fungus starting to show. Take your ass. <laughs> what? What? Put, put, put the ointment on. <laughs> Come on back. All right, hold on. Let me see. Uh, Tony is just a Sinbad with the black flat top. Yeah, that's Sinbad. That's a, all right. Thank you. I, I hope I entertain West Side. <laughs> I hope I entertained you guys to get through that fight because that fight was a snoozer. Golly. Golly. <laughs> oh, God, dog. Dimes. Yeah, whatever. Not the Tony. Tony, he done seen those before. They, they, they big time for us. Tony done seen those before. All right, here we go. Here we go. I hope this is a split decision. Unanimous decision, go loss. Love one. Everybody's born. Everybody's born. Uh, from now on, when a fight is garbage, the community should just have a Tony Week session. Yeah, dog, cracking the F up in here, man. I love this. Biz, you the best. Brother, I did the best I could. My, I'm losing my voice, everything. But that that was such a piss poor fight. I mean, to keep, I tried to keep 3,000 people in here alive. That was tough. 
uh, Tony called everybody Young Buck. Yes, he did. Sada, thank God. Thank you to the war room. Sada Tay. <laughs> everybody from joining in on that roll session. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Because, my God. Okay. Canelo Alvarez versus Bevel. I got $500 on the fight. <sighs> <clears throat> Sick as a dog. Let's go. Trash. That fight was totally trash. All right, let's go. Everybody, don't forget. Don't forget. You guys want to see the glove? Huh? You guys want to see the glove? <clears throat> Robbery. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you want to see the glove? The autographed boxing glove? Say me. Say me. My voice. Is like, hey. <laughs> Feel better, Biz. I'm doing my. I'm. I get it together. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> I get it together. Yes, you know I got energy. Let's go. Ah, this could be yours. Autographed Canelo Alvarez boxing glove. I I really don't know the tickets in here though, but that's up for you to find out. Up to you to find out. I'm not going to do that. But what I did, what I did check on. It's the certificate of authenticity. I definitely had to pull that out to make sure that that was in there, to make sure that you guys know that this is authentic and it's really his signature. All right. So this, uh, I bought this glove for fourteen hundred dollars, but it was marked down from sixteen hundred dollars for yours truly. So it's worth sixteen hundred. Okay. Um, make sure that you're a subscriber to this channel, um, and that you go over to Relevant and you join uh, as a member on Relevant. This is what you do, how to get to Relevant. All you need to do is hit the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. They got some pizza. Open up the, uh, uh, what's, what's that called? <laughs> the description box. <laughs> uh, open that up and you will see uh, a link to Relevant. Hit the link, go over to Relevant and join my vibe on Relevant. That's all you have to do. Be a member on Relevant and be a subscriber to this channel. And you could win uh, the Canelo Alvarez autographed boxing glove worth $1,600. And also for second place, Clarissa Shields uh, boxing card from Tops when she won the Olympic gold medal. That's why you see her as amateur. You see her very young. She's a teenager. That's when she won the first Olympic gold medal. This is a very rare card. This is card number two. And I'm not sure how many was printed, uh, but that's card two. So that's pretty good. Uh, in hard plastic in mint condition is actually triple wrapped um it's in the hard case there's a plastic sleeve that is in inside of the hard case and then there's this plastic sleeve on the outside to keep it mint condition so we're going to have two winners first place sixteen hundred dollars second place clarissa shields i'm not sure how much that's worth i think it's a couple hundred dollars maybe a hundred or so uh let me see i think i had a, a super chat so make sure you guys uh, become a member on Relevant, Relevant and subscribe to this channel. I swear there was a... I swear there was a uh, super chat that I just saw. Just saw it. Oh, here it is. Uh, are you going to call the Rose fight? No. No, Rose Namajunas. Let me know, though. Let me know. You guys know that there's a safety for that knockout, right? Um, and I showed you guys on relevant. So, uh, Tony Weeks wants an autograph, uh, Jerry Quarry glove. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> Jerry Quarry can fight though. <laughs> that, that was my guy. There you go. Thank you so much, BK. Uh, that's also, you can use that link also to get, uh, become a member on relevant. Just hit that link. We got time. Hit the link, join relevant and then come on back. Okay. Relevant is a new, uh, social media app. We're in the forefront. Um, it's, it's very great, though. We got 240 p people in Relevant right now. We got a panel of nine uh, 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 show business partners from the War Room. They're talking, discussing things right now. Um, and they are up to win the Boston Glove, too. So we're doing a great job on Relevant. Hit the thumbs up. Yeah, everybody, make sure you hit the like button. Here we go. I told you guys. You guys hit the like button. We're going to have 4,000 people in here. It's almost 4,000 now. It's going to jump up to 4,000 as soon as you guys hit the like button. If we get, like, a hundred of you guys sitting the like, or maybe a thousand of a thousand of you hit the like, we have 6,000 people in here. So it's about to jump. It's about to jump. Everybody's going to be in here in a minute. So it's 3,200 people in here now. We should have over 3,200 likes, maybe close to 4,000 likes. Everybody hit the like button. 
Canelo Alvarez versus Bivol coming up. <clears throat> you guys let me know right now who you got, Canelo or Bivol, and how. Let me see your comments in the war room. Canelo versus Bivol and how. Dude, I was having a hard time with that Tony Weeks. Don Showbiz, my man, Jeffrey Poot. I don't remember you because that last name is Poot. That's hilarious. Canelo by TKO on the 7th. Wow, you got real, okay. Canelo, TKO, Bibble 11. Wow, you think Can Bibble going to win by knockout? Canelo decision. That's that's smart, Canelo decision. KO 8th. Can Canelo establish the jab? Establish the jab. I don't think he would want to, but can he? Yeah. Uh, Iron Mike Tyson said height has nothing to do with a good jab. It's timing. So, yeah. Yeah, yes, he can. Uh, you would think the jab uh, contest would go towards Bivol, though. I got Payday, 11th round, TKO. Canelo, TKO, 8th. Canelo, uh-huh. Bivol, split decision. Uh, play, hit the like. You got that right. Everybody, hit the hit like. The, hit the like. Oh, get, get those. Get the thumbs up. Hit the Hit the like, get those, get the thumbs up, hit the, hit the like, get those, get the thumbs up, hit the, hit the like, get those, get the thumbs up, hit the, hit the like, get those. Canelo by KO, Bivol on points, decision Bivol, great value, Bivol by split decision. You think Bivol can earn a split decision on Cinco de Mayo? Okay. Uh, let me see. Canelo by points. Hit the like. Yeah, everybody, please hit the like. Uh, Bivol, long shot. Canelo, love you. Uh, let's go, uh, Canelo. Okay, okay. Canelo, 10th round. TKO. Bivol, 8th. Canelo. Can, uh, KO in the ninth. Canelo, 4. Oh, Jesus. That, if Canelo knocks him out early, that would be. See, here. See there. that's the thing. I don't know where. I know where Canelo's power is. I don't know where Bivol's chin is. I really don't know. I don't know. I have no clue. For 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 three years now, I've thought Bibble would be Canelo. And now we're here. Okay. And now I'm put I've put five hundred dollars on Canelo to knock out Bibble. So you feel what I'm saying? <clears throat> Things kind of change. Bibble was looking at Canelo very seriously. Bibble ain't playing with Canelo, bro. Bivol looks very, very brave, very brave, and he should because he's the he's the champion at 175. He's looking like the champion. Canelo, fourth round KO. Canelo, Bivol in 10, round TKO. Canelo Alvarez, late KO. Canelo KO, Canelo body shot. Canelo KO, 8-9. Uh, Canelo on points. Wow. Draw. Wow. You should put money on that. Uh, Canelo on 11th, Bivol decision, no draw, Bivol points. I don't see a draw. Is Love winning? Uh, love won, and that that fight was was rinky dink. Um, I had I play hit the like already. Canelo by bias judging. Wait, Canelo's going out first. Canelo better come out first because Bivol is the champion. Canelo better come out first. Can, uh, Bivol decision, Canelo TKO, round 10. <laughs> Nelly, 10th round. Bivol jab time, and it's insane. Installing the relevant app. My man, Drew. Thank you so much, brother. Doing the right thing. Thank you so much, brother. Everybody, let's give it. Oh, they're lining up. Let's give it up for Drew right now. Drew, let's give it up. For me. Okay. So, Canelo. Canelo's coming out first. Canelo's coming out first. Hold on real quick. Hold on.
Dude, dude, I'm saying. I'm saying Canelo better come out first, man. I mean, he not he not that he better come out first. It's just that you got to give respect to the champion here. Canelo's not the champion. Uh, he still grabs the S curl jail, brother. I'm saying, I'm saying, without the S curl, goes to full split decision. Canelo, Canelo eleven, Canelo in one. Uh, let me see, Saul by eleventh. Uh huh. TKO. Canelo with left hook, liver killer. Uh huh. <laughs> oh boy, Canelo wins in six rounds. Man. Huh, man, I don't know. How you feeling minutes out, Biz? Uh, give a percentage chance of Bibble to win and for Canelo to win. I give about a 90% chance for Canelo to win, 10% for, for Bibble, because I don't think Bibble knocks out Canelo. So with that, I just don't see him winning um, the decision because he, because Canelo's not going to get beat up. He's too great. So it will be a close fight. And if it's a close fight, Canelo wins. You know, that's the thing. I, I just don't see them giving Bibble the fight if it's close. I just don't see it. I just don't see it. And if Bibble goes to decision, he's not beating the hell out of Canelo. Canelo's too good at this. It's, he's too good at this point. Nobody would have beaten the hell out of Floyd, you know, when Floyd got in his prime, like really got in his bag. If you beat Floyd, you you have to squeak out a victory, you know. When when Sugar Ray Leonard was in his yeah, in his prime, like Duran, Duran didn't beat the hell out of Sugar. He's he it was a split decision. You ain't you're not beating Sugar like that, right? Canelo, you know. I mean, unless you're Marquez hitting Pacquiao with the one hit a quitter, you know, or Floyd Mayweather later on, it's hard to beat Manny Pacquiao. Beat the hell out of Manny Pacquiao. Let me see. My ring walk song is hit him up by Tupac. Yeah, just straight disrespectful. Someone asks if it matters if uh, YouTube and relevant uh, name are different. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I'm going to I'm going to uh, definitely choose you uh, based on relevant. You know, so I'm, I'm going to go through the relevant members. Uh, to choose you, you could you could change your name on relevant. Canelo and, and seven. Canelo's coming out first, bro. Canelo ninth round TKO. Let's go. Let's go. I just got super nervous because I got five hundred dollars on the line. I just got super nervous, like crazy nervous. It just overcame me like very quickly, bro. You think they do a Russian anthem with everything going on? No, because I don't think I don't think he's able to come out in the Russian flag. I don't think he gets to wear the Russian flag in America. So no, I don't think he does a Russian no. Canelo singing a song and everything. He he's he's had these fights so much, so often. He's a big stage guy. That's another thing. Bivol was like, I never been booed so much in my life. You saw that after the weigh-in. He was like, dude, I'm not used to getting booed like this. <clears throat> What's happening? They're singing Mexican national anthem. Wow. Wow. Let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> he always sings it. I, yeah, I know. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. Everybody hit the like button. Let's get 4,000 people in here. We got 3,500 people. Everybody hit the like button right now. Close out the chat. Everybody hit the like. Hit the like. Wait, what are what is he singing now? Oh, the American. I can't hear. Oh, that's the American National Anthem. Nice. 300, 500 people. Yeah, 3,500 people. Exactly. He's singing. Singing it well. 
I got money on Canelo uh, KO rounds 8 through 12. Good money. His mama is Korean. Oh, okay. So you think he's going to rap Korea? He's been rapping Russia his whole career. The night. Sing, boy. Uh, Biz rocks the world. My man. 3,506 people. Everybody keep hitting the like button. Get more people in here. Hit Tyson Bell. Canelo. 3,710. Uh, uh-huh. Sprinkle. Uh, as, okay. Uh, this fight ends in a draw, and they run it back in September. Oh, that'll suck. That'll suck. That will suck. Is Ms. Biz watching the Canelo fight? Yeah, though. Yeah. Yeah, she got money on it. This whole house got money on Canelo. Knockout. What happened with Justin Gaethje versus uh, Oliveira? Did they fight yet? Did, does anybody know what happened with Justin Gaethje and Oliveira? Oh, my God. Bibble's coming out first. Bill was coming out first. That 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 sucks. That sucks. They didn't fight yet. Okay, that sucks. Been here the whole time, Showbiz. Love your stream. Thank you so much, Perry, my man. Ukraine wins, Biz. That sucks. I don't like it. I don't like how the champ is coming out first. I don't like that, man. I don't like that at all. I'm sorry. I, I if you're a Canelo fan or whatever. I just think I, I don't like that, man. I know Canelo's pound for pound number one in most people's eyes, and I know he's undisputed at 168, but this is a 175-pound fight. So this is his house. This is Bibble House, and I know it's on Cinco de Mayo, too. And I get the theatrics, but I think Roy Jones came in first against uh, Ruiz. I think Roy Jones came in first because Ruiz was champ. Seriously, I think Roy Jones came in first. Did he? A side Canelo, no, 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 uh uh, uh uh, the champion, the champion get introduced last. <laughs> Olivero was overweight, yeah, we know that, but who won the fight? Hey, you see that ESPC, uh, and Canelo Alvarez trailer that ring walk that was nice. That was nice. Shout out to ESBC. Here we go. Here we go. I I think Bivol Bivol's coming out with a frown on his face, and Bivol just seems. I can tell that he feels disrespected. Like look at look at Bivol. Look at how Bivol comes out. Like look at the frown on Bivol's face. Bivol, I I don't know, man. Bivol got that underdog when he shouldn't be an underdog. Look like. You saw how he stared down Canelo? Like, he's just like. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, never mind. Bill was smiling and he, uh, never mind. I saw a little, now nah, I see that nervousness right now. Damn. He looked more mean at first. Like, I, I wish he still looked gully. Like, I'm trying to look at, I got $500 on the fight, so I'm trying to study Bibble's facial expression, see if I can get something. I'm having a hard time getting a read on him. That that ring walk was very slow. I mean, not very slow, but very quick. I I, I like that. He just got to business. I, I think he wasn't trying to, he know he can't win over the crowd, so let me just get in here. The crowd went, just went crazy with Canelo. Of course. The crowd just went crazy with Canelo. Canelo's doing, you know when he does that, boy. And he got that herp, that herpes still there. Let's go. When Canelo got that herp, that herpes there. Let's roll. You know, you know it's on now. With that herpes, in, it flared up. You know he's ready. You got that. When that mud's flared up, he's ready, baby. It's kind of like Power Rangers. You know what I mean? 
where you say Tyrannosaurus. That's <laughs> it's time when he morphed. That's that morphing stuff right there, bro. They just showed a picture of somebody sleep. I, I don't know who it is. That herpy getting popped. Okay. Okay. I hope not, because then it goes across the whole both lips. If you pop a herpy, rah, it all rah, it all just rah, like panda, like panda. Pan like designer. Rah. That's how when you if you pop a pop rah, like it mudges all over, all over both. Looks like thing from Fantastic Four. You don't want that. You don't want that. You don't want that, dog. Here we go. Undisturbed. Unmatched. Wow. Look at the stadium. Yeah. That's two back-to-back -back full stadiums, dog. Somebody got herps. And Canelo got... Let me see. Let me see. Uh, my uh, morphin herpy range. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Unbroken. Let's go. Man, Canelo's gonna sit down on some hard shots, man. My thing is, um, th okay. This is what I'm saying. I'm thinking that that. I'm thinking that Caleb Plant is, is going to prove to be tougher for Canelo than Bill. That's what I'm thinking. You're more just, oh, hold on, hold on. Flex on him. Seep, seep, pow. A side BS champ comes out last period. Yeah, Cooney versus Holmes. Yeah, 100%. 100%. A Canelo versus Usyk 2023. That'd be crazy, man. If Canelo fight Usyk at, like I said, win, lose, a draw. He's like, man, win, lose, a draw. If if he becomes undisputed at light heavyweight and then fight Usyk, you know, you got to start talking like Canelo's top, you know, 15, top 10 greatest fighter. If he beats Usyk, he's top 10 greatest fighter of all time. You know, I mean, you know. <laughs> this is nice. This is nice. This is real nice. Look, Canelo come out. He came out. He had the ladies do the thing. Man, he's coming up on a on a lifted platform, bruh. But his face is real serious. Okay, okay. Look at here. Look at here. He lifted him up. They lifted him above everybody. Look, 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 look at here. Look at here. Look at here, bro. Look at here, bro. Look at here. That is, that is, that is sick. That is dope. His, his, his robe is sick. But at the same time, the disrespect. But, but you know what, though? Russian. See, they're not going to respect him. They're not going to respect Bibble. The whole Russian thing and the, you know, bruh, bruh. This is, I, 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 I was trying to tell you guys. Uh, um, uh, Joe Lewis and your boy. Dang, I just forgot his name. Out of all people, out of all people to forget. Come on, you guys. How did I forget his name? Max Schmeling. Joe Lewis and Max Schmeling. You know? It, it was more than a boxing match. 4,000 people. I knew it. Hit the Tyson Bell. Thank you guys for showing up and showing out. Don't forget. Have your opportunity. Okay? Plug yourself in to win the Canelo Alvarez autograph boxing glove. All right? All you need to do is subscribe to my channel. Hit the link to go over to Relevant and be a member on Relevant. It's in the description box, autograph boxing glove with the certificate of authenticity included to let you know it's a real boxing glove worth $1,600. It's a real autograph 
a boxing glove from Canelo Alvarez. Get your opportunity to win. It's a giveaway. I'm announcing it tonight. That's first place. Be a subscriber for my YouTube channel and hit the link in the description box and join Relevant. That's all you need to do. And I will be announcing tomorrow morning the winner of the Canelo Alvarez autographed boxing glove. Second place is this Clarissa, Clarissa Shields uh, boxing card from Topps uh, when she won her first Olympic gold medal. So this is also uh, worth a lot of money. Hundreds of dollars, I think, maybe like $200 as of right now. Um, so that's second place. Make sure you're a subscriber on my YouTube channel and you're a member on Relevant. Hit the link in the description box, go over to Relevant, get your opportunity to win this Canelo Alvarez autographed boxing glove. Uh, let me see. Thank you so much, my brother, for the super sticker. And I think I got a new member, Baron. Bye, 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 bye. Thank you so much, it's Tyson Bell. Let's go. Let's go. Canelo is the best boxer in the world. Nimrods. Bilbo does not stand a chance for hatred towards Russians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. I hear you. That had a little bit to do with, yeah, yeah. You, you, you weren't, they, they weren't going to, yeah, look at Canelo. Already throwing his hands. Man, Canelo's a fighter. That's, that's one thing he is, is a fighter, bro. He's a fighter. Oh, Bilbo looks a little, yeah, Bilbo looks nervous. Okay, all right. It took me a while, took me a while to read him. Bilbo looks nervous. He's kind of rocking. He's, he's, he looks unsure. He looks unsure. It's, it's not Bilbo the fighter. It's the moment. You know, you know when you fight Floyd and you, you fight Canelo, you fight Pacquiao, you fight these Mike Tyson, you fight these big time fighters, the weight of the crowd and the everything being against you and all those things, it, it, it gets you. It gets you. They trying to loosen him up right now. He's pacing. They're like, hey, yo, it's just a regular fight. Act like it's a sparring session. You know, just get loose. Act like it's a sparring session the first two rounds. Get in your bag, and then you start fighting him, right? At some point, he just got to settle down. Russell Mora. I like him as a referee. Here we go. The stage is set. Here we go. Here we go. The time has come. My man survived a motorcycle accident. He said, I said the time has come. There you go. New member, baby, baby, baby. This is huge. This is huge. <laughs> nah, the fight starts now. Let's go. Let's go. Get your Canelo Alvarez autograph boxing glove. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Hit the like. Let's go. Let's go. Nineteen and 0, 11 KOs. Throw your hands, Bibble. Bibble, get loose. Throw yours. Throw yours from the shoulder. Loosen up. Loosen up, Bibble. Throw yours from the shoulder. There you go. Shake them off. Shake it off. Get the get the nervousness out. Shake it. Shake it. Hey. 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 Shake it. Shake it. There you go, Bibble. There, there you go, Bibble. Sweat ring and all. <laughs> <clears throat> that's that that's that five hundred dollars <clears throat> that sweat ring is that five hundred dollars on the plate <laughs> let's go <laughs> look at canelo looking nice and short if i was canelo i'd hop around like like Hagler. no Hagler used to hop around like this here <laughs> yeah guadalajara let's go biz let's go you say Canelo's going to get work tonight. Uh, he's your favorite announcer, right? Yeah, he deserves. He got that. He got that little UFC, UFC, uh, UFC vibe. He, he got that young, that young vibe, that energy. Be is flexing his game, slow key. Oh man, I, I ain't. I have been lift weights all week, but thank you so much, man. You feel? I haven't lift weights all week. I need to get back in the gym. I was feeling weird. Here we go. Canelo Alvarez. Look, mugs are drunk. 
They in the crowd just like, yeah! They ain't even, they don't care who threw a jab, who fought. They talking to women. Hey, what up, baby? Yeah! Like, <laughs> drunk as a skunk. Here we go. Stare down. Canelo, look up. Canelo, look up. Bill was looking at you. Bill was looking at you. Canelo, look up. Canelo ain't even looking at him. He looking down like this. Canelo, look up, man. I want to see a stare. God, I want to see a stare down, man. Canelo, Canelo praying. He praying. Good, good. There you go. Let's go. If I was Bill, I'd just cock, I just cock a right hand and swing. I swear, if I was Bill, I just rah, I just try to knock his block first punch. If I miss that, fine. But I'm putting everything into a first punch. I ain't gonna jab Jack. Rah. All right, you all right? Let's go. Yo, you know how I'm coming. You know how I'm coming with the thunder. Round one. Here we go. Ah, in the middle of the ring. Bill was snapping jab. That's the snapping jab from Bill. Uh, Canelo looks big. Canelo, he looks thick and big. Pause. That front foot from Canelo, right? That high guard from Canelo, too. High guard from Canelo. That's a good jab from Bibble. Bibble's pump, pumping. Bam! Right hook around the guard from Canelo. Didn't land. Bam! Right hook around the guard from Canelo. Didn't land. Bam! Right hook around the guard. He's doing the same thing because it's going to go low soon. Good jab to the body from Bibble. Hook from Canelo. Oh, good jab from Bibble. Intercepted the hook from Canelo. That jab was nice. Man, Bibble looks good. He's in the middle of the ring throwing ones and twos. Canelo better move that head. He better, bam, hook from Canelo. Bam, left hook from Canelo. Bibble was shooting that jab. Everything from Canelo is hooks. Bibble was like, let me tell you something. Bibble was going to throw a heavy right. He's going to throw a heavy right, bro. Watch. Wait until Bibble throws that right. Because that jab is heavy. Look at that snapping jab from Bibble. Canelo's very poised. Boom. Hook to the elbow from Canelo. Boom. Hook. Man, Canelo throwing hard, hard shots. <laughs> Double, triple jab from, from Bibble. Canelo's blocking it, but I like the – throw that right hand once, Bibble. Just let him feel something. Let Canelo feel something. Nothing from – bam, left hook upstairs. From, boom. Right hand to the body from Canelo. He's stretching from, from far out, though. Bibble, good feet, making Canelo stretch. Good jab. One minute, 14 seconds. I like Bibble's jab. Bam. Right hand from Canelo to the arm of Bibble. Just working the arm of Bibble. Everything is wide to hurt the – good jab, Bibble. Boom. Left hook missed from Canelo. That forehead is red from Canelo. Bibble's jab is, 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 is funky. Bam, bam, bam. Good combination from Bibble. That left, right, left. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, Bibble, Bibble, that jab from Bibble is good left hook from Canelo. Man, that jab from Bibble is nice. I, I, I love the hooks from Canelo, but they're hitting the arms of Bibble. Dude, that jab from Bibble. Bam, left hook to the body from Canelo. It's hurting the elbows of Bibble. See, it's in it. Good combination from Bibble. One, two, three, four. Boom, boom. Rocking Canelo with lefts and rights. Canelo blocked it all, though. Bibble got, boom, right, just miss. Bam, good flicky. Bam, right, boom, good combination from Canelo. Bam, bam, good one, two from Bibble. One, two, three, those straights. Yeah, Canelo got to move. Bam, good hook from Canelo. Bibble throwing, Bibble throwing that. Bam, good left hook from Canelo. Bam, good uppercut from Canelo. Man, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how you want to judge that round. Look at Canelo's forehead. Canelo's forehead looked like it's been bumped up. He got to move his head. His forehead is real wrinkly. Who won that round? Bibble first round? Okay, I go with that. Those, those hooks from Canelo were nice, but I think Bibble was blocking those. Yeah, I, I got to give Bibble the first round. I like I like the significant punches Canelo threw, but they weren't getting through. They weren't getting through. Pop bars. They weren't getting through. Look, 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 look at Mike. Look at Mike. Bibble's too stiff. That's how Bibble fight. Canelo's too stiff. 
Canelo standing straight up like this here. Bill was like, bam, boom, boom, bam. The ones and twos, the rock'em, sock'ems are working. Canelo's moving his head more. Yeah, he better. He better. He better. That front foot of Canelo. Look at that jab from Bivol, bruh. Bruh, that jab is keeping Canelo at bay. Another triple jab. That jab is busy. A jab from Canelo. Boom. Jab. Canelo got to jab his way in. Good jab from Canelo. Yeah, he got to jab his way in. Because Bivol is pumping. Good uppercut from Canelo. Because Bivol is pumping. Man, if Canelo, two minutes, 20 seconds in the second round. Uh-huh. Good jab. Good good triple jab from, from Bivol. Uh-huh. Another jab. Hooking off. Good one-two from Bivol. Brother, he's popping the forehead of Canelo. Canelo's forehead is going to look like a rhinoceros. He's going His forehead is going to look like an elephant. Bam! Good uppercut from Canelo. The crowd went crazy. See? Good jab from, from Bivol. Bam, good jab from Canelo. Good one, two from, from Bivol. Dude, bam, good left hook from Bivol. Brother, Bivol's giving Canelo a boxing lesson. Bam. Oh, good. Oh, good right hook, uppercut from, from Canelo. Canelo's like forehead, forehead, bump. Hey, get out of the way. Mora, Jesus. Bam, good good hook from Canelo. Canelo's walking up. Good combination from Bivol. Boom, 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 boom. Canelo's just walking him straight down. I don't know if this is going to work because he's not moving to the side. No lateral movement, and Bilbo is one, two, one, two. Oh, good hook from Canelo. That hurt Bibble. That hurt Bibble. Can Bibble's hurt. How the hell? How the hell? Canelo hurt him. Bibble's stunned. That right hook hurt him? Are you kidding me? Bivol, you're a light heavy. Good combination from Bivol. One, two, three. Bam. Yeah, Bivol woke up. He woke up. Good jab from Bivol. Canelo knows he can hurt Bivol. He knows he can hurt him. Good combination from Bivol. Then Bivol pushed off. Then one, two. Bivol's working. Bivol's working. Bivol's giving Canelo. Canelo's blocking it all. But I like the – oh, shit. Dog, Canelo punch hurt. Ouch. Right hook from Can – dog, Canelo. Damn. Left hook to the body. Brother. Ouch. Dog, Canelo punch very hard. <laughs> he, he, brother. Oh, good jab from Canelo. Whoa. Big swing and a miss from Canelo. Right hand just missed from Bibble. <sighs> it's a it's a hard fight to judge. Oh, uh, what I tell you, Biz, Canelo is bigger. Hey man, I it's a hard fight to judge because I probably give Canelo that round. You gotta understand what I'm saying. Canelo is throwing more effective shots. You got two old Bibble. If you like the busyness of Bibble, I got one one. If you like the busyness of Bibble, it depends on what you like. It that's why there's three different judges. I give Canelo that, right? But Bibble, you know, but Canelo was blocking a lot. Bibble was blocking a lot too, but Canelo hurt Bibble. See, he hurt Bibble. Bibble wasn't hurt. I mean, uh, Canelo was never hurt that round. And and good jab. See, Canelo's blocking a lot of that. I I, I got it one one. It's one one. It's one one. I don't want to hear 2 old Canelo. That's what I – it's either 2 old Bivol or 1-1. One, one. Good jab from Bivol. Good jab, Canelo. Good jab. Triple jab from Bivol. That jab. Yeah, Canelo got to move his head. Canelo got to move his head, bro. Because <laughs> that, that jab is finding a mark like a mother. Good combination. Bam. Good left hook from Canelo. Bam. Good uppercut from Canelo. To the, they both bumping heads. Bam, good combination. Canelo's walking him down now. Bam, boom, uppercut. See, that's what I'm saying. Do y'all like that more or it all depends. Do you like the aggression? Good combination from Bibble. Canelo looked, bam, good right hook from, from Canelo. I like, I like how Bibble's touching Canelo, though, man. 
Good uppercut. Oh, good left. Bam. Oh, good right hook from Canelo. Canelo better have all his win by the end. <laughs> like, because if he burns out and Bibble keeps his win, because good head movement from Canelo. Bam. Right. Just missed from Canelo. Bill was fighting a good fight. Double jab from from Bibble. Bill was fighting a good fight. Good jab again from Bibble. He's gonna throw that right hand in a minute. Boom. Good good right hand blocked by Bibble though from Canelo. Good jab from Canelo. Bam. Good hook. Bam. Oh God. Canelo got him. Get some. Oh Canelo hit him with hard shots against the ropes. Good left from Bibble. I think Canelo looks stiff at 175. Forget Bibble. Good combination from from Bibble. Canelo got out the way. Good left, counter left hook from Canelo. Canelo walking him down, bro. He, good jab from Bibble. Good combination, Bibble. Throwing it from the shoulder. Oh, good uppercut from Canelo. Ouch. Canelo, Canelo is beating the – Bibble arm is red. Bibble's arm is red. He's punching the arms on purpose. He's punching the arms on purpose. Good double jab from Bibble. He's taking the jab away from Bibble. But, oh, good overhand right from Canelo. He's taking the jab from, from good jab from Canelo. God, good uppercut left hook to the body from Canelo. And Canelo's winning this round. I, I really don't know what y'all like. Double jab from Bibble. Oh, Bibble got Canelo against the ropes. Bibble, there you go, Bibble. Let your hand, Bibble, don't let him off the ropes. 10 seconds left. Why you leave the ropes, Bibble? Use your size. That's the end of the round. You had an opportunity. Two one Canelo. See, Bibble got to get aggressive. He got to get aggressive. I got 2-1 Canelo. You got 2-1 Bibble? Okay, that'll work. That'll work. We, we got a swing round, the second round. Some of y'all say Bibble. Some of us say Canelo. Who's more tired? I think Canelo's more tired, and I think Bibble's more hurt. I think Canelo's more tired, and Bibble's more hurt. Because it's the rights hitting the arms of of Bibble, and I mean, he's breaking Bibble down. So he's hitting Bibble with hard shots and breaking them down. So Bibble, Bibble got to work Canelo before Canelo build that building block that he always builds on breaking somebody down. Here we go. Fourth round. Good jab from Canelo. Good jab. He, ha he has to work the jab more because because Bibble is shooting that jab nice. Double jab from Canelo. See, Bibble, Bibble got a broken nose or something. His eyes black. Bam, good hook from Canelo. Bam! Canelo had him get the ropes, hit him with a right hook. They got to watch the foreheads. They both clanging for, banging foreheads real. Oh, Canelo tried to do a pull counter, but Bibble's too good with the jab. Good jab. Good jab. From, oh, good hook to the body from Canelo. Good jab from Canelo. Good jab from Bibble. Bibble got to throw that right hand. Go ahead, right hand to the body from Bibble. Bibble, you got to go to the body. Good combination from Bibble. Good combination from Bibble. Good combination from Bibble. Good work. Uh-huh. Bibble got good feet. Canelo missed that body shot. Bam. Oh, good right hand from Canelo. Bam! Good right hand from Canelo again. Canelo got to watch where his right hand land. He could hurt his hand. Hitting the elbow or something. Bam! Good right hand from Canelo. Bam! Good right hand from Canelo. Boom! Uppercut just missed from Canelo. Bam! One, two from Canelo. Bibble, you got to throw your hands. You got to throw your hands, Bibble. Good jab from Canelo. Bibble. Bibble was just circling to the left. Canelo is getting in his bag a little bit. Good jab from Canelo. Bam! Good left hook from Canelo. Bam! Good right hand from Canelo. He's bullying Bibble. Bibble, you got to let your hands go, baby. Go ahead. Good. Nice way to let your hands go. 
Good jab, Bibble. Now you got him on the ropes. Swing. If we have throw it, throwing jabs to the body from Bibble. 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 Damn. Bibble is a, I mean, I got five hundred dollars on Canelo to win. But what I'm just saying is good right hand to the body from Bibble. When you have him against the ropes, you gotta work. You gotta work. Canelo's on the ropes on purpose. Good right hand by Bibble. What does that mean? Is he taking a rest? Because because Bibble's winning this moment. 40 seconds. He's not throwing punches while Canelo's on the ropes. What is going on? He let, he let Canelo rest on the ropes. Good jab. Good right hand from Bibble. Bam. Good right hand from Canelo. Boom. Right hand again from Canelo. Beating the hell out of Bibble. 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 Good combination, Bibble. Good jab from Bibble. Left hook from Canelo. Bam. Uppercut from Canelo. Bibble's hurt. Bibble's hurt. Bibble's hurt. What's up? Are you just watching it? Man, man, this is crazy. Canelo is breaking him down. Canelo's breaking him down. Somebody said fake. Somebody said rig. Well, here's the problem. When Bibble has Canelo on the ropes, he got to let his hands go. I don't care how much money I got on the fight. Uh, You look cute uh, with your sponsor on. Come on, man. <laughs> let me see. Bibble better not stop throwing the jab. Well, that arm hurts. He's he's getting hit on that arm, and Canelo punches the arm as a defense. Canelo's fighting a masterful, beautiful fight at this point. He's fighting a masterful, beautiful fight. I think Canelo is up. I got Canelo up 3-1. Yeah, I got Canelo up 3-1. He's, he's breaking Bivol off. He's breaking him off. Here we go. Good jab from Bibble. Good jab downstairs from Bibble. Good jab from Canelo. Faint from Canelo. Good jab from Canelo. Good jab from Bibble. Shoot the jab, Bibble. Shoot the jab. Bibble, shoot the damn jab. Don't let Canelo work. Oh, there you go. Bibble is doubling the jab. Left foot just missed. Jab to the body. Good combination from Bibble. A one, two. Canelo got a nice jab himself. Boy, that flick jab. Canelo's walking him down. Good right hand to the body from uh, Canelo. Good feints from Bibble. Canelo, Bibble, let the right go. Bam! Good right hand from Canelo. Bibble is hurt and Bibble scared. Bibble is hurt and scared. He's doing the same tip-tap damn. Canelo is walking him down. Left hook from Canelo. Good jab from Canelo. Good jab from Canelo. Bam! Right. Boom! Uppercut. Can that he missed that. Bam! Left hook to the body from Canelo. Canelo has a better chance of landing something to hurt Bibble than Bibble does to hurt Canelo. Good jab. Bam! A right hook on on Bibble. Now Bibble eye. Is look at my man's eye. Good combination, Bibble. Left and right from Bibble. Good right hand, Bibble. He got Canelo against the ropes. And Bibble said, and Canelo said, come on. You want to know why? Because Canelo's tired. Canelo's tired. Bibble! Bibble, punch him. Bibble hit him. Oh. Hold on, hold on, bro. Good jab. From Bibble. I'm telling you, I think Canelo's tired. That 175, that's more weight. Good right hook from Canelo. Bibble's running. What the hell is going on, Bibble? What are you, what are you really trying to do here? What are you trying to do? Good jab from Bibble. Bam, right, all oh, right from Canelo. Good jab from Canelo. Canelo just walking Bibble down. Bibble got some good win. Snapping jab from Bibble. Good jab from Bibble. Good combination, Bibble. 
Bill was throwing him from the shoulders. Left hook from, from Bill would just miss. Canelo looks stiff. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who won that round. I like the little flair that Bibble had, 3-2. I, I, I don't know if you give 3-2 three, three, Canelo. 3-2 Canelo. Yeah, 3-2 Canelo. Somebody said 5-0 Canelo. Now, that's ridiculous. 3-2 Canelo. Bibble, I'm going to give Bibble that round just because of that moment, but I don't even know if that's because Canelo was doing stuff the whole time, but I'm going to give Bibble that round just to, yeah, I'm going to give Bibble that round. He was blocking a lot of, oh, yeah, he landed good. Difference between having someone on the ropes and someone having themselves on the ropes. Canelo's trying to bait. Right, true, 4-1 Bibble. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. My my, okay. Here we go. My thing is when Bibble, when Canelo put himself on the ropes, Bibble should punch. I don't give a damn. Cause look at what he did with Canelo while he was on the ropes. That was his best moment. Good jab from Bibble. Good jab again from Bibble. Double jab from Canelo. Jab jab right hook. I think I lost five hundred dollars. Cause I put money on the knockout. Bam! Good right hand from Canelo. But Bibble was fighting in a, such a careful manner. Good combination from Bivol. Oh, good combination from Bivol. Good combination from Bivol. Good hook from Canelo. Canelo looks lethargic and oh, good right hand from oh, good right hand from Canelo. Bivol is taking his his Canelo's punches well now. Good right hand from Canelo. Good uppercut. Oh, good hook from Canelo. Bill will have these moments where he does nothing, and it, it's like it, it's tripping me out. This is a good fight, though. This is a very good fight. Good jab, Bivol. Canelo just not jabbing at all. But I think good right hand, Bivol. Good jab to the body from Bivol. If I was Bivol, I keep jabbing to the body. Keep making Canelo chase. Good hook. Oh, good right hand from Canelo. I think Canelo's in more trouble. Oh, good right hook than he wants to be in as far as his bam, his win. Good left hook from Bibble because Bibble is blocking everything Canelo got. He's blocking everything Canelo got. Good jab from Canelo. Double jab from Canelo. One, two from, from Bibble. I mean, double jab. I mean, I meant all from Bibble. Double jab from Bibble. I'm sorry. Bibble got Canelo against the ropes now. Now, here we go. Bibble, let your hands go. You can knock Canelo down. You can actually knock him down. Throw combinations. You can knock him down. Good jab from Bibble. Bibble! Good jab from Bibble. Bibble! There you go. Combination from Bibble. See, Canelo is winded. That hook from Canelo. Right hand just missed from Canelo. Jab just missed from Bibble. C Bibble! Th there you go. Now, Bibble throwing hands on. Bibble's winning this round, bro. It's 3-3. Three, three. 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 When Bilbo has Canelo. When Bilbo has Canelo on the ropes, I need Bilbo to let his hands go. Because he, he can mess around and overwhelm and drop Canelo. Canelo, to me, looks... Burnt out. To me, Canelo looks at 175. He looks lethargic. And now I know why Alexander Volsic said this will be interesting. Because Alexander Volsic was probably getting busy. Man, Canelo's making a miss a lot of those punches. 
Canelo's making a miss a lot of those punches. Yeah, Canelo's tired. Canelo's making a miss a lot of those. I still get bibbled around. Good left hook from Canelo. Bam, good right hook from Canelo. Double jab from Bibble. Good jab from Canelo. Jab from Bibble. Oh, Bibble threw a right hand. He almost countered Canelo crazy. He almost countered Canelo crazy with good feet. Bibble's working. Bibble's working. Good left hook from Canelo. Bam, right to the body from. Uh, Bibble doesn't look worn down or or hurt right now. Seventh round, two minutes, 20 seconds. Canelo knows he got to win this round. Good jab. Good left hook from Bivol. Good combination from Bivol. Bivol is very busy. Good jab from Canelo. Canelo got to jab more. He has to jab more. Good jab from Canelo. Bam, right. The jab opens up. Right hand to the to the arm from, from Canelo. Good jab from Bivol. Good combination from Bivol. Oh, Canelo made him miss all that. Good jab. Good combination from Bivol. Now Bivol. Good jab from Canelo. Bam. Good right hand from Canelo. Canelo's too good to. Bam. Good right hand from Canelo. Bivol absorbing a lot Canelo got. Good hook from Canelo. Good jab. Good man. Good head movement from Canelo. Good jab from Canelo. Bam. Good left foot to the body from. Oh, good right from Canelo. Good right from Canelo. Canelo's taking deep breaths. He's taking deep breaths. Good one, two from Bibble. Good combination from Bibble. Left hook landed. Oh, good combination. Bivol, Bivol fighting off the ropes on Canelo. Letting his hands go. Good jab from Bivol. Oh, good uppercut. Missed by Canelo. Oh, 27 seconds left in the seventh round. Canelo's walking down. Good combination by Bivol. Canelo can't deal with Bivol's power with his hand speed it's not just hand speed it's that the weight of canelo i mean bivol's punches is knocking canelo back overhand right bivol knows every punch canelo throws he knows his he knows his wheelhouse he knows he knows everything in canelo's toolbox good right hand bivol not uh canelo back end of that round four three bivol four three bivol four three bivol Oh, let me see. This Canelo can't beat but a BF, even if Canelo wins tonight. Good point. Good point. Oh, let me see. Wait, wait. Hold on. I'm trying to find. Hold on. Well, let me just uh, flex on him. Got halfway through the pay-per-view subscription process and canceled. This is perfect. Thank you, <laughs> my man. Flex on him. Thank you so much. 5-2 Bibble. I have no problem with that. I have no problem with that. But I, I got it 4-3. If you got it 5-2, I got no problem. I'll tell you this. Canelo's not winning. Canelo's not winning the fight. Good jab. Left hook. Bam. Good right hand from Canelo. I got it 5-2 Bivol. I'm hyped. Good left hook. Good double jab. Triple jab from Bivol. Good jab from, from Bivol. Good jab again from Bivol. Canelo just looked like he cannot get in there. Good combination from Bivol. Bivol knocking Canelo back with combinations. Bivol believes. Bivol believes. Bam! Good right hook from Canelo while Bivol's against the rope. But Bivol knows Canelo's wheelhouse. Good left hook outside from Canelo. Canelo, 
Bam, good uppercut from Canelo. Jab, bam, good left hook from, from Canelo. Bivol knows everything Canelo, one, two, one, two from Bivol, one, two from Canelo. Good combination from Bivol. Yeah, letting his hands go on Canelo while Canelo's against the ropes. Bivol, keep punching, keep punching. One minute, 40 seconds left in the, in the eighth round. Look at Canelo's face. Canelo's still against the ropes because he's bone tired. Big swing and a miss from Bivol. Good jab from Canelo. Canelo knows that Bivol punches hurt. Canelo body can get knocked out. Canelo knows that Bivol punches hurt. So it's not just the combination. The speed is the heaviness of Bivol's punches. I cannot believe just how great Bivol is looking against Canelo right now. Big swings and misses. Bam! Right hand! Canelo hurt! Good right hand from Bivol. Canelo is leaning against the ropes because he's bone tired. He's going... That 175. Good hook to the body from Canelo. Left hook upstairs just missed from Canelo. Canelo about to throw up. Good one, two from Canelo. Canelo needs a prayer. 30 seconds in the eighth round. Canelo needs a prayer, bruh. <laughs> Good left hook. I mean, right hook from Canelo. Uh-huh. Canelo leaned on Canelo. Bibble leaned on Canelo. Canelo fell to one knee. Why? He's tired. He's tired. He's tired. Good combination to the body. Bivol, uppercut from Bivol. And Canelo's complaining. He wants some home cooking. Bivol's up. That's another round for Bivol. Another Bivol round. Man, Canelo doesn't belong at 175. He's a human being. He's not a machine. I got $500 on the knockout. Do you understand what my money's gone? Canelo might get knocked out. He might get knocked out. Bibble got more spring off the bounce. He got more spring. <laughs> Let me see. Bibble got more spring off the bounce. Let me see what we have to say. Canelo may have written a check uh, he can't cash. Not counting him out, but it's not looking good for him at the moment. Let me see. See what you have to say. Flex on him. I got it 5 2 Bibble. I'm hype. Yep. Yep. Okay. Let's go. Canelo got stamina issues. Yeah, Canelo. Canelo, the crowd's trying to get Canelo. Bam. Hook to the body from Canelo. Bam. Hook, hook upstairs. Canelo's going to put it all in, in the bank right now. He's, he's coming out. He's coming out. Right hand from Canelo. He's coming out. Jab from Bivol. Canelo's coming out with more energy, but Bivol, he absorbed it, and now Bivol is letting his hands go. Good jab from, from Canelo. Canelo got to handle this. He got to handle this adversity. Good jab from Canelo. Two minutes, 20 seconds left in the ninth round. Oh, good uppercut from Canelo. Good hook from Canelo. Good jab from Canelo. That that uppercut is the is the punch, but he can't get in there. Mm hmm. Good 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 brain generalship from from Bivol moving around. Bam. Good right hand from Canelo. Canelo stepped up a little bit. You're gonna have to beat him. You're gonna have to beat him. He was gonna let this go. Ooh, good jab from Bivol. The good head movement from Canelo. There you go, Canelo. Good head movement. Go ahead, Canelo. Wow. <clears throat> good head movement from Canelo. That was the Canelo I was expecting. Good head movement from Canelo. Bibble let all those hands go, and Canelo made him miss everything. Bam. Good uppercut from, from Canelo. Bam. Good hook from Canelo. Boom. Left hook all to the arms of Bibble on purpose. 
Bam. Boom. Uppercut from Canelo. Boom. Now they forehead to forehead. Canelo pushing him back. Got a bit against the ropes. Good uppercut from Canelo. Bam. Good hook from Canelo. Ba bam. Good hook to the body. Bam. Good right hook from Canelo. Boom. Boom. Good combination from Canelo. Bam. Good one, two from Canelo. What's up with Canelo arm? It looks funny. What's up with Canelo arm? Good hook to the body from Canelo. Canelo's winning this round one-sidedly. So he he had to get this round in. Good left hook from Bivol. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Good combination from Bivol. Bivol is absorbing Canelo's punches, no problem. Now Bivol got Canelo against the ropes. Good, good left from, from Bivol. Oh, uppercut just missed. Oh, uh, left just missed from, from Bivol. Bivol is not bothered by Canelo whatsoever. Whatsoever. Uh, Canelo won that round. So 5-4. 5-4. 6-3, 5-4. That's how we calling it. 6 3 5 4. That, it's up. It's, it's really what you like. Uh, pass fights. Canelo will dictate the pace. Bibble's making Canelo work. I have 6 3 Canelo. I feel you. I'm the only one saying 5 4. Everybody else got 6 3. 6 3 must be the score. I got 5 4, though. <clears throat> the mass is 5 4 Bibble. Right. The mass is saying 6 3. Everybody's saying 6 3. I got 5 4. All right, here we go. I smell a Vegas robbery. Me too. Me too. Me too. I smell a Vegas. If if Canelo does anything in these later rounds, me too. All right, here we go. We come Bibble. Bibble the tenth round. I can't believe I. Oh, good hooks to the body from Canelo. Double jab from Bibble. Uppercut Canelo. I mean, Bibble, jab from Bibble, right hand from Bibble. Bibble throwing his hands. He's like, I ain't going to let you win this 10th round. Good combination from Bibble. Go to the body from Canelo. Good jab from Bibble. Good up jab from Canelo. Hook from Canelo. Y'all got to tell me how y'all, the zone I'm putting up there, their scorecard. Good jab, good jab from Bibble. Good combination from, from Bibble. Good jab from Canelo. Hook to the body from Canelo. Oh, right hand from Canelo. Canelo chasing Bibble down some more. Tenth round. Boom. Double jab from Bibble. Boom. Jab from Canelo. Bam. Hook to the body from combination from Bibble. Good jab from Canelo. One minute. Forty. A little jab from Canelo. Canelo is, is waiting. Good jab from, from Bibble. Bibble can steal this round, y'all. He can steal this round. He can steal this round. Good jab. Bibble, oh, good jab from Canelo. Bibble can steal this round because Canelo is back on the ropes again. Good head movement from Canelo against the ropes. Trying to rope a dope. Uh-huh. Left hook. Yeah. Good right hand from Bibble. Bibble, win the round. If, if you're going to throw punches, Bibble. I, I, if I was Bibble, I'd, I'd throw mine, bro. I would throw mine. Canelo don't punch that hard. Not right now in the 10th. Uh, one minute left in the 10th. Good right hand from, oh, well, was, did that land or? I can't tell. The Good right hand from Bibble. True. You jab from Canelo. Good combination from Bibble. 45 seconds left. If, if Canelo don't turn it up this round, Bibble won this round. Good left hook from Bibble. If if brother, if Bill, if Canelo don't turn it up this round, Bivol won. If if Canelo don't turn it up, I give Bivol this round. Really, for real, for real. Bro, six four, six four, Bivol. Double jab from Canelo. Six four, Bivol, bro. I'm telling you, good jab to the body from Bivol. Six four, Bivol, all day, every day. Good jab.
Good combination from Bibble. Bibble beating the hell out of him. 6-4 Bibble. 6-4 Bibble. 6-4 Bibble. The sweet uh, glistening all over Canelo's body. They said Bibble is so far behind on the scorecards. What did y'all hear? Who's down on the scorecards? What did they say? Six, six, four, bibble. Six, four, bibble, bro. Six, four, bibble, bro. Six, four, bibble. Good left hook from Canelo. Good right from Canelo. Good jab from Bibble. Good left hook to the arm. Oh, good uppercut from Canelo. Oh, good right from Canelo. Good hook from Canelo. Oh, good right hand from Canelo. Good left hook from Canelo. Good right hand from Canelo. Good hook from Canelo. Good combination from Bibble. Good combination from Bibble. Good combination. Forehead to forehead right now. Good jab from Bibble. One, two from Bibble. Hey, brother. Golly, good hand movement from Canelo. That was beautiful. Get left hook to the body from Canelo. Good jab to the body from Canelo. Good jab from Canelo. One minute, 55 seconds left. Wow. Wow. Connect, bibble, bibble. Combination to the body. Jab upstairs. Jab again from bibble. Jab, double, triple jab from bibble. Right hand from bibble. Right hand again from bibble. Canelo can't beat him. He can't beat him. Good jab from Canelo. Hook to the body. Hook upstairs. Uppercut upstairs, I mean, from Canelo. Good combination from Canelo. Bibble is blocking everything. Bibble is blocking everything. Canelo don't hit. He doesn't hit hard enough for 175. He hit hard enough for good left hook from Bibble. He hit hard enough for Kovalev, but not for Bibble. Good left hook. Good, good, good jab. Then Wow. Canelo lifted Bibble up. He shouldn't have done that. He shouldn't have done that. That burned him out. That'll burn you out. 55 seconds left in the 11th round. That'll burn you out. Good hook from Canelo. Good jab from Canelo. Good jab from Bibble. Good jab from Canelo. Good, good combination from Bibble. Good jab. Bam. Good combination. Bibble was sitting down on shots. 40 seconds left. Bivol, Canelo is against the ropes. Bivol, Bivol won the fight. The Bivol won the fight, bro. It's, it's, I mean, this is the 11th round. Bivol won this round. Good hook to the body from Canelo. The chicks, the chicks didn't help. The women didn't help. Good, good combination from, from Bivol. Oh, God, good combination from Canelo. Good left hook from Bivol. Russia, Russia came over. <laughs> Left foot just missed. Hey, Bibble. 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 7 4. 8 3. 7 4, 8 3. 7 4, 8 3. Could Bibble won. Canelo lost. And and you know what? You know what? I only put I, I lost more. Wait, hold on. Who won between Gaethje and Oliveira?
Who won between Gaethje and Oliveira? Because I lost 500 if Oliveira won. I lost 500 if Oliveira won. Good left hook from Canelo. Good right hook from Canelo. Yeah, Canelo needs a knockout. I was about to say, I thought they were saying that Canelo was winning. Bam, good right hook from Canelo. Good double jab, good left hook, good jab. Left hook just good jab from Bivol. Right hand to the body from Bivol. Beautiful. Bivol, put, Bivol gave Canelo a boxing lesson. Left hook from Canelo. Canelo can Canelo cannot get through the winky right defense of Bivol. He can't get through the winky right guard. Good combination from Bivol. Good combination from Bivol. Bivol. Oh, Bivol hurt Canelo. Canelo's hurt. Canelo's hurt. Canelo's hurt. Canelo's hurt. Bill was trying to put him away. He's like, he's like, I ain't getting robbed today. Bill was trying to put him away, bro. Good right hand from Canelo. Bill was trying to put him away. Left hook from, from Canelo. Good right hand. Good combination. Bill was said, Bill was said forever that he'd beat Canelo. And Canelo, Canelo had had a good run and I thought Canelo was going to knock out Bivol after a while and Bivol did exactly what he said he was going to do one minute 15 seconds he did exact double double triple jab he did exactly what he said he was going to do Canelo's Canelo's trying to just not get knocked out at this point Bivol threw a right hand there's nothing could combination from Bivol Canelo can't do jack good combination I think Volsic was getting busy Good right hand from Canelo. A. A dog. A dog. A dog. A dog. 45 seconds. Canelo, Canelo got to lose this one, bro. Canelo got to lose this one, bro. Good right hand from Bivol on the exchange. Good combination. Canelo got to lose this one, dude. Like that, that, like, like, A. A brother. Good right hand from Canelo. Bam. Good uppercut from Canelo. Bro. Bro, <laughs> bro, <laughs> good right hand. <laughs> hey, 15 seconds left in the 12th round. Canelo, oh, good combination from Bivol. Bivol won that exchange. Oh, good right hand. That's it. That's it. Canelo, no, he lost. He lost. He lost. Whoever put money. On Bivol, just got to the bag. Whoever put money on Bivol just got to the bag. Hey, dog. Shout out to Canelo for chasing greatness. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. 100%. You find that? You find that ceiling? <clears throat> but I'll tell you this, though. Uh, dividers, biz, the damn thing are called uh, divide. I don't know. Uh, this uh, just shows it doesn't matter if Canelo beats strong and slick opponents. Weight classes exist for a reason. Hey, now we know. Now we know. What I tell y'all? Yep, I told y'all I'm relevant. Yep, you did. You sure did. You sure did. Did you bet? <clears throat> you sure did. You sure did. <clears throat> Cherry pig gone wrong. Now when you fight a champion. You fought a champion. That's not a cherry pick. You you went up to light heavyweight and fought a champion. That's not a cherry pick. Canelo Alvarez lost to the WBA light heavyweight champion. Flex on him. Uh, Canelo knows he lost. <clears throat> He's a damn warrior, though. Definitely a warrior. Uh, Mayweather is laughing. Why? Mayweather never fought at 175. Yo, I, I, I'll tell you this, bro. I tell you, Who won, Biz? Bivol. Bivol won by, by a long shot. <clears throat> Bivol won. I gave Canelo four rounds. That was not cherry pick, debunk race baiting there. No, it's 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 on. It's on. You hey, y'all gonna have to hear it. 
just like how Wilder fans heard it for months after Tyson Fury, Canelo fans, y'all got y'all y'all got to hear it. It's on. It's on. Bibble beat that man fair and square. Bibble beat that man fair and square. He he gave him a boxing lesson and he was way bigger. And he he yo, there was nothing Canelo could do. Nothing. At 175, Canelo's lethargic. You know. One fifteen, one thirteen. Unanimous decision. Yeah, Bivol, Bivol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was about to say. I thought they were about to rob him, bro. I thought they were about to rob him. They said one fifteen, one thirteen. Hey, hey. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. One fifteen, one thirteen is a bad score. But Canelo Alvarez fans, you can still win this autograph Canelo Alvarez glove, boxing glove. Be a subscriber to my channel. Subscribe. Go over to Relevant and become a member of Relevant. Hit the link in the description box below. If you guys want to bring home this Canelo Alvarez boxing glove, he lost a hey, and the certificate of authenticity right here lets you know that it's real. That's your boy. That's your boy. Hold on to him. Hold on to him. Just like y'all who are uh, Wilder fans who still won that Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder glove after he lost to Fury. Yes, Lord. 113, 115, 113. Man, that, 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 was, that was a one-sided boxing lesson. <clears throat> that was a one, that was a one-sided boxing lesson. You got 10K. You got 10K. Canelo uh, knows he lost. He's a warrior. Uh huh. Wait, wait, Biz, ain't you a Canelo fan? Yeah, but I'm a I'm a fan of boxing. I want the right person to win. Bivol was the better fighter, and he got the decision. That's what I'm really a fan for. If he would have gotten robbed, I would have been pissed. Canelo will not uh, fight David now because David will use the jab more like Bivol. However. Canelo is still great. <clears throat> Got to do better with your super chat, Biz, next time. I mean, but it's hard. Don't super chat me when I'm calling the fight. You got to time it. You got to do better sending the super chats in between rounds. Because <clears throat> I'm calling the fight. I can't be looking down. I miss something, right? What is he saying? Canelo thinks he won. Oh, Usyk number one pound for pound. Bivol always said he would have beaten Canelo. He always said it. Usyk would kill Canelo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, bro. <clears throat> what I need to know now is who won between Gaethje and Oliveira. Uh, as a Canelo supporter, they got it right. Good for Bibble. Yep. Now, this opened up an interesting storyline for Canelo time to face Charlo. I'm going to tell you what's interesting. Bibble versus the winner between Better BF and Joe and Joe Smith. That's what's interesting. Let me see. Uh, Canelo, can we please stop with the BS and get fights against Charlo and David, bro? Ah. Uh-huh. Bro, don't do that, bro. Uh, it was between you just got caught in it. It's all. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I mean, I'm not trying to do anything, bro. It's, just, it's hard. On this side, it's hard, bro. It's really hard. You know, everybody got super chats. So I'm trying to. It's, it's difficult. I'm doing my best, bro. Uh, let me see. Great win. Yeah, absolutely. Biz, are you crying? Never. 
uh, people thought Floyd would lose to current Canelo. Well, well, Floyd, Floyd isn't uh, 175 pound. I, I mean, that's just he's not. Bill and Floyd is to totally different. Floyd's a 147 pounder. Bill, that's I, I, don't, I don't see the correlation. But what I can say is, Bill always said he'd beat Canelo. <clears throat> Justin Gaethje versus Olivera is about to start. Uh, I chose Canelo by KO, but glad to see Bilbo win after being treated like a challenger all week. Good point. Good point. Bilbo, Bilbo, Bilbo could have knocked out, could have knocked out Canelo. Hold up. Not a hey, hey, forget forget Canelo didn't knock him out. Canelo lost. Canelo didn't do any of that head movement, none of that stuff. <clears throat> you know what? Here's the thing. Um, Canelo's game plan was all wrong. He was just walking with that high guard and thought he can walk him down and beat him up. Bill Bill defense was too tight and he was too big. Canelo ain't Manny Pacquiao. Well, what does that mean? Cano Manny Pacquiao was knocked out by Marquez and um, Timothy Bradley beat him and Jeff Horn. So, I mean, it's, you know, Eric Morales. <clears throat> I think it looks more like Manny Pacquiao in the sense that Manny Pacquiao took them all on, win, lose, or draw. That Those are the great careers, man. I'm surprised Bibble didn't get robbed uh, boxing one tonight, boxing one tonight. Oh, and I was wrong. I said, I don't see if it's close, but it wasn't even close, and they made it close. Canelo messed up when he was supposed to throw uh, his heavy shots between Bibble's uh, no undisputed. <laughs> Bibble's too fast for Canelo at 175. That dream is dead. 175 is too much for him. Yeah. Bibble took that, Canelo took that loss very clean. He took that loss. One loss to Floyd and another at 175. That's a big jump <clears throat> in between weight classes. Respected loss. So to Bibble, though. If, if he gets a rematch, <clears throat> yeah, no problem. I'll fight him again for that money. I'm fighting him again. But I, I, I'm going to tell you this. Bill will beat him again. Bill will beat him again. Because Canelo doesn't have the wind at 175. Hey, what I say, Biz, yesterday, Bill. Yeah, you said it. <clears throat> uh, Canelo bit more than could chew. Greats do that. Yeah, yeah. They find that ceiling. <clears throat> Canelo belong at 168 max. Dude, my voice is gone. Spring off the it's the spring off the bounce. <clears throat> wow. Now Canelo is going to be ducked just like he ducked everyone else. Funny. He's no payday anymore. No, he's always a payday, like Pacquiao was after Pacquiao lost. He, he's still a payday. But I like what you said. If somebody say, hey, man, I mean, why fight you? But he's still undisputed at 168. But he wants to he wants to rematch Bibble. But the thing is, you're going to have to defend your belts at 168. Thank you so much. Dog, that jab was beautiful. <clears throat> So everybody, on your way out, make sure you hit the like, 
hit the link in the description box to go over to Relevant, become a member on Relevant. I'm about to go on Relevant. Say what's up to everybody. <clears throat> Get a chance to win that autograph Canelo Alvarez boxing glove. <clears throat> I got to go. My voice is gone. <laughs> Show biz the adult. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Thank you guys for showing up and showing out. I'm out. <clears throat> oh, my goodness.